All right, and we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Hit Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined with a bunch of lovely ladies and special guests. And Let's a couple as well. Let's go. Nobody cares, bro. Get out. Get out. Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. Right. We are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Uh, quick announcement before we get into the show. Uh, number one, rumble.com slash fresh fit. As you guys know, we make crazy content that may or may not get kicked, get us kicked off YouTube Aside. every day now. So go ahead and check us out there. So if anything does happen, you guys know exactly where to find us. We're live streaming on Rumble, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube as well right now. Only fans. So uh you said only fans. No, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh also guys, check us out on freshfit.locals.com for all the behind the scenes content. Actually, Fresh was streaming some of the uh, pre-show right before. Also, if you guys want to get the audio version of the podcast, just make sure you wear headphones so you don't get fired at your job. Megaphone, okay? We got all the links, whether it's the daytime show or the nighttime show. Go check it out. Also, get the merch at FreshFitPodcastStore.com. Get the hoodies, T-shirts. We're restocked up. Also, subscribe to our other YouTube channel, guys. It's called Fresh and Fit Clips. On there, we post six clips per day, 10 shorts per day. So if you guys like bite-sized form content, go ahead and check it out over there for all you guys that have attention deficit disorder. Uh, <laughs> and then also check out our other one. It's called More Fresh Fit Clips for all you guys that uh, you know have low attention spans. And Fresh the Vlog. Guys, if you want funny vlogs, man, funny shorts, go check it out. And as well, we're going to be showing as well the meetup for the uh, 27th of May uh, for CEO Network. Go check it out. And once again, man, put your on the way. Let's go. I'll go subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. It's called Fed Reacts. I changed it from 1811 to Fed Reacts because it's just easier to find in the algorithm. A lot of you guys don't know what 1811 means. So anyway, uh, I changed the name. Still the same content. I'm going to drop a pod, uh, podcast tomorrow for y'all on t- tomorrow at 7 p.m. Al Capone and the Chicago Outfit. As you guys know, I'm doing La Costa Nostra right now. We just wrapped up a great interview with Michael Francis, which was fucking awesome, guys. So if you like any Amazing. Of that mob stuff, go ahead. We went into um, – he told a crazy story about Son of Sam, actually. So, yeah, yeah. go check that podcast out, man. Forget, Forget about it. it. But I put part of it on uh, Fed Reacts, but the entire interview, you got to go to Fresh and Fit. So, yeah, man, if you guys enjoy that type of stuff, true crime stuff, definitely go check out that channel. And then also – Last but not least, go ahead and get my book, Why Women Deserve Less. It's out in stores right now, number one bestseller. <laughs> I got a hardcover, softcover, Kindle, and uh, Audible, of course. So go ahead and check it out. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> favorite and, part of the show. And Chris? Yeah, so uh, girls, uh, DM me and RC Poxen. Uh, shout out to the girls for coming on to the panel. Uh, so far, so good. No, uh, you know, no Frank Castles yet. But um, send me a DM, RC Poxen. Let's get it. All right. Cool. And then special guests of honor. Oh, no. we, we could, they can go after the girls. Ladies, if you don't mind, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, dig at us. And if you want to, of course, your body count. I will start on the couch. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. My name is Christy. I go by Christy Apple Guwap. My last name is Apogwu. I'm half Nigerian, half uh, uh, Haitian. I'm 28 years old. Sak pase ma guys. Hey. 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 Baby, that's what I want. But yeah, uh, I'm an ex-stripper. I'm from D.C., okay. the DMV, okay. but mostly Maryland. Okay, and okay. Uh, what else? Okay, what do you do for my work? Sa- my what, status. What do you do for work right now? Uh, I'm I'm unemployed, dude. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm and not then, working. What's your highest education level completed? Uh, some college. Okay. You cool. got like an associate's degree or? I got a certificate for graphic design. Okay. There you go. Dope. Yeah. Uh, and um, what's but your... I skipped Higher. the day Obama came to my school. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what's your current uh, relationship status? I am. It's complicated. I have a lot of like uh, guys I like to keep on the side. A keep lot it of guys. On the <laughs> yeah, I do. All right. I do. I'm a street sweeper, baby. How old is she? How old is she? I'm 28. Oof. Okay. So you're single, but seeing some people, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. What about you? Hello, guys. My name is Mariola. I go for Mari. I'm from Ponce, Puerto Rico. I'm 24. Okay. Perdona me. Uh, I'm 24. All right. Um, what do you current, do for work? I'm currently a vet tech and side hustle. I work at Takeover Rentals. Shout out to them. Okay. Um, and high school education. Okay. Uh, what's your relationship status? Single. Okay. Cool. We could tell. What about you? 
Hi. <laughs> well done. I'm Carmen G. Um, I do microblading. I'm 21. She's cute as um, shit. Thank yeah. you. Are I, you from Miami or where are you from? I'm originally Cuban, but I lived everywhere, like in Spain, in Mexico, here. Where did you go to high school? Um, Matter Lakes, and it's close to Miami Lakes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm 21, and yeah. You I'm, said you do uh, microblading. Microblading. Okay, have, for like yeah. uh, eyebrows and stuff. Yes, for okay. two years. So. So yeah. does that make you like an esthetician or something like that? Or? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And then what's your highest education level completed? Uh, college, some college. Okay. Like yeah. cosmetology school probably? Yeah. Okay. And then what's your relationship status? Single. Super right. single. Right. <laughs> Still? Damn. Still, Haram. Yeah. Messing up. Messing up. Haram. Okay. All right. What okay. about you? Okay. Um, hi, guys. My name is Demi. I am 21. Um, Where are you from? I'm a, I'm Cuban. <laughs> are you from Miami or? I am from Miami. I've okay. lived here my whole life. Okay. Basically raced here. Uh, <laughs> that's a red flag. For? Um, for work, I'm a legal assistant. Okay. So I work for so a law are firm. Are you like a paralegal? Basically. Okay. Uh, and then what's your uh, highest education level completed? <laughs> um, I'm in college right now. So okay. yeah, I'm studying to become a lawyer. Okay. All right. <laughs> what, what year are you in? Um, sophomore <laughs> okay all right yeah. and then what's your relationship status single like a pringle all right <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing <laughs> all right what about you hi i'm stephanie palmares i'm 29 sure. i do music red tv i manage girls um own multiple properties um and so forth so yeah that's you what said I do. tv music uh real estate and what else Manage girls? Manage girls, yes. I have okay. a management company, Polymars Baddies. For for like OnlyFans, you manage? I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. All content creators. Okay. Yes. Digital um, pimp. And where are you from originally? I am not. Thank you. Mexico. <laughs> okay. Like where'd you go to high school? El Camino. Is that in LA? Yes. Okay. So you're from LA originally? Uh -huh. Car. Okay. Uh and then what's your highest education level completed? College. All right. Bachelor's degree? No, business. Business. No, I mean yeah. I meant completed. So like you finished. No, college. I just didn't need to finish it. It just made more sense. So you you were business. You were BBA undergrad, but you didn't finish it. I did not finish it. Got it. Okay. okay. Yeah. But, I, but I was asking completed. So. Oh yeah, uh, yeah I didn't so, complete it. Okay. It didn't make did sense. Did you get a really. degree or? No, I left you and I started left. making okay. money. All right. It made sense. So high I was too smart for school. Okay. And then. Uh, Stop the cap. What's your status? I'm not stopping the cap. What single? Single. All right. Yes. Cool. What about you? Hey, I'm Emily. I'm from Maryland. Um, All right, cool. Uh, how old are you? I'm 27. Okay. What part of Maryland are you from? Um, I'm from Montgomery County area. Okay, cool. Uh, and then what do you do for work? I'm operations manager for a company. Okay. And then what's your high school education level completed? Uh, bachelor's. Okay. Uh, and what? Uh, neuroscience. Oh, okay. Ooh. Use that degree. Wow. <laughs> uh, so did you just say, fuck it, I don't want to get into neuroscience. I'm going to do something else. Uh, yeah, it just didn't fit my personality to be like in a lab all day. So operations manager, I really like okay. talking to people. And uh, where'd you get your undergrad from? <clears throat> Maryland. University of Maryland? Yeah. Your Terrapin? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Turtle. Uh, you went to the main campus and was it, is it University Park? <laughs> yeah, College Park. College yeah. Park. There we go. Okay, cool. And then relationship status? Um, in a relationship. Okay. How long have y'all been together? Four years. Nice. All right. Nice. Cool. What about you? Um, Natasha. Okay. I am 35. Okay. I'm in sales. Okay. Wait. Should clarify, not pussy. Wait, 35? Uh, 36 in two weeks. Okay. Where, where are you originally from? Uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Uh, highest education level completed? Bachelor's. Okay. In? Communications and psychology. Okay. Where'd you get it from? Georgia State. Okay. Uh, and then relationship status? Off the market, but single. Okay. So you're talking to somebody. No. <laughs> She's giving up. Okay. Just giving up. Just giving up. I'm not okay. dating at all. Yeah. She, she, no. told, she told me all the dudes in the city are on the, on the DL. That's the reason why she doesn't date anybody. She's jaded. If you're under 30 in That's Miami, you're bisexual. A lot it's of just true. Yeah, it's they're just bisexual. Facts. That's what she said. It's the truth. It's the truth. Do, do you live in Miami or Atlanta? I live in Miami two years now. Okay. All right. Yeah, so well, I, guess, I can send you uh, some some referrals if you want. So I'll just put uh, <laughs> you're single, but you gave up. Okay. Okay. All right. What about you? Hi, I am Jessica Vaughn. I am unmarried at 35. Okay. I have a Bachelor of Science in Psychology from the University of uh, Friends okay. in real, real Wichita, quick. Kansas. Real, real quick, so yeah. 35, where are you originally from? Wichita, Kansas. Oh, Wichita, okay. Um, and then what do you do for work? 
I am a model and a photographer. Okay. Uh, and then you said you got a bachelor's degree from University of Wichita. Or University uh, of Kansas. From sorry. Friends University, which okay. is a Quaker college. It's called what? Friends University? Yes. Where's that located? Wichita, Kansas. In Wichita, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, what did you major in there? Psychology. Psychology. All right, cool. And then uh, relationship status? Unmarried. So single. Single. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Oh, um, Kylie McGahey. I'm 21. Um, I do modeling and I'm still completing school. Okay, where are you originally from? Oh, Arkansas. Okay. Uh, and then high education level completed. You're in college. I'm you still said? in school. Yeah. In college. Yeah, can we get up he did. Say and then relationship that. status. I am dating Michael Sartain. Okay. <laughs> that's hot. That's I felt the vibe, but I don't want to say shit because it's not my business. But I love y'all together. I know. Very, I love shopping. it. I what love it together. Hi, I'm Nicolette. I'm 23, single. I'm a stripper and I do OnlyFans. Subscribe at Nicolette Nicole. All right, so where are you originally from? I live in LA <laughs> from there. Oh my okay. God, let's link up. Yeah. Okay, so you're from LA. Do you uh, need management? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need management? What's your uh, highest education level completed? Um, I just recently got my real estate license. Okay. Hold and, on. Question. What are you going to do with it? Um, I'm going to be a realtor. Nice. Thanks. Well, yes. I sell love it. houses. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so you're going to, I'm assuming you got it in California? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, and then what's your relationship status? Single. All right. Cool. What about you? My name's Mary. I'm 29. I work for Takeover ATV Rentals. Okay. Uh, where are you originally from? Cuban. Are you guys friends? Yeah. Miss Puerto Rico? Okay, yeah. cool. Like, like you're actually from, like, where'd you go to high school? Here or in Cuba? No, here. Okay, so you're from Miami. But you're of Cuban descent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, you said you do work again for work? Takeover ATV Rentals. Okay, ATV Rentals. Okay. All right. High education level completed? High school. All right. Actually, they're very late. They use all the rappers that fuck with y'all, right? Yeah, I know y'all. Yes, yes, I do. You look familiar. I do. You have all the rappers use that company. You have a kid? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that is the weirdest opening. No, 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 no. Well done. I'm gonna tell her later. Well done. Well done. Shit. I don't know how you did that. That's incredible. Uh, That's incredible. What a what's your relationship status? Single. Single. Sorry. Okay. All right. Cool. And then we introduce a special guest. Yes. Oh, me first. Okay. Do I have to give you my education? Nah, <laughs> no, no, I am a high. I'm, like that's fair. I'm Lucifer Morningstar. I'm the most hated man on, <laughs> on Twitter right now. I am a vasectomy. I'm a vasectomy. I'm a vasectomologist. Uh, <laughs> that's what I do for a living now, apparently. <laughs> Uh, oh, and I'm uh, 98 years old, and uh, yeah, you've been married for 50 years. I've been married for 50 years, yeah. and my wow. wife is uh, 125. So, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, apparently, I know, I'm, I'm Roland Tomasi. I'm the author of the best-selling book series, The Rational Male, uh, which, of course, everybody knows about if you're watching this show. Uh, and I'm here with these guys. Uh, my current status is. What is your book about? Uh, we're going to talk about that. I want everything on this show, pretty Perfect. much. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, let's see. I've been married for well, soon to be twenty-seven years. I have a daughter who's twenty-five, and I have two greyhounds at home. Oh, okay. wow! Looking swole, swole. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I got him eating. I eating right. This yeah. is my side piece. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. The redemption. Oh, yes. glasses. The, re the redemption. Oh, the oh, Roland Tomasi has begun. Oh, begun. The redemption. Oh, the glasses. What you about? Everybody is gonna know. Oh, here, right, like, uh, I, okay, wait. There you, you go. Off there you go. Gang uh, off gang. Gang. Hey, hey, Mo. We might need to turn John up just a little bit. There you go. Uh, I'm MLD. You, you motherfuckers know who I am. And if you don't know who I am, I don't care. But the guys who know who I am know who I am. Uh, I'm based in Tokyo, Japan, here. Konnichiwa. Just suffering in America. <laughs> but <laughs> we're here to do the tour. Fresh and Fit tonight. ton of other shows this upcoming week. Valley Tainment, Brandon Carter, the whole name of the yards. Uh, Sneeko tomorrow, as well as McQueen. So check me out. Follow me on Instagram, Hot Dude Life. And uh, let's have a good show tonight. 
Uh, I'm Michael Sartain. Uh, I'm 45 years old. I'm a former U.S. military officer. I flew special ops for five years and I did counterintelligence for two. Uh, I host a bunch of charity events with influencers in uh, in Los Angeles and Las Vegas and here in Miami. We're doing an animal rescue on Saturday. And then I'm also the uh, the creator of the Men of Action Mentoring course. It's a performance coaching course for men. And then Rolo and I host a show together called Action Access. called Access Vegas, Vegas, which is a show basically about statistics, socioeconomics, and uh, evolutionary psychology, but it's really fucking funny. So you guys might want to check it out. With porn stars and the hottest models on planet Earth. Hi. Cool. Uh, so um, what I'll do is, you guys had a question you want to hit first before we read the chats? Let's do chats first. You want to do chats yeah. first? Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll read these. And guys, so we already got almost 10,000 of y'all in here, so this is what we're going to do. I have a do. question, but we can do the chat. Okay. Um, Thanks. Actually, you know what? Go ahead. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. we can easily, we can easily you. digress from this. So go ahead. Perfectly fine. What is your book title, right? Yeah. Women deserve less. But it's only 75 pages, so they don't. They deserve less, less. Less. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even get, less. They don't even get that I much less. That 30 minutes, real quick. <laughs> it's called Why I Women Deserve books. Less. You know, you I can love read. Books. I love books. Yes. Yeah. You can read. You okay. Can, oh, baby, I do a lot more than just read. But yes, what your book title? All that. Like, let me know. No, it's called Why Women Deserve Less. Why do we deserve less? Why? Well, the book basically, I mean, there's a lot in there, but if I'm going to summarize it, it's basically guys not simping on women that don't reciprocate. Okay, in what way? Well, a lot of guys pursue women and give them a lot of time, attention, and resources, and a lot of times the women don't reciprocate, so I'm telling you guys, you need to give most women less and reserve it for the girls that deserve more. Got it. So the title is just like catching. It's not really you're bashing women. You're just nah. saying kind of like, don't it's about simp, not being a simp. Maybe? Yeah, don't be a simp. Okay. Because you get punished for being a simp. You're basically saying give the same energy that someone gives you. Yeah, pretty much. All right, Twitch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we already got to get off Twitch. Yeah. Uh, and can't. Uh, yeah, it's about it's about now simping because <laughs> Ring the bell. Uh, we live in the economy nowadays where a lot of guys are simping. Yeah, come on over to YouTube, guys. Come Dude, on over I'm, to YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty I'm sure her cleavage got us kicked off Twitch. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm pretty sure her cleavage got us kicked off Twitch. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. No, you're fine. You did. You're doing a great job. Don't worry. So, uh, okay, so so basically, you're saying the energy needs to be reciprocated, like both ways. Yes, and I because in that. most situations, women don't reciprocate. Uh, and a lot of times, we reciprocate way more than men do. Yeah, Stephanie, but if that was true, then OnlyFans wouldn't exist. The OnlyFans is the example of a massive amount of men giving tons of energy to a women that really specifically sexy don't reciprocate. For a man to do that. Yeah, but the thing is, those men, they, from their from their standpoint, especially the ones that have no I'll sexual rather access, pay a girls' videos than a guy any day. Right. No, my point is yeah. the reason men, that many men are simping on well, OnlyFans. I think he's saying talk about like relationship, right? It, it goes into everything. Basically everything. everything, everything. Right? Yeah. Okay, everything. so women are going to pay for women's videos before men. That's let's incorrect. That's incorrect. No. I don't ever pay a man's if, video. Let's be honest here. If if the economy, if the porn economy, right, like, let's say men stop paying money, mm -hmm. it, it would go down like this because women don't typically pay for It's like 98%. It's, yeah, let, let, let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about all your True. OnlyFans ladies that you okay. manage, yeah, right? Thank you. What percentage of the clientele is men versus women? Basically all. Basically all what? Men. Men. All right, exactly. thanks for proving our point. No, in general, overall. <laughs> Dumb. And overall. Who has to cook? Who has to fold the clothes? Who has to wash your drawers? So the woman. Hold on, hold on, the thing, woman. Here's the thing, better. Steph. If you, exactly. if you do that, so a man is going to do, they're going to pay for footage that but, I would pay too. Hold, Steph, but if you did that, yes. then you would be the girl that would get more attention. You would not be one of the women who deserve less. Mm. Yeah. But if, do you understand the difference? Oh, no, I understand. I'm just I'm talking about the book concept, and I just want to understand this, what it means. Because the title is oh. very... Catchy and it's extremely very, good for some of us. You're correct. Yeah. You know what? I blame, it, I blame it on so the guy who did the cover of that. He was such an asshole. Yeah, you're, it's a very, you know what you were doing. That's fine. I love it. Marketing is great. Yeah. This makes me curious to want to know why you have a title like that. Yeah, I mean, because yes. the reality is, is that most women do deserve less when they deal with men because most women typically use guys for other things outside of romance, if we're going to be honest here. I there's an entire economy, that. if we're going to oh think about it, there's God. an entire economy predicated on women, right? leveraging their sexuality towards men and you know for money and the guy doesn't really get anything in return the girl's getting all the money and everything else like that for like the imagination or the illusion but the reality is they don't get anything so women are winning the battle when yeah. it comes to that yeah and by the way we're not blaming women for winning the battle we're telling men to stop losing the battle yes. does that make sense i honestly that book's believe, not written for women yeah i really do believe like men have an upper power of it like of of like relationship wise 
Because in a day, like women do everything for men too, just like men do it for women. Stephanie, I, I bet you if we went to Walmart and you saw the guy stocking shelves and I asked you who's fucking him, you'd be like, oh, wait a second, nobody. There's a, there's like maybe 35% <laughs> of him. But there's, there's 35% of men right now but under the age of 30 have zero sexual partners. And, and now OnlyFans is a multi, multi-billion dollar company. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I'm not so I'm not trying to get rid I'm of all. It. I get you know, it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm the, the point is, these are these are socioeconomic truths that are indicative of a problem where there's a few men having a lot of sex and a, and a lot of men having none. And that number of men having none is increasing. And part of the reason why it's increasing is because of the sedation, which includes OnlyFans. Does that make sense? That's why guys who don't get Our sex fan. should just pay for it. Well, yes. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why should they pay for it? They, we should commercialize sex. We should make sex work legal. Okay. <laughs> Was that God who said that? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, somebody back there. There we go. We're Jesus going Christ. to a whole different point now. I mean, I'm sorry. If, if, if <laughs> I just want to say it, something. That would be that'd be bad for regular girls. They it would be a giant them, elf dude. for and women, but it would be good for men if they legalized it. It would, it would actually hurt women if they legalized it. Those prostitution places would be fucking sold out for they years. They can work, too. Dance, All these women have worked to look the way they did. Like, I did not spend, like, seven hours just to get ready here to, like, look ugly, dude. On, and ready? I still look fucked up. Seven, My seven hair, hours? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, like, I come from D.C., man. What else do you do in your and, life? Like, uh, you know, seven my, hours? My, How the fuck? My makeup's no way, fucked dude. up. No my, way, dude. My makeup's were, were you, fucked up. Were you my white before us. you got ready? I don't understand. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I was. I grew up in a super white area called Greenbelt, Maryland. Yeah. Shout out to Greenbelt. Uh, yeah, Shout I grew up with, yeah, with a bunch of white people. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Uh, uh, so, no trauma dumping, please. Did that answer your yeah, question? Yeah, does, that, does that answer at all? Did that answer, does that answer question? Nah. Uh, you what, know what? Should we commercialize sex work or nah? It's so well, much going yes. on. Let, let her finish phone. her point real fast. Was, was Can Mike get lowered down a little bit? Okay, we'll 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 Just do that for bit. you. But was it, does that answer your question though? Turn down her headphone. Um, oh, you got to get close to the microphone. I'm hearing what it is and what's being said. Okay, but I'm just hearing. So, Stuff, Mike. Yeah. yeah, talk close to the microphone. I'm just hearing what's being said. Mm -hmm. I don't disagree or agree. Like, I heard what you said, and, you know, I'm hearing. Okay. I feel like there's more to talk about the topic. And it was just a curiosity off your book title. Okay. But that's what you wanted. That's what you have the title you have. Well, women deserve less, most right? Most women do deserve less, yes. Yeah. What, most women. It's the best seller on feminist theory on Amazon. What is your <laughs> ideal woman? Silent. Ooh, well, I know you've been in my DM. She's killing you. you have? Yes, you have. When? I pull it up. It's fine. Like you oh, hit me up before. You. Like so, I'm clear. You're type two. You hit me up. So, what is your ideal woman? I hit up hundreds of girls. That's fine. <laughs> I'm one of them. I'm I am one of them. I hit up hundreds. So I'm your type. Definitely. In some type of way, yes. For sure. So what is your ideal girl? Well, women that are loud and like this are typically not. So mm-hmm. I'm glad you, I'm glad uh, we never went anywhere with that. That's fine, but what's your ideal girl? I've been girl? very quiet this whole time. Ask every girl. I didn't talk For to no one. For the 30 seconds I, we've been I'm on quiet. the air, she has been quiet. Yeah, quiet. I was quiet, beating bro. to music. Super yeah. quiet. I'm not talking well, until now. And I want to know what your ideal girl is. You have a book about it. You are in my DMs. I want to know what your ideal woman is. She's trying to put me on blast. And it's, it's funny because it's like I literally they send out hundreds Mommy of DMs. Milker. So it's like whatever. It's not, it's not special. But that's the game. We talked about this, right? With volume yeah. and having to talk to a lot of girls. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, ideal girl is a girl that's quiet, submissive, friendly, in shape. Not difficult to be around, not obnoxious. Oh, and all those things. Uh, follows my lead. I respectfully disagree, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, this is a podcast, babe. Yeah, well. You talk too much. I think yeah. I'm a baby. I'm not with you. Uh, you know. But if you were my man, I would follow the lead and shut the fuck not up. The cat. You're not. Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, that's typically what I look for in girls. Uh, nice, docile, feminine, you know, not annoying. That's yeah. Thing. Okay, let's do the chats. I'm scared of that. <laughs> chats. Chats. Let's do the chats. Is that, is that suffice? Is that, that, is that good? <laughs> Uh, Whatever you wanted to be. Okay. All right, baby. All right. Uh, Jared Choi goes uh, five bucks. Appreciate that. Uh, Blackest Panther. Uh, F and F, the most diversified, value providing men's podcast on the planet, hands down. Is Joe Rogan meets every other podcast combined in value. F and F, the one shop stop for all things self improvement, and we do it live. I appreciate it live. that, my friend. We're trying, man. We're trying to diversify. Uh, what attracts a woman's attention? Uh, sorry, sorry what attracts a man's attention doesn't always attract his respect. What turns a man's head? 
doesn't always turn his heart. Ooh, good point. That's actually that's really good. Ties in perfectly to me sending DMs. Uh, <laughs> oh, perfectly. Uh, I never give you the chance or opportunity, and I never give you the and time. And I'm glad that you didn't. And I'm really I, glad. Yeah, that you I give did. it a fresh. So well, there you go. I'm give really glad you didn't. Yeah, Thank I give you. it a fresh. That's fresh your head. <laughs> Yo, <man. laughs> let's get some topic, bro. <laughs> So I sent a super chat. <laughs> Did <my laughs> <CEO>. Fred, <laughs> how long have you been bullying? What? What the fuck? Bullen, Maybe pulling means. bitches. I don't know what that means. Okay. Blackest Panther, 20 bucks. Men are always blamed for dates not going well, but we all know most women are boring as hell. <laughs> Ladies, think of a date you went on. Name one thing that you did or didn't do that contributed to making it a bad slash boring date. Bro, they're never going to answer that. Yeah, bro. Come on, man. When a girl goes on a bad date, even if she was being annoying, she's never going to say, oh, wow, I was being a real bitch. No, she's going to say you were boring and they sucked. It's always going to be on you. Accountability. Uh, the Savage MLD in the house and the other two Gs and what plastic recycle panel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I knew y'all were going to say son. You even got the icon, uh, and I like it. Uncle Luke, 1980s. <laughs> uh, panel smells like Botox, burning plastic silicone, and other non-organic synthetic material not suitable for marriage. Aloha <laughs> haram. Fantastic. What the fuck? Uncle Luke, what is this? Access Miami now, Ninja? <laughs> <laughs> I don't smell any plastic. Just to be, uh, me either, me either. Just and to my be plastic fair. is very expensive. No, we so don't I disagree. Y'all know baby. I look great. You, you all the way, you and bought, rich you, men fuck with me all the way, and they try to conceive with me all type of ways. So I just want to say you. that that my plastic is very expensive. And you got it in bulk. Thank you. That's incredible. Thank you. Yes. Tell them the whole point. I don't mean to be mean. I just you know I love it. Let's just know my plastic's not cheap. It's very expensive. Do the plastic. This is a Rolls Royce truck on me with my Lamborghini on the fucking driveway. The anyway, fuck? we're going to continue Anyways, on. Anyways, um, yeah, so anyone who thinks anything about plastic, like... Uh, question for ladies. Women. Since women generally rate themselves 8, 9, and 10, what does an average woman look and behave like? Mm, that's a very good one, actually. That's pretty I good. feel like all women are beautiful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, so, Steph, do you We've understand that? The problem is some woman way. has to be a 5. No woman has ever said that before. Could you please elaborate on this? <laughs> yeah, on this I feel like if your personality and who you are is lit, I fuck with it. Yeah, but someone has to be average. Do you understand how, like, what, what about us? Are, what about us? This is the stupidest question that I've ever asked on the show. Do you understand what the central okay, limit so theorem is okay, in a normal distribution? Okay. Someone has you to be average. You can see someone like me, but I could be a fucked up person. I could be a mad, bad person, evil, like, not like I could shrug people off like I'm too good. Hmm, right? That really? makes you ugly. Okay. Then you can meet someone that's average, yeah. but her, her heart, her personality is so good. She's so friendly, everyone. It makes her more beautiful. Can yes. someone be average looking and have an average personality also? I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I have a question for the panel. So, so, so our, our ladies, right? Are, are, are we tense? So, are the guys tense? Uh -huh. is, is, how does are we this, average? Are we all oh, 10? I don't, no. I don't, I don't like light skin guys. I like black four. men. So, oh, man, so question, question, quick question, question, question. <laughs> ladies on the panel, damn it. Rate yourself one out of 10 and then give a look alike per, that's like a, a celebrity that you know. So one out of 10, oh, rate yourself. And then. Can I be last? <laughs> What's the question? Just <laughs> nah, start, just start, just start. No. One out of ten, and then it's one look that's a celebrity Come that on, looks bro. like you. I don't know. Celebrity. You can do it. Tristan Thompson. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. You said <laughs> that you think it's hot, right? She's, no, she doesn't look like Tristan Thompson. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my bad. I can't even it's so loud. It's oh okay. Oh my What's God. the question? My bad. So one out of ten, what do you rate yourself? Average. So that'd be a five. No, you think no, five? five. No, no, do you understand no. that's what five means? Okay. Halfway between I think one I'm and five. Nine. Yeah, I think I'm an eight. An eight. Yes, you're beautiful. Thank you. I think a 10. And a lookalike celebrity? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's only 10. Okay. I would say like a seven, and a lot of people tell me that I look like Megan Fox. I You're yeah. definitely a 10. Good job, definitely Michael. Yeah. Okay, what about um, you? I'm not going to rate myself or pick a celebrity, but I would like to answer the super chat. And um, so, <laughs> as a photographer and as a makeup artist, I work with all kinds of women all the time professionally. And I can take anybody that's a five and put good hair, makeup, clothes that mm. fit their body facts, style, right? Yes. And take flattering take pictures of them yes. um, and, and connect with them in a way that I can bring out their inner nine and make that to where everybody else can see it. So it's sort of like that whole range because we're these morphable creatures that, you know, there's a lot of flexibility in that. And it's about pulling out that beauty. But there's still a five, though. No, well, okay, well, maybe I know that you, I, well, I know that men are, men are against the idea of us, like, uh, you know, portraying something that we're not when we wake up in the morning. You know, none of us look like this, except for Michael. He always looks like that. Everybody else has to put effort into this. Wait, how do you know? I'm sorry. I have to, no, I disagree. I look good in the morning. 
I just want to say that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I need more of that plastic, and then I will too. But yeah, okay. um, good money, girl. Invest yeah, of it. course. Yeah. Um, sure. but but I think all kinds of women, if they're at least five, because if they're lower than five, if they view themselves as less than a five, if I photograph them and paint them with beautiful everything, they'll never see themselves as anything other than bottom of the barrel and they won't even come to me because they couldn't imagine they'd be mortified of getting sexy pictures taken of them yes. so one out of ten what do you yourself uh well i'm amazing inside so oh, i could rate right. myself a little higher looks so. only looks okay a ten. Um, ten. Um, say a ten whatever yeah what, what but, I, but I honestly eight. don't eight? like rate yeah okay cool, cool yeah and then i guess like a look like celebrity you would say if you can I don't name know. one. People tell me Brittany Murphy. I look like Brittany Murphy. Okay, I can see that. I yeah. can see that. Yeah. What about you? So don't really do the one to ten scale. It's just like zero one. You know, it's like <laughs> smash or don't. Right. It's just like what does it matter if it's someone's like seven, eight, or you're gonna Boner fuck them, test. Right. So like I hope I'm I'm fuckable. So like I'm gonna go for one on that scale. <laughs> okay. I like it. A Thank you. Vote. And look alike, you would say. You know, I've gotten a young Catherine Zeta Jones a couple times. Other than that, I don't really get lookalikes. Yeah, maybe for a reason. All right. right. What about you? So I do like what you said because I think that's very true. I do think if you do your makeup well, your hair well, it does bring you up up to two points. Mm. You can do face app in thirty seconds and it <laughs> brings you up like ten points. Yeah, <laughs> you showed me that recently, and I was like, oh, maybe I should. <laughs> um, so when I'm all done up, an eight, and then without, I say a seven. When you met your man, were you all done up or just regular? Um, it was at the end of a night, and I wasn't looking too hot, so maybe like a seven point five. I still had makeup on. <laughs> mm, okay, interesting. Yeah. What about you? I actually like myself without makeup. I really love myself without makeup. I'm really into skincare and all that stuff. So I rate myself a motherfucking ten. I don't give a fuck if I'm plastic or not. I'm beautiful <laughs> before. I'm beautiful now. I'm gonna die beautiful. So I'm a ten. How come you wore makeup to the show? Uh, because it's fucking all these lights and all these girls are gonna wear makeup. Yeah, so I'm gonna do with the Rex, but I prefer no makeup. I love it. Yeah. Cool. And then uh look like you would say? Celebrity? Uh okay, so everyone tells me I look like Kim Kardashian, Nikki baby. All right. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> okay, um I would bring myself a 10, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Um look alike, I don't know. Let's see never had like a look alike all right what about you um i've gotten dua lipa before but i had my hair brown um but honestly i think i'm i think i don't look at like you know any any famous people you want to time um, baby thank you babe um and i rate myself an eight just like last time you know cool. i feel like i could get better but i'm fine <laughs> welcome back thank you miss puerto rico hello um i have I have gotten that I look like a young Angelina Jolie. I'm not sure Ooh, why, yes. but um, I like can you. rate my myself <laughs> a nine. Uh, I'll show you pictures when I was little. I'll rate myself like a run a nine, mm -hmm. I'd say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about you? Hey, guys. Uh, so I got, like, I'm a hell of a child, so I'm not even going to, like, you know, rate myself. Like, I'm a kid at heart. So, like, dude. Legally, you're I, not a kid. I, I mean... Yeah, not definitely not. I'm old as fuck. But uh, yeah, okay. For men, they said I was a nine point five. For myself, I see myself as an eight. And niggas say I look like Nick Minaj, boy. Since I was like fucking <laughs> sixth grade, I was Nicki Minaj with a brown skin, a little booty on myself, and you know the titties up. This is very telling. The, yes. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. All right. <laughs> very very interesting. So, how many girls rated themselves a ten again? I think I counted like four. Me. One, two. two. Uh, and then I know you on the couch three. Okay, real quick, we'll start at the couch with Miss Cuba because you gave yourself a ten, right? Okay. Uh, so what's one thing that you would self improve on if if you could with your looks? Self improve. Yeah. My legs. Because you're a ten. Yeah. Okay. I want to do my boobs. <laughs> your boobs. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so what about definitely. what about you? Me. Uh, yeah, because you gave yourself a ten. We're your boobs? planning on we're planning on going to Colombia. Okay. Bulk <laughs> boobs. Your boobs. Okay. <laughs> and then what about you? What would you self improve on, uh, if you could? On your looks, me, yeah, yeah, because you gave yourself a ten. I did not give myself a ten. Said nine. I no, said nine. No, 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 not not you. I'm talking white over here. Yeah, oh. you Stuff. gave yourself a ten. Hi, Stephanie Palomares. Um, whatever, prove on honestly, just being a better person. No, I mean look wise. Yes, nothing. 
Okay. Or okay. more person in your heart. She's way too that. hot. She's way too hot. Thank right. you so much. <laughs> All right. And then what about who else? Gave, you gave yourself a 10, yeah. right? All right. So what would you self-improve on? Just like grow my hair longer. So you guys do realize that by saying you're a 10, that means you're flawless. I am. Because we are. How are you are. flawless? Then you guys are saying that you have self-improvement. No. Yeah. We're flawless. That that flawless. Like, like, I the same personality that and just other stuff. Well, we're talking about looks. <clears throat> But this whole well, I feel like looks comes with personality and all that. The one to ten rating. Well, we asked the question. We framed it under looks question. only. We didn't frame it okay. under personality. We, when we asked y'all originally. Yeah, we're a ten. So you guys gave yourselves tens, but there's clearly things that you said that you need to work on. Ten means by default that you're perfect. Then we're gonna be an eleven. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll be eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes, yes but, let's do it, baby. But by yeah. that uh-huh. logic, this, then nobody is a ten. That's the whole that's point. point. <laughs> why ask? No one's a ten. But no, I, we, we do this question because okay. it just shows how narcissistic most females are, that they, a lot of girls give themselves a perfect 10. Or they'll have someone on the panel go ahead and say, you're a 10, say you're a 10, 10, you're a 10. Kind of speaks about the fundamental differences between men and women. Like men typically rate themselves a little bit more accurately. Women almost always inflate their value. Which is I think it's confidence, not narcissism. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's confidence, uh, not narcissism. It Where does that confidence come from? Loving yourself. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. If it was loving yourself, then why do girls post have naked photos of themselves on the internet everywhere because they also love making they, money traps uh, most mm. girls don't make money off the internet like that they, they just do themselves. it for attention they validation. should they definitely should but most don't i don't know wait i'm not done what's your ideal girl questions for a girl that didn't care of, allegedly so i want to know because you have some questions for us i want to know what's your ideal girl a girl who don't want makeup <laughs> thank you i, I, described it earlier. I literally you. described it earlier you i want listening? to know i want to hear, hear it i already described it a girl that doesn't talk I said that's it quiet a second girl doesn't talk all that Bo, look wise wow you don't listen Okay. But look wise. I want to know what's the point of asking a man who won't get married what his ideal girl is like for what? Because <laughs> like, we're on his podcast and he's asking us. Yeah, all but these there's questions. no like prize for us in that. So like, why would you even like ask him anything about what he cares about? Because he asks us so much questions. I want to ask questions too. It's not your problem what I ask. I want to know what your ideal girl looks like. Ooh, I already looks true. like what she looks like. We'll get into that later. Um, that's not. No, I want right to know now. Um, and then you said so. In uh, for you, <laughs> right, you're all upset. so a guy, you don't want to a guy, it. a guy's only a prize if he wants to get married. In your eyes, it's only significant data for me as somebody who wants to get married if I understand what kind of metrics that he cares about. But if he doesn't want to get married, it's just extraneous data. What do I need to know for like my amusement, which is sometimes fun? That's well, fun. here's the thing. It's not that I'm against getting married. I'm I'm against getting married with the state involved. So I would do like a yeah. ceremony or something like that. Oh, that's like that. right. Like Columbia, right? That's what you said on PBD was that you would get married in Columbia. Or was that you? That was no, him. That was me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. The, I mean, you could, do, you could do a ceremony, right? Where it's like, <laughs> you kind of just get it done depending the on the state. The other black that it's guy, in. actually. But, uh, <laughs> so what is it about marriage you want to add? If you want to like remove the state and um, all of that, like I'm a libertarian enough, I understand the interest in that and not paying child support, which is a point you brought up, which, which is strange because you don't seem like a guy who would want to have kids and not pay for them. So that was like a weird thing. Yeah, I just think the obligation itself is um, systems corrupt. But you singled corrupt. out child support, which I thought was strange because you just seem like somebody that like if if it was earned that you would do your fair share. And so that seemed like a strange no, point to single for out. For me, it's more like I don't mind taking care of my kid if I have one. But being told to do it is different. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like you mean with the full power of the state, which I, I exactly. understand yeah. why you wouldn't want if you a make knife more, to your throat. If you make more money, they can like the the mother can take you back to court and be like, Oh, he's made more money. So now we need to increase right. the percentage of child support that he's paying to me. Yeah, so what was, what was it about? No, it's terrible. What was it about yeah, the love that you yeah. thought yeah. was yeah. Yeah. No, you're you got to choose a lane. No. You're all Miss Girl yeah. Boss. No, you're all no. Miss Girl yeah. Boss. Yeah. You're all Miss Girl Boss, so you got to choose a lane. No, because the other kid will come up way better than both of us. Then why should <laughs> you get a divorce? Uh, so when, when, they brought up, when you brought up thinking that Columbia them. was more fair about the terms, um, what was it you thought was more fair about the terms of marriage somewhere that wasn't America, specifically Columbia, just because you picked that? It's just freedom because uh, obviously here in the West, especially America, we're held to like the state and their regulations. And in Columbia, it's more relaxed. You could like do what you want pretty much. And you're not held to any standards pretty mm-hmm. much other than. Weren't you married before? Yeah, it was yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, was she Colombian? No. What was she? Ooh. Uh, from Nicaragua. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 
How right. long, were you, how long were you married? Can I ask a question of why everybody hates El Salvadorians? Oh, I. Did you say that? Uh, that, uh, we, that? We, we heard the Fresh and Fit Where podcast do not endorse that statement. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. No one ever said that. Okay. One, one. Uh, yeah. Sorry, my nails. Um, told me so, that. yeah, we got uh, 13K you guys watching right now. So, do me a favor. I'm going to read these chats, but from this point forward, what, 50 and up, Chris? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Chad Cleary goes, do you deserve a high value man and why? Ooh. Because we're going to go on the table on this, we can start at the couch. Sure. Um, Miss uh, Marilyn, do you deserve a high yeah. value guy and of why? Of course I do, because I'm a okay. high value ass person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What makes you high value as a high value person? Because I make a lot of bread and I don't give up. That makes uh, no sense. Okay. So what you're... makes no sense about it? I'm, I'm free to explain, babe. You guys have been talking a lot. I've been, I got a lot to say, too. Okay. okay. So go you're ahead. a high, higher earner. Yes, okay. I make a lot more than these men I've dated. Okay, but, but hold on, but especially you, in my age. You group. said you're uh, not employed, right? Oh yeah, of course. So how I do you make money? I, I make money. You don't have to be employed to make money. I, I know, but you don't have to, yeah, you don't like have to be understand. employed to make money. <laughs> no, no, I know, but what do you do then? I sell my art. Oh, I thought she was. About so this. you're self-employed. Yeah, dude. You could have said that. I mean, I'm not employed by like an employer. I don't have a boss, but like, okay. well, then, okay. I don't so like you, working. You paint, I don't you sculpt, like working. You... I do a lot. Rock. You can check the Instagram on Snatch Stacks. Stacks is like cat stacks, but like okay. Snatch. This is a free marketing now, strategy now for, you. for you. Say. Okay, so you're you're a high earner. That's what makes you high value Facts. or why you deserve it. Okay. Facts. All right. What about you? I believe every woman deserves a high value woman. Um, ah. Every girl deserves a high value man? Yep. No. Okay. Why? Um, In their own kind of way. Because they're Puerto Rican? No. No, actually, I take that back. Okay. I think you're right. She, I think she did the math. Yeah. And that it work that way. <laughs> Everyone can't be a ten. Yeah. Everyone can't have a high value man. That's we can't all be rich. So why well, we're asking why do you? We're asking do you um, deserve one and why? Um, I do. Okay, why? Um, because I bring a lot. I okay. Describe a lot. <laughs> um, I cook. I clean. Okay. I take care of my partner when I'm with one. Okay. I love them, and I interesting. I okay. I plan out trips. Okay. Very fun. All right. I'll what about on. you, Miss Cuba? What's a high value man? Okay. You know what? Let me go ahead and I should probably preface this for the ladies. A high value guy will just, and I think we've all come to this agreement here. It's a guy who earns, we'll say, $100,000 a year, bare minimum, minimum. right? Uh, and that he's uh, well, respected by his peers, well respected, has a network of other individuals that are also high value, has a skill set. Um, and uh, he's competent and he's useful to society and he garners respect. That's what a high value guy would be. He walks into a room and his reputation precedes him in a positive light. And men want to be him and women want him. Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. So that's that's what we would say. Some women want that. But I think I would argue 90 plus percent of women want you that. don't. Well, the woman that could give that to themselves don't really want that. Right? Uh, so, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. That's fine. America is I already guess. tarnishing yeah, her mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I don't anyway. want a high value man because I'm a high value woman for myself. Okay. Yeah. Can you explain what makes you high value? I work. Um, I could, you know, give everything that I want for myself. Why would I want a man to give me that? So, you that's... are the man you want to marry. Yes. <laughs> Got that's it. not high yes. value. That's regular value. Get Everybody whatever, has a job. I could Everybody get whatever can buy. man I want. <laughs> whenever I want. Wait, no, you just said things that like everybody does. Like I have a job and buy shit that I want. <laughs> Basically, it's true. So how do you stand though then if you're the same? That's or, or not else? high value. That's regular. I look good. I have, you know, I'm okay. I'm an entrepreneur. Like I could give no, no, anything. You know, you know, entrepreneur. No, no. Oh, spell the word entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yeah, spell it. Spell it. Yeah. E N T E. No, and -E. Babe, that Correct. doesn't even matter. You know? <laughs> uh, let's that continue. So let's continue on. English, it, English is not my first language, but that that's not important. Hey, you know? so so it's it's admirable you could, that you, you have a job. Oh, you couldn't spell that in English. Okay, in Spanish. Let's, 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 could you? No, hold on. It's, ab it's admirable. Spell, speak Spanish. spell that in Spanish. Okay, one second. It's admirable that you have <laughs> you a job can. and you do all these things and you're attractive. But do you understand? In order for you to be high status, comparative, there must be mid status and low status, right? Does that mm -hmm. make sense? So. There are a lot of girls that are attractive and there's a lot of girls that have a job. Do you understand okay. how that wouldn't necessarily make you just not to insult you? It's just comparative to, you know, the, the average of the population. There's a lot of women with a job. And there's a lot of okay. women that are attractive. So how does that define you as high status? Let's look from like a mathematical standpoint. How do you, do you Here, see the problem? Wait, let's go around the table and have every girl answer before we uh, do that. Um, all right. So you OK, you work, you buy anything you want and you look good. Fantastic. What about you, Miss? I uh, think you're from Puerto Rico, right? No, Cuban. Oh, Cuban. Cuba. My bad. That's the other That's an insult. All right. All right. So what, what make, do you deserve a high value man and, um, and why? If yes, so? absolutely. Okay. Why? Some time in my life, I 
do deserve a high valuable man why because it's always good to have a person that's going to like balance you out in a way that you can be you can buy yourself everything you can get everything okay that's great that it balances out but why do you deserve him is the point because I'm a high valuable woman. What makes you a high valuable woman? <laughs> <laughs> the way I am, my personality, the way I think, I'm very knowledgeable. Can you be a little bit more descriptive? Okay, so yeah, you're knowledgeable. What else? Like very knowledgeable. About what? About what? About everything. Like what? <laughs> Such as? <laughs> World every geography? To- every topic. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> we can talk about anything. You can talk about anything. I could Name definitely... three countries. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Talk about anything and you're knowledgeable. Yes. <laughs> like Google. No, right. chat GPT. No. All right, like what chat about you? Uh, do you deserve a high value man? And if so, why? Yes, because anything a guy needs is to, to transform. I push them all the way. Whatever they are, whatever business they do, I become that. Okay. And that's the job itself. What's so, the longest relationship you've had? Six years. Six years. When was that? What age to what age? Um, 18. 18 to 24? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so so you basically you would be a mentor to the guy is what it sounds like to me. No, they basically like guys have it rough. Okay. Yes. So they, whatever your guy does, it could be like a restaurant owner, a club owner, a podcaster. It could be you mm-hmm. own, do TV shows, you do music. Yeah. I become whatever you need me to be, and that itself is hard in a job. I have to transform myself to be that. Okay. Not in my easy. opinion. I think so that are... makes me a high value woman that gets a high value man. It's because you can easy. transform. It's not fucking easy. Yeah. Okay. Like but what, what if what if transforming puts you in a predicament where you have to kind of change the things that have made you successful? In what type of way? No more OnlyFans. Yeah. No more OnlyFans. That's perfectly fine. I manage girls. I do other stuff. Okay. No more like being out and about and they don't give a fuck about people. being out. No more. That's fresh why and fit I podcasts. came here and I talked to no one. Not because I don't like people, because I don't fucking have to talk. I don't care. I can be by myself. Okay, so my you own will, fucking world. You will change for the guy. She is an island. She's a rock. <laughs> so she's, that's all I'm saying. She's Darrell Rebus. So you'll give up certain things that made you successful in the first place. Strong, independent. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. What about you? Do you deserve a high value man? And if so, why? Um. Yes, I think I do okay. because I think that being able to support someone through the lows and the highs is very, very important. And I think sometimes you don't think about that when it gets low, people just want to leave. And okay. how do you support through the highs and lows? Well, for example, my boyfriend is in residency. So mm-hmm. right now I'm making more than him. So I pay for things when we want to go out. He's like, I don't have money to buy this ticket. I'll buy him the ticket. I'm like, I want you to come with me. And like, okay. it's a partnership, you know? Okay. What about you? What kind of doctor is he going to be? Emily, what kind of doctor is he going to be? Oh, sorry. Um, anesthesia. Oh, okay, oh, nice. nice. Big payout. There big payout. Question, what about, question. If he dropped all right now, would you still take care of him? You know what? We did talk about that. And I told him, like, as nope. long as you're making, like, the same amount or close to the same amount, yes. Mm. Stop the cap. Interesting. Okay. All right. How much do you make? I make 70. <laughs> oh, a year? Mm-hmm. That's easy. He can do that. Yeah, exactly. That's an anesthesiologist. He definitely can do that. He can do yeah. that in a quarter. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about uh, what about you? Do, uh, do you deserve a high value man? And if so, why? No. No. Okay. Whoa. Why do you say no? She's wise. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was it? What guy made you like this? Every single fucking one. <laughs> you know. Fair <laughs> play. Fair play. So fair play. Okay. That's interesting. At like, least she's what, real. What made you? What 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 made you kind of come to that realization? Like, okay, I don't deserve one of these guys. Uh, not once in your definition did you mention that they were like good people just because they walk in a room and demand attention and people look up to them and they lead. Like, doesn't mean that they're good. What's the what's your type? Like a good human being is like integrity. Personally. Yeah, integrity, morals, good sense of humor. It's Christianity, Islam. Does it matter? Not religious, okay. preferably. All right. Yeah. So, cool. Um, cool. Very cool. so you'll take a, I guess a, a moral, a morally superior guy over a guy that's super successful. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about you? Uh, you deserve a high value guy, uh, and if so, why? I would like to give my life to a high uh, value man because yeah. I. Good. Good words. Give I, my life to. 
I have to be inspired to do anything and a relationship requires so much from you every day to just keep choosing the same person. Uh -huh. And if he's somebody I can admire and fix my eyes upon and feel like they're some sort of guiding light that leads me into being the kind of person I want to be, that's the person I want. Yeah, I, I understand that what you want, but that's not what I asked that what I asked is what makes you qualify for one of these guys? OK, I didn't think it was unfair to establish what that was to me. Um, I, because of my willingness to, to do that and seek that out and recognize that in another person makes me deserving of it. And also the long-term commitment that that requires, that well, makes me deserving of it. So, and also I am a person that continues to learn every day and keep growing and pushing myself, which is why I want somebody that leads me like that. So willingness to recognize value, is that correct? willingness to recognize those strengths and characteristics in that person because most people won't even recognize that in somebody but clearly they do that's why he has a status that he does you know, well you're talking about a, a metric like oh makes a lot of money or he's famous or has a talent or something like that but that's not necessarily all like you know leadership skills there's sometimes sleeper things that that most women would miss they don't even know what they're looking at okay so you'd be able to recognize that value yes that's good okay question then, for you well, and then what was the last part you said yeah. I already forgot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> at, Stupid. What, at what age did you realize nope. this for yourself? I think you said ability to lead me. So mm -hmm. you said. So yeah, what age did you realize this for yourself? What age? Thirty. Um, I I guess I've always uh, had this idealism in me, so it was never not in me. What? I All was right. born this way. Okay. All right. Uh, what about you? I don't think that I deserve a high value man, but I have one. So whatever Ooh. I am doing must must be right. Okay. All right. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> what about you? I think I deserve a high value man. Why? Because I gave an average guy a chance and they can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped the ball, average guy. Average guy. Yeah, so, I'm going to get cheated on by an average guy. I might so, as well fuck Drake. So, question. Um, <laughs> Drake. But I'm saying like, so Drake. what qualifies you for the high value guy? Well, you said a high value guy yeah. makes at least 100 grand a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also do that. Okay. You said so when your money. Okay. They said you said when you step in a room, people respect you, or yeah, or people. Are, I'm a nice person. Like when people are in the same room as me, I'll introduce myself, say hi. I'm a nice person. People like me. And what was the other qualification? So you you deserve a high value guy because you make your own money and you're nice. I'm a good person. Yes, you're a good person. Okay. Uh, what and what else? Well, what was the other qualification that you listed that made a high value man? Well, respected by his peers, uh, has a skill, right, that other people respect. Other women want to be with him and other men want to be him. Mm -hmm. uh, Girls want to be me and guys want to fuck me. <laughs> is, that really, is that really a skill, though? Well, that's what qualifies a high value man. So yeah, I was but, comparing it to like myself. I mean, but let's be honest here. A girl can step outside and a guy's going to want to fuck her. Women don't have to build their value. Are you saying there's no high value women? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, yes. we'll get we'll get to that here in a second. <laughs> but I'm just saying because like you're you're trying to equate the fact that you can talk to a lot of guys or that you have men that want to fuck you, but it's not the same. A man has to earn the ability to be able to get girls that want to fuck him, versus okay. women just exist and they get that. Okay. So is it really the same level? I don't know, but I deserve a high value man because you make money and you're a good person. Mm -hmm. I like the confidence. Anything else that you would say qualifies you? Mm, I'm smart. What makes you smart? Period. Well, I went to school. I name, name three countries. Canada, USA, Mexico. Right. <laughs> Good work. Shout out to oh, NAFTA. Well right done. Okay. Right out the shower. Right out to, right out to the park. park. Love it. And smart. Bear, right. What about you? What uh, you deserve a high value guy, and if so, why? I do, because okay. I'm independent. I'm a hustler, and okay. I like to be with somebody to grow. That's what guys look for. Independent, <laughs> yeah. independent because so because you want to grow he should pick you no i'll grow by myself but i want somebody to grow with me yes okay boss babe <laughs> so, okay so what's a high value woman there's no such thing not here um but uh it's very interesting how... <laughs> Wait, I just know. do you really like girls i don't understand <gasps> can i speak please? i need to know can i speak please yes so it's very interesting because a lot of you guys gave very similar 
you know, accolades here as Not to why me. you deserve a high value guy. And my thing is, if all of you are offering the same thing, Not me. what really makes you deserve a high value guy when clearly he's diversified himself from the other men? There's definitely girls that don't deserve one. Thanks. That's Wait. that's what I'm trying to get at. Hold on. Who do you think doesn't deserve one? Yeah, on I'm panel? curious now because no. we're, <laughs> we're, we're like 80 percent yes at this point. Deserves got nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, because here's the thing. Like a lot of you guys said my money, my intelligence. Uh, I work. I buy my own stuff. I'm independent. Um, like, honestly, guys, like this is what I had the best men... answer. OK, OK. Yeah. Actually, no, I think Natasha had the best answer. to be oh, fair. Yes, uh, yeah. Natasha <laughs> does make mid six figures and then didn't try to use that to say that she gets a man. I value man because she's she makes more money than most men do. She didn't try to say that. Well, that I didn't was bring the case. it up either. It just I thought that was the bare minimum. I mean, I think, like I said before, a lot of you guys are bringing things to the table that men already oh, have man. to bring to the Sorry, table. Mike. You know what I, I mean? So it's you. like, can you please stop interrupting? <laughs> So what I'm saying is that a lot of the things you guys bring to the table are things that men bring to the table. So why would a guy look for his a mirror Equal. image? Why would he want that, realistically speaking? Men want to date women that are women, not women that behave and act like men a lot of times. And unfortunately, when you make a lot of money or you have these traits, it tends to masculinize you to a bit. I definitely don't act like a man on my OnlyFans. <laughs> I mean, well, that's that's kind of... See, that's another thing, too. Thanks. If, if you're involved in certain <laughs> professions, that's going to also hurt you with finding one of these guys. So what do you want to do? You want to get a girl that... Yeah. So what do men want? Well, what did we say before? A big thing for men is being respected by their peers, correct? If you walk into a room and your girl has her butthole on the internet for three ninety nine, a lot of guys are going to look at you and laugh at you. Because a man is judged by his woman to a degree. Or they're subscribing what she does. and paying for it. Yeah. It's, and they see sacred, that guy though. way much more. Like, he's a boss. You got her? You got her and she yeah, it's on a, your command that's, that's, your man. that's not how men that's think not that's not how men mm -hmm. think they, they it's shameful it's shameful for another guy mm -hmm. to go look at your girl fully naked that's shameful I don't think so. Well, I think you're wrong. shame. No, I think shameful. <laughs> no, I, I really don't. You can sit there and deny all you want. That's fine. But we guys, can go back and forth. That's fine. No, no, no. You're going to be wrong okay all night. That. Hey, Steph, so here's the thing. I don't think I'm wrong. So the difference is where well, I think the uh, the confusion is, and Rolo uses the term personal self-worth. Mm. You can have, uh, I'll tell you right now, Jessica's really smart. I know you are. You're a great speaker. But the personal self-worth things mm. are not the same things as what men find Sexual attractive. Market right? value. So you, like, I think you'd be a great podcast host, but that doesn't make anyone's penis harder do you understand what I'm, do you see the two the difference between the two things i have a question yeah. is there anything that to uh for a woman who has um i guess you called it be naked for everybody to see is there anything women can do to redeem themselves to high value men mm. or, or or for so, transcending so can, 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 I, can, I, can i say in yours it's a little con qualified? different context because you are an actual playmate yeah. that's different than than doing only fans where you're doing guy girl content with multiple different dudes i'm not and by the way i'm not trying to be judgmental but when you do guy girl content with multiple different dudes you did a, you did a centerfold that was different uh when you do guy girl content with multiple different dudes um, it's going to narrow the pool of men that you have to choose from because there's nothing Thing. And I, you know, I discussed this uh, the other day on, on my IG. Uh, so we went into a debate. There's nothing insecure about a man not wanting to see the future mother of his children being fucked by other men. That is not insecure. That's not small dick and energy. It also takes a is very there... high, confident man not to cut you off. I just want to say no, to no, be no, a no, girl. Go ahead. That does <laughs> only fans. Right, Steph, but do you understand what I'm saying? Your personal, I do. your I personal self worth. I, I, you probably mid six seven figures at some point because of all the people you manage and what you do on of i'm not denying that the point i'm trying to make is you understand there's a certain group of men and this is the debate that i've had before i'm mm -hmm. trying to like these guys are going to be a little bit more judgmental the chat is i'm trying to have this argument with no moral judgment whatsoever just a statistical argument the number of men that are you're going to be able to choose from that are high six feet tall six pack abs six make six figures a year the number of men that you have to choose from already that number that i just said is 0.38 percent of men according to the u.s census now it gets even smaller because Steph now what that guy has to do is compete with all the other men who have put their penis inside of you on camera do you understand the problem but that's, why do you that's care? the issue huh why do you care because once again it has to do with our status as a man do you guys remember uh, uh I fucked your bitch in some Gucci <laughs> flip-flops do you remember future saying that why is he saying that why is he saying he's saying that because he humiliates another man by having sex with his girl if you're a woman and you get cheated on you do not lose status like a man does when he gets cheated on a man literally can lose friends he can lose money he can lose his job if he gets embarrassed bad, bad enough a woman if you get cheated on you know what happens other dudes slide in your DM and nobody has a problem with it that's the that's the difference does that make sense I get it, but why don't you just why don't guys just go for the girls who don't have their butthole on the internet? And that's what they do. They, they that's do. what it is. What they do. Then what's the problem? The, the, the problem is the question of of you wanting a high value man. 
but, but I think you're conflating your personal self-worth, like the With fact those. that you're a, a, a versus entrepreneur your sexual market versus value. your sexual market value. Those are two things are different. And then the other thing I think you're conflating is your ability to have sex or at least to attract a, 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 a man of high net worth and then your ability to keep him. And then third, your ability to keep him and for him to stay faithful. Those those are three different levels. And a lot of times a woman, a woman will have sex with an NBA power forward and then confuse that for being, I deserve to now marry an NBA power forward who isn't going to cheat on me. And those two things don't necessarily happen. In and other it, words, ladies, it's not a flex to fuck a famous guy. Yeah. Can you keep a famous guy? That's mm -hmm. what it is. That's why when girls say, oh, guys are hitting me up, blah, blah, blah. It's not really a skill set. Because men are always going to talk to you or hit you up or whatever. To smash. Guys want to get laid. But can you keep that guy's the question? You made a it, good point, It's though. a way to look out for you, too. Because, like, what if you miss your fertile years and then later you're, like, dying alone because you had this delusion that you were going to get this man that never came? Do you have kids? Uh, no, I'd like to, though. But you made a good point. Maybe you, third day. You so. asked the question, if you have that type of content out there, how do you redeem yourself? Mm. I'm curious to yeah, see. Yeah, I have a question. Panel... He said you oh, were no. a playmate. Oh, real quick. Okay. How would you answer that, Rolo? Well, first off, uh, the what he was saying between um, comparing, like most women will conflate their sexual market value with their personal worth. And the reason they do that is because from about 18 to about 28 years old, that's when women are at their peak sexual market value agency years. So that's when guys are flying them out and once uh, where they have the most attention, uh, like capital, I guess. We usually say you won the lottery and you've got this money right now and you can use it up until a, a certain point kind of thing. You have to invest it in like yourself or in guys or whatever else that that million dollars is really sexual capital. And that sexual capital gets conflated with, I'm a good person, I must be a good person because I have all these other guys that want to slide into my DMs and reaffirm my ego as being a good person because I'm hot, I show my butt on Instagram or I have an OnlyFans or whatever. So what happens is women tend to conflate their sexual market value and their, uh, their agency during that time uh, with their personal worth. So once they get to the end, when they get to be about uh, 29, 30, 31 years old, and they're kind of sliding out of their competitive years, that's when they're wondering, well, where, where's my worth? Where, where are the guys? Where's, where's the guy that's supposed to like marry me and take me into the promised land, right? Where, where are we going to go in the long term? So when, when you have spent a good portion of your life on OnlyFans, you have a digital footprint, so that and it doesn't have to be only fans. It could be Instagram. It could be whatever else. And that digital footprint now will follow you for probably the rest of your life at this point. So most women will try to convince guys that that shouldn't matter, that if you're an insecure dude, if you have a problem with me being on OnlyFans, you're an insecure dude. If you have a problem with me advertising myself, even after we're married on Instagram, because that's just how I am and that's how I make my money. And it's becoming even more difficult right now for women to sort of separate that, their sexual market value from their personal worth, which they will have to, but it's made more difficult because of that digital footprint. And so guys see that and they go, Hmm, do I want to get involved with that? Or do I want to find a girl who is younger, who doesn't have quite the same digital footprint? So is it possible to redeem yourself? I think it just sort of depends on what you have done up to that point. I'll be honest here. Nope. You can't redeem yourself. No. Can't, man, you can't. I, I just keep Once it a thousand. There, yeah. Yeah, if you're involved hard. in any type of sex work, whether it's, you know, doing something like softcore porn mm -hmm. all the way up to being a playmate or whatever, that is always going to follow you. You're always going to be labeled a sex worker to some degree. Facts. You're always going to be sexualized and your future husband is probably going to have a point and your of future kids with that. are going to see it and your future so, grandchildren are going to see it. It's always yeah. going to follow you. It is always going to impact your ability to find a man to take you seriously. And I, I tell girls all the time, if you're going to get into anything where you're monetizing off your body, be prepared to potentially stay single for a long period of time because men value these things and they look at it. No one wants to walk into a room and have every guy there know who his girl is and seen her naked. Do you want, would, would a high value guy, would he be the kind of guy who would be OK with that? Fuck no. Do you want to get with a guy? Do you want to get with a guy? That's okay. I don't care that you did like three ways and you did and you did you know monkey backflips on you know OnlyFans. Are you going to is that would that guy meet the definition of the high value guy that you would want to marry and have babies with and go and it's just a simple economical thing. Okay, something that is valuable is scarce. Okay, and so if your naked photos are all over the internet for the whole world to see. Well, some guys do care. No, stuff. the, the but majority of guys that we listen, 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 guys don't care. The, the guys who listen, do care really aren't high value. The, you're both single. Huh? If you're like, you, I you have not a found. Relationship. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, well, but so the bottom line is this single. guys are going to a thousand percent disqualify you nine times out of ten. 
Not you, every single no. guy. No, that's why I said nine mm. times out of ten. Okay. Yeah. So you, said that, you, said there's no, you said there's no redemption. Um, what if she were to go on and transcend into some other domain of, uh, you know... <laughs> Public, version. Uh, of like a uh, public service or whatever because i have like attorneys generals of states that follow me i talk about current events i go and talk about po- on podcasts are talk any of those about, attorney like, generals naked on the internet at any point well Try no being but they burner. do care what i say so like i'm involved in these conversations so maybe they're not going to marry me but what if um i totally transcend what i've done like that you're it's st- always going to be it's still going to be there over your head and it's always going to be Oh, you even you got this opportunity because you were involved in certain types of like you're never going to get the full respect. And this is the thing I talked about on the podcast before. One thing about being a pretty girl that sucks is that you're never going to be valued on your actual meritocracy of your skill set or your brain. You're always going to be valued on the way that you look, which sucks for smart girls that are so, hot. So would you advise me to be anonymous on the Internet and go have serious conversations well, if I want to engage in serious conversations? We're past that point. You think people, I, people, no, people, no, I, got, I got an experiment for you. If you if you impersonated, well, but if I don't use my name, why would they be able to do that? If you impersonated yourself, if you went and made a new, a, a if new I account, an anonymous if you phrase. made a social media account where you pretended to be male, do you think you would have the same effect on the leaders of state and everybody? Mm. You just uh, it would be fascinating. It would be fat. I for one thing, I think that we're not going to have that into the future i think that within the next two maybe three years you'll have um identification that, to opt into the internet you have to be identified so i think that that's already everybody's a blue thing check. in the rear view mirror yeah i already think <laughs> that's uh, you know in the rear view mirror um but i've thought about how fascinating that would be but like because i am branded it's been fun to see what i can do as myself and people are really forgiving like people will entertain what i have to say as long as it's like interesting i mean i'll talk to ben shapiro on twitter Ben Shapiro yeah, neither do I, not anymore. But you gotta remember, it's not about people <laughs> taking you seriously in a work world. I'm talking about a man taking you seriously in a relationship. Yeah, but That's what I'm what, talking about uh, so you think all the men that watch me talk to Ben Shapiro don't think that that has value? No. Well, I mean, you're no. okay. listening, Look, not well, in the sexual so market. the good girls men, don't get cheated on? Men, so wait, the bottom, the high value women, 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 women want to oh, yeah. 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 not showing nothing. Why not get cheated on? First, because she's talking to Okay. So. You were saying, does does it matter that I'm talking with certain individuals? Is that what the question was? Just so I make sure I have this. Correctly. Well, there's so there. You think that there's absolutely nothing. There's there's nothing in this world I could do or achieve to be, uh, to for people to forget conservative-minded, high-value men to put it in the rearview mirror that I post for Playboy. Okay, so you're what 35, right? Yes. 36. Okay, 36. you do realize that there's probably another girl that looks just like you, doesn't have a Playboy background. Younger, yeah, conservative as well. Why is he going to pick you over her? Well, because this is, I mean, how many billions of people are there on the planet? Do I have to compete for the same people that? Yes, yes, because as a higher status guy, you are a fraction of the population, but there's hot girls everywhere. And I don't think women understand. I don't think women understand that the math doesn't math for you guys a lot of the times when it comes to getting a higher status guy. Well, you're stripping out all the personal chemistry that happens and things where the unique in uh, experiences you bond together over dates, all these things. You're stripping the humanity out of dating at all. Why is it that women want to use humanity and my personality and all this other stuff? But if a guy was ugly, you would never give him a chance. I would happily be with somebody that was unattractive to the mainstream society. I do not care at all what you look like women Rush. reject men overtly men reject women covertly and you might not even get a chance with this guy just because of your background he might not just even approach you see well but with then women, i'm not you even guys, scanning you for some- yes women get the privilege of a man coming up to them and they're able to openly reject them right there and you see your suitors come to you on the other hand though women don't see all the times that they get rejected you might get rejected because you're being too loud at a club you might get rejected because your internet profile sucks but you guys don't see the hundreds if not thousands of men that disqualified you immediately so women don't understand a lot of the times that they're getting rejected covertly. They're not even significant data to me because they're not a match. So I'm talking about people that are a match to me, that do approach me, that are fine with my digital footprint. And I'm telling Can you, most you higher status, that? I'm telling you, most higher status guy are always going to have a point uh, of contention uh, with that digital footprint. I, I think, I think, I think the, the the way to meet it in the middle, like when we have the destiny uh, debate before, it's a percentage. Would you at least admit that it does push the percentage out towards the fat tail? Do you understand oh, what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it makes it a little harder. Now, there are, by the way, there are some dudes who think it's a flex. They're like, hey, I dated a, a, a centerfold. And by the way, mm-hmm. you weren't the cyber girl leader. You were a playmate, which is pretty rare. There's not very, there weren't very many of those, like 12 a year, right? That, so I think that's a little different. But the thing is, you at least admit it makes it harder. Absolutely. So what he's saying is like, it's a, it's it's going to be less. I'm, I'm sure there probably is, and I'm, you've met them before. But the, his other question is going to be, you're 35 and single. Why is that? You see what I'm saying? 36. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah. that's just what the, that's just the reality for women is like you guys do have a finite amount of time to find your guy, and then things that you do will come back to haunt you. <clears throat> women care about a man's future. Men care about a woman's past. That's just how it goes. Mm -hmm. So why would a guy take you seriously when he has another girl that's ten years younger that doesn't have that background? It's gonna yeah. go with the younger girl. I guess it matters what you've done with that ten years as far as your personal development and uh, your personal but, conduct with them and the maturity that oh, you bring. Okay. So Jess. So here's the thing, right? So. Uh, my girlfriend graduated from high school early because she's really smart. She wants to go to law school. Yeah. And, and all these things are very impressive to me, but that's not why I'm with her. I'm with her because of the femininity she brings. She's the most loyal woman I've ever been with in my life. She would stab any one of you. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm yeah. not trying to be funny. She would, she would kill somebody. Well, and me. how many thousands of women have like, just like everybody at this table, not how many here. thousands of women did you have to meet and go through to find somebody like it, it her? Was, I agree. It, it she's an anomaly and you did amazing. Thousands. Michael, how old are you? I'm 45. How old is she? 21. <laughs> okay. What? Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I need to know. That proves our point, though. Yeah. That men overwhelmingly prefer younger yeah. women. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, nigga, you're yeah, old. Of course. Have I am. I do yeah, appreciate that. I am old. I am pretty old. It makes sense. Although the thing is, my, my you point look great. is, my point is, you look amazing. Look, look, my point experience. is just, I'm not trying to degrade you. Obviously, you and I are friends, and I and I see a lot of great qualities about you, but they don't make me want to date you. Does that make sense? Like, you know, CJ Sparks, one of my best friends. Yeah. I don't want to date CJ, even date. though and I take I look, she and she and makes me laugh. She's fucking awesome. I love partying with her. She's one of my closest friends. She's like my sister. But would you marry her? No, I wouldn't. And that's the thing. And CJ knows that. And we've had these discussions before. Why not? Huh? What makes her unfit to be married? Be because of the things that I love about her that are, you know, she's funny. She makes a lot of money, all this thing. And she's a great person to have a conversation with. Those things don't necessarily equate to the, the, uh, let's just say it, the uh, femininity, the loyalty, and the fact that she brings me peace. Those things would be different because it's, so especially. So what are you missing in the girl that's sitting next to you with the huge tits? She she well, brings me she brings her, so she brings know. me peace. She's loyal and she's feminine. <laughs> and here's the other thing: that that CJ nice. Sparks needs five million dollars. Yeah. 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 Let me make this extremely <laughs> clear because I don't think women understand this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and say it: men don't give a fuck about how much money you make, your status, your title, what you do for a living, what you've done. Like guys don't care about that shit. They care about a girl that's gonna be submissive, attractive, fit, not embarrass them in public. Hot, not a hoe. That's what men look for. You just Someone described you the list of Which redemption men, I was asking I'm for. I don't know some. why you couldn't list those things. Well, I'm no, I'm, I, I'm just putting myself. it bluntly for you. That's what it is. I mean, if you yeah. wanted me to list it out for you, but this is what men typically look for. And younger women are able to offer that in a higher abundance than older women, unfortunately. Of course. So that's yeah. just you what it is. So, of like, a lot of you guys Michael, mentioned, you a lot of you guys, can you please stop interrupting? A lot of you guys mentioned making money, being successful, being independent, whatever. Ask yourself when a woman is independent. Independent of who exactly? Of men. So my, why is a man going to come in and deal with an independent woman that doesn't need him when you can go and get a get a girl that's younger, hotter, that is going to be dependent on him? Because at the end of the day, men do want to provide for a woman. Because y'all niggas you. ain't providing shit. If you... Okay. Who, said, who said niggas? So, see, that's, <laughs> see, that's, <laughs> that's, that's If they point. don't look at you why as you a want king, then you don't want you. them. Like, don't you want a girl that has about, her own thing that can also like grow with you? It's, so, it's like, not about that. It's about... You've ever heard the phrase, right? The The squeaky door gets the oil. Like... If you see someone, right, able body walking down the street with a bunch of grocery bags and they're in shape and they're doing it on their own, you're not going to help that person. But if you see an old lady walking down mm -hmm. and she's dropping the bags and she's fumbling and she can't do it, you're going to be more prone to help her. That's how men typically deal with women. There's a reason why they say the damsel in distress, right? <laughs> men want to be able to be a provider and protect and provide for a woman. When a woman is independent, as you guys claim, that's masculine energy. That's because you're not needed. There's no, 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 there's I hear that constantly on every single one of these shows on You're Access Vegas. Exactly. Girl, and so people go, so what's the counter? The counter is pretty much what you said. Well, what do you want somebody to be like your slave? Do you want them to need you? Do you want it to be some sort of form of codependency? No, that's not what it is. It's complementarity. Your weaknesses as a man are made up for the strengths of that woman and vice versa. Your strengths as a man make up for, for her for her weaknesses. But what we've taught generations of women up to this point right now is that you don't need a man. You are this androgynous thing that doesn't need anything outside of yourself. You make your own damn money. You can provide provisioning, protection and parental investment. You can have a kid on your own. You could do you can have it all, girl. To be less we have you. been saying that Correct. since the 1970s, okay. since Betty Friedan and Gloria Steinem and militant feminism all the way back there. And we're still talking about it today. Half the girls at this table wouldn't even be able to tell you where they heard that from because it's been so endemic across four or five generations up to this point. When I say men need women and men, women need men, 
It's not just like, oh, well, we need them to build roads or anything. No, it's because we are complements to each other. We are better together than we are apart. Right. But when you say, why uh, you, I, I don't need a man, I want a man. What that says to me is that you're just this androgynous thing that doesn't have any needs outside of yourself and you're just this self-fulfilling entity. What guy wants to get with nonsense. a woman does, who doesn't have nonsense. any needs does, for Does that him? sound like, like loyalty it's comes along nonsense. with that? You don't need I, me. Oh, I should expect loyalty from that? Like, do you understand the problem? It's one of those situations. But majority of men are not loyal. They're going to cheat and do their things. So yeah. Male and female loyalty is that. not the same at all. Yeah. Like, I got an a, older a man that provides by, everything. By sexual fidelity. A man shows loyalty by being willing to die to protect you in times of peril. That's well, how many times does that really come like for us to know that happens? But you need, but you need to We're be ready for sure. it. We're not sure. Like you like, guys could act tough. You can put your chest they, out. But think, how do we really know? Men the point is, that every day the point is, is that how many times does that really happen? Men, men, one at a time, one at a time. Men show loyalty differently than women do. You show loyalty by not being a But how many times do we know that? We know girls like okay, but you could be wrong. Or somebody else like yeah, you're wrong. What do you mean? Like the girl, like if a girl cheats. Yeah, it's yeah. unacceptable. Okay, but how many times does a guy really have the opportunity to show that they'll die for us and do all this shit? I think every well, day they provide for you. They're they're showing you that. That. Here's the thing. I'm just saying, but every day guys are throwing dicks at us. Look, I mean, we have a military. So right? so 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 thing to come out of your mouth. Look, 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 look. But how many times am I going to know you were going to die for me and do all this shit? I don't know that because the time, the chance, the percentage is very little to none. Well, that's Someone. on you to pick the right guy that's willing to do that. But just it's like, also we're, are we going to war every single yourself. time? We're not going to war every time, but we still have a very strong military. So Why? it's up it needs to, to be there. us, the girls that do more, honestly, to show it Sounds like you better have a lot of that's, value that's, added besides the pussy and everything else. Yeah. I already answered the question. Yes. Mm. Anyway. Uh, Excuse me, girl <laughs> in the white. How often have you been on the show? Me? Yes, you. Never. Okay. Well, hello. I'm Chrissy. I wanted to say a lot of points. Okay. To so the mic. I'm sorry, y'all. So them. first of all, I'm trying to get some slang at me. I'm a what? they them. I like to consider myself as a they them, right? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did this come from? That? I couldn't even tell who was talking for two seconds. What is that? Yeah, this is Chris. This is Chris <laughs> all the way that? in the back. Okay. Right. T-shirt, she bro. identifies a they them. Yeah, what is that? I, That's why I she wants more they dick. them, but you can call me she, whatever <laughs> it. Fantastic. Frank Castle. Chucky, <laughs> everything. Wait, so, I'm sorry. Are you coming for me or are you just I'm not coming for anybody. I'm just asking you a question. This is an open discussion, correct? So I just want to ask you a question. So you're, you're a hard working Before woman. Before you answer can, this question yeah, of course. real quick, I just want to say, yeah. just to finish this point with needing and wanting a man, mm. whenever a girl says, I want a man, you already lost because that tells me that you want a guy just to be there to fulfill some kind of thing. When you need a man, you're going to behave better. You're going to do everything in your power to keep that man. But when girls say, I want a guy, it's kind of just a novelty thing. And oh. That's why I always yeah. say girls typically, they don't, they want to get married, but they don't necessarily want to be a wife. They want the ceremony, but they don't want to go ahead and take the actual plunge and do what they're supposed to do to be a wife. That's that's the reality. So if you don't operate like you need a man, you're not going to work hard enough to keep that man because keeping a guy is where most girls fail. Girls can attract a guy, but they you're can really right. keep him in a long-term mm-hmm. relationship. Women don't marry men. Right. They marry lifestyles. And also, they, they make marry. money, right? But ultimately speaking, are you going to spend the money on your man? No. Yeah. So Of course. Be honest. Man. You, 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 yes. you, 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 you got to pay all the bills? I did. No, no, no. Where's that going to help? For how long? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I left him. Yeah, yeah. you left him. That's okay, what I'm trying so to say. So what, I love it when girls say dumb yeah. shit like, I'll provide for a guy. I make the money. No, 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 that's not right. Let me, let me explain. Right. For men, you guys want to know why men don't give a know. fuck about how much money you make? Because it doesn't matter how much money you make because you're never going to support me anyway. Facts. That's no, because why you know. no one cares about your money because you will not provide for me from a long-term standpoint. It might be a month. It might be a day. It might be because a year. They just care who knows? About sex. But my time is always ticking as a man if my they girls provide for me. Who but on the other way, though, right, a man will gladly provide for a woman long-term. You guys are not built to be providers. That's why men don't give a fuck about your money. Same thing. You guys don't care about our looks to that significant degree. It's a component, but it's not that important. Why? Because women don't value beauty like men do, right? If I'm prettier than you, Nah, that gets annoying after I spend more time in the mirror than you do. I'm taking more shopping trips, etc. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Same thing. My beauty doesn't help you. Your money doesn't help me. Simple. Simple. Okay. How can uh, we help each go other? Go, uh, so go going back to, you had your I'm point that you want to make. You. Yeah. Say them. Yeah. Go yeah. Ahead. <laughs> How can we help each other at this point? Because I'm trying to change the world. I'm trying to see actual change. None of y'all niggas are going to marry in this room. Go back to she, her first. See, I'm trying to go back to being a woman. All I right. changed my gender because these men have not been pulling up their weight for it. <laughs> rap. 
I'm telling you, crap. I've dated men. Did you get like a surgery or something? No, I have not gotten any surgeries done to my body, but I like to modify my body like naturally. I like to take, you know, plants. I like to get massages. I like to do gua sha. I like to do things like that to, thank, you know. Thank you. Yeah. So, so, so you don't realize routine. that by you identifying as a they, them, and being androgynous, that's going to limit your ability to find a guy, right? Of course. Do you take cold showers? Of course, because, oh yeah, I do. I do plunges. I do cryo. Yeah. So, I do Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. I don't want that on Ayahuasca yet. Let me, let me ask you a question. So uh, let me, would it make sense, right? Let's say I wanted to get a bad bitch, right? I want to get a yeah. really hot girl. Would it make sense for me to never shower, never cut my hair, move in with my parents, start smoking weed all day, and eat Cheetos all the time and gain weight? Would I've that make dated sense? niggas like that. And y'all niggas please suck. answer the question. Would yeah. that make sense for me to be attractive and get a bad bitch? No. It don't, but I've dated okay, the so men, me, and they still me, don't provide. On, please, just let me getting somewhere here. I'm sorry. My point is, if I'm doing all these things that make me less attractive, wouldn't I be stupid to try to go ahead and attract women when I'm doing everything in my power to not be attractive? Even if Shit, you have I'm money, done, I'd most be done too. Okay, so why are you doing these things to alter your gender when you want to get men? I want both. I want a bad bitch. I want a dude. I want a polyamorous relationship. I want something. You do realize yeah. that by doing certain things, you're going to limit your ability to find a man and get a man that takes you seriously. I'll limit, I'll, that's me filtering out the man I don't want. So then want. you can't complain about the options you have if you're actively working to limit your options. I mean, I want the... I. You know what I value the most? ideals no, no no do you understand that concept that if throwing you make spaghetti yourself against the wall and seeing what's like you not understand that you're doing things to make yourself less attractive yet complaining that men aren't of picking course. You. are you a scorpio no i'm a pisces baby uh, oh, yeah. that's oh, all oh, you totally Ooh, seem like a pisces Throw off. i can totally <laughs> tell that you're a pisces Throw off. sorry gemini moon leo rising oh is that I'm dude that's what i thought shit. for sure yes. that's absolutely the best are you trolling right now are you trolling Am I chilling? Are you trolling? trolling? Why would I troll you guys? I'm being 100% completely honest. Okay. She really is this crazy. Uh, yeah, bro. So you, <laughs> you can check my spreadsheet. Uh, my digital footprint is ass. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is kind of what I mean when I say, like, women can afford to be kind of out there and still get attention from guys. Like, there's still going to be a dude that's going to DM her. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. women yes. can afford to be on some <laughs> type shit. If this was any guy for an advice, we'd be like, <laughs> what I'm the fuck you up. are you Like, if you can handle right this, now, you dude? can handle a lot. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. What, what was that you said? Like um, if you can't handle this, you can handle a lot of shit. I, I don't want to handle it. And if you can't handle it, it's like being a POW. I get it. Yes. Yes. You guys are pulling your weight up. That's what I'm saying. Like I have a whole punani, uh, okay. and you Let guys are. Let me ask are, you a question. Yeah. Why should a man <laughs> have to go out to the world, earn a living, get beat up every single day by society, then come and have to handle his woman? Because I do it. What? <laughs> I go out there. I try to sell my art. I get beat up by bitches. I get beat up by men. What the same men in oh, my fucking house. But you do realize that men live a way harder life than women do in 2023. Let's be I don't. Honest I don't think that's true because we really? all have the same opportunities. We're just born with a different, uh, you know, thing between our legs. Yeah, but that thing between your legs gives you more power than I do. That's why I'm gonna use it. Okay, so therefore you have advantages that I just st stated. Well, what is your disadvantage as a man? Listening to you. Women have way more advantages than men do. Can you please explain? Okay, here's the thing. Women are treated like equals in society and have all the same rights and privileges as men. Actually, Depends they have more. Depends if you look good or not. Okay, well, hold on. Let me finish my point. Mm -hmm. Women have all the same rights and privileges as men, if not more. And on top of that, women are able to <laughs> dig into the point that they're a lady and be treated like a lady, which is preferential treatment in itself. What if I want to be so treated with, a double dip? What with respect? If you look ugly, they don't treat you with respect. What makes Am you I respectable? Ugly? Even ugly girls Am are ugly? able to get men five points above themselves. Let's be honest here. And even an ugly girl has more options than a very attractive man. They've done studies on this and proven it. Fucks. They did a, a tender study. Look, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. They did a tender <laughs> study. Me off they took bitch. a 400-pound chick. You're not ugly, ugly as fuck. Okay? She had four times as many matches as an extremely attractive guy in the top 1% on Tinder. So don't tell me that women have less options than men. Even ugly girls have more options than the top tier guys. Thanks. An average girl has more pull than a celebrity. Let's Thanks be the honest. Internet. Are they taking them outside? What? They're not taking them girls outside, dude. You can't yeah. take them to brunch. You can't take them to outside. You F them on Tinder. That's why I got my Tinder banned because I was, you know, promoting my shit. Wow. Okay. So you this know? is what you were talking the show talking about. Fantastic. Wow. And then no, you got I didn't. taken I didn't. to I really Taco Bell. To have, you know, not even Taco Bell. I'll go out to like a, and I like good food. I like good food. Women live a far easier life in the United so States chilies. and develop Western countries than men do. That's a fact. Like, like Capital Grill. Like Capitalist. women have, uh, women live a way easier life because you guys are able to still enjoy the same rights and privileges as men while simultaneously being able to be treated like a lady, which is inherent disadvantage to men and we get to take advantage. half your stuff 
There when I identified <laughs> as a woman, you know, dressed really sexy with my shirt, like, you know, cropped to here. Tits Think about out. it. Why do more men transition to a female and not the other way around? Because oh, the, nobody wants to deal with that patriarchy mess, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with it. Uh, do you think if I was a white man, I'll be slapping myself in the back? I'm sorry, I'm a white man. I'm sorry. I'm like, you know, what I'm not. What like, am I black? What is this? I'm right trying now? to explain myself. But, like, you're doing a terrible awesome. job. Yeah, because there's too no much. Sense. There's there's too much interruption right now. There's no interruption. You just don't make sense in your head. How do I not make sense? You what make what sense. do you want me to explain Yo, right now? Are you vegan? I used to be. <laughs> Ah, yeah, okay. now I eat meat. Did anyone else have anything before I go Big back to the chat? I have a question. Oh, no, I've been here for two hours. Ain't nobody slapped me on the back yet. Right. Emily, <laughs> yeah. Emily, you make no sense. Guys, everybody be quiet. Be quiet okay. real quick. Emily, go ahead. Go ahead. So I understand your point because um, I've talked about this with my guy friends and it yeah. really surprises me how little you care about how much a woman makes, mm -hmm. her profession or status. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about wanting to be needed. Mm -hmm. How do you see the difference between being needed and being used because it's a really good question that's mm. on the guy to not be a moron and understand that see people a woman's only a gold digger if she doesn't reciprocate value so if you're providing for her and giving her this certain lifestyle she needs to reciprocate and give you back some type of value in exchange right um but that's what i'll say the guy's got to be smart enough to understand that he needs to receive value from his girl to the same degree that he's providing her do you so think being submissive sorry it, it values back to money right yeah. to be what it needs to be with the rich man right because that high value woman right would be someone that submissive listens does whatever the man says right and that yes. goes back and forth for your money i don't think a high value woman can yeah. exist by that goes back so, your money. Let me, so let me go back to what i was going so no it's not that yes it well Negative. yes here's the thing what man you high bought? value woman what high value you bought woman, what, what, because she, 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 you're telling us what to do exactly. So Listen, said, nod our head, agree, yeah, do whatever, so you can pay our bills and do whatever we need. Can I we have can a be chance of redemption, please? <laughs> um, so the girl in the white, it's, it's not. No. Girl, no. you can do everything for these men. They're not going to respect you the way that you okay. want to be treated. All right, let me let me just. That's the main. Yeah, I mean, like, that's the main. That, that's, that's the main, main thing I'm trying to explain date. to y'all right Especially now. In this it's, it's like about, I've done okay, every single. Okay, can you single... stop interrupting? Of course. Dude. Okay. <laughs> so you were saying that women can be bought is what you were trying to say? Well, basically, you're saying what we need. Oops, I'm sorry. Basically, what you're saying is that as long as we listen, yeah, and you say get up, we get up, we sit down, we sit down. He, we're high value women. He didn't say that. No, but. a high value woman, because okay, I never actually described it, is, is a woman that can attract and retain a high value man because a woman what acquires her status through her man. There's mm -hmm. a reason why a woman takes a man's last name and not the other way around. There's a reason why a woman wants to walk down the aisle and have the man of her dreams waiting there in a suit. Women want a high status guy. So you become high value as a woman. Why is the man waiting for the girl? Excuse me? The guy waits for the girl the, in the end of the aisle. They wait for us. We take our time to get ready and we go down the aisle when we're ready. Yes, yeah, so so the, the father, the father the offers him up and there's a dowry involved. Here's the thing, okay. ladies. When you deal with a higher status guy, you are no so longer the prize. So what makes us a high value woman? I Try want to know. A high value man to come to you. That's what makes you a high value but woman. What are the what are the characteristics? What do we need to do? I want to understand. Low you body count is one of them. Typically, uh, low body low count, body being feminine, submissive. These are things that are going to help you get this guy. But you being able to get that guy, acquiesce to his frame, and retain him and take his last name. That's what makes you high okay, value. Okay, so okay, you said low body count. A lot of guys don't give a fuck about that. But anyway, the next thing. Oh, no, they thing. definitely yeah, do. They definitely they really absolutely do. do. They absolutely do. Hey, don't. Steph, so let's do this. So there's a... But a, what's more? I want to know what else is Oh, Steph, Steph, so uh -huh. what, what you just said, a lot of guys. Do you think most guys don't care about a high body count? Not the ones I date. No, we, we're aware of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. But, but you're not, you're not married either. So my question is, do you think most guys care about body count? Yes. Would you say most guys? Uh, I would think so, maybe, okay. but I'm not really sure. Do you think the that, guys do, I date got it? Do you are think, all successful? Do you think that they men, don't care and we don't even talk do you about think it? Just if, have sex. if we did a population wide study of millions of people, do you think on average men would care more about body counts than women? Substantially. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Do you, you think at, on any point that these things would come because of culture, because the people in the West are this way or the people mm -hmm. in the East are this way? Or do you think this is completely genetic and it would be across all homo sapiens that men would care more about body count than women? Yes, do you think it's a cultural thing or do you think it's genetic? What do you think? Either or. 
I it's could either understand or. that. I could understand that. It's I'm not genetic. saying like it's not that men don't care. Yes. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that a lot of men do not give a I, fuck. Agreed. Yeah. And Just, a lot of men cheat regardless. Sure, girls sure, sure. Like B- because us, because whatever the fuck you want to say because they men cheat care more on about their g- g- wife that's such a good girl. And they put them in this pedestal, but they go cheat on bitches. Right. But because like because us. because men care more about body counts than women do. That's part, women, of, that's part of the reason. It's not to property. excuse it, huh? Because women are property. Well, you're I'm not saying that. Your good I'm not saying that. Us, but it's true. No, my, my point you're is, you're disrespecting your good girl wife by cheating with girls that have body counts or whatever the fuck you want to say. No, because she has a lot of things. Not really biological. Biological. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're throwing different. a hypothetical in there that I wasn't including. But my point is, the, okay, the point I wanted I'm to make is, often often people make this point. They're like, men care more about body count because because. Whatever. Do I got my tits out to talk? Steph, no. Listen. <laughs> One second. <laughs> what? I got titties, bro. Look, Marilyn, natural. just give me a second, Marilyn. Yeah. Keep okay. them in the bag. Listen. So the thing is, what the point that you're trying to make is, my point is, in every society throughout history, men have cared more about body counts than women, and the reason why is not because of some insecurity that men have that for some reason the men that you talk to don't have it. It is because for throughout history we have the burden of paternity uncertainty, and women do not. When the baby comes out of you, you always know it's yours and we don't always know it's ours and so because of that that's why the majority of men are going to care more about the number of men you've been with than the number of men that we've been the number of women we've been with because in this situation one of the things that happens is the likelihood and there's studies that show this the li- if you've been with more men before you were married the likelihood of you cheating on me is higher and then my paternity uncertainty is now you're gonna cheated. make the, your, huh i've never cheated you've never cheated okay awesome. stop the cap Okay. I never cheated. That's fine. But do you understand what you're saying? Like what I'm, what I'm saying is what, what often, saying. often what we'll get, the argument we'll get back is these men shouldn't care that I have sex with multiple other partners on yeah. OnlyFans and sell it. And the reason why they care is because they're insecure. There's nothing insecure about a man not wanting you to have videos of you having sex with another man. That's not insecure. Now, some men may make the plunge and make the decision to go ahead and date you stuff. I have no doubt whatsoever. You have a huge fucking profile. I have no doubt. Can't wait to meet the guy that you end up with. But the point is, you you do understand you're lessening the pool significantly, like two orders of magnitude. There's a significant lower probability of you meeting a normal guy who's going to be fine with your past. Does that make sense? I understand that. I agree. Okay. But they're there. So what's the argument? That's why you have to live in high value areas, people. Uh, so my thing is saying basically what is really a high value woman, like someone that just listens, submits and all that oh. to be into a man that's a high so value man. Manipulate. I mean... They tend to have certain characteristics, but a what high are those woman, characteristics? Okay. I want to know. Well, he's already said it like a bunch of times. <laughs> but I feel like I agree to them that I'm that. Can I, a bunch of can I like here redirect here a little bit? Because I wanted yeah. to, you did not get your question answered. I'm so I don't sorry. think so. Anyways, simply because wrong. like when you were asking like what is like you you were like questioning why it is that guy you're, you're surprised anyways by the fact that guys don't really care so much about what you do or how much money you make or anything. It's not that that's not icing on the cake, but that's not the primary reason that guys are attracted to you. So a high value guy or or for whatever definition that ends up being will be just as happy with a girl who's the sandwich artist at Subway as she is with a a girl who makes, you know, half a million dollars a year, as long as she passes the boner test, as long as she is attractive, as long as she has those qualities, feminine qualities. The problem that I think that women, when they get into like, uh, education or they get their bag or they get their money or they got their business on point or I, I don't know what you're doing for for a living right now or what you what you do I know you're 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 soon to be husband I guess is uh is going to be an anesthesiologist but the the fact that you're not an anesthesiologist doesn't even factor into any of that it's just like is this person somebody who's a good compliment to me in the in the feminine so what I think we're teaching women today is that the things that make you more masculine, which is I got to get the bag. I got to be I have to basically be the man that I want to marry because I don't know if I'm ever going to find that guy because we live in uncertain times and nobody can trust these guys. And right now you're betting on the guy that you're with even so he doesn't make as much money as you, but you're investing in him. But you're still you're wondering why. These guys don't find the fact that you have an education, you have money, you have done all these things to sort of ensure your long term security. You don't understand why that's not as attractive as, say, more feminine qualities is because those qualities that you find attractive in a guy are not the qualities that the guy is going to find attractive in you. So it doesn't matter how much money you make, how educated you are. It's not that that's not important. It's just that that's not a factor in attraction from that guy to you. 
So again, can a, can a guy who has all that education and all the things that you would expect of yourself to be a high value woman, can a guy who has all of that be just as happy with a girl who's a barista? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think if, if to make it even more hit, hit the nail on the head, let's say the roles reversed. Mm -hmm. You were studying to be an anesthesiologist mm -hmm. and he had the job making 70K per year. Let's say you decided, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to stay at home. He wouldn't break up with you. But if Can he said, consider? I want to stay home and I don't want to work, you would definitely break up with him. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Men have to perform. Women don't have to. That's why men don't care about a woman's ability to earn money or her title. I think, I think that's why I have value there's this, there's this balance. Like, it's like, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? It's, it's like, it's, it's not the same. We'd like it to like, I think women would like it to be the same so that when women get to be say like 35, 36 years old and they go, where's my, where's my man? Look at me. I've got all this accomplishments that would make a man very attractive, but it doesn't make a woman very attractive because you've invested in more masculine traits as opposed to getting in touch with your feminine traits. And that's the problem that I run into when women say, Rolo, where's my man? I'm 35, 36 years old. I've got my business on point. I've got this on point. I've been to school. I've got everything. How come he's not, how come I'm not at the top of my game right now? And it's because you've turned yourself into the man that you want to marry. The guys who would want to get with you, who have the, something that you would consider equal to you, they don't, they're not looking for you. They're looking for the 24 year old or the 23 year old because she's, 21. she has less, you know, she has <laughs> less baggage, I guess, from, from, from that, in that respect. So when I'm asked this, they'll say, so what do I have to do? And I will say, get in touch with your feminine, like become like find some way to sort of emphasize those feminine traits. And that sounds like dumbing yourself down because you spent all pretty much most of your life trying to build that, what you, your accomplishments that you find valuable but they're not attraction traits for, for a guy. Why do you think more women don't recognize that modern feminism was a sabotage of their life? Because they're too busy fucking being told how hot and, because, and awesome they because are right it's now. E Can I because Rolo, it's easy please? and empowering, I think. I also, it's, it's, it's based it's on emotion. Right, but, but think about well, it's it. It's not, but the, but the message sounds like yeah. it. It sounds good. The it, advertising's it, good. They're bombarded with it. Yeah. Like social media is telling you how fucking awesome you are. But Movies why? are telling you awesome. Because it's easy to trick and manipulate yeah. you girls. But to what be would like, they get out of that? Endless out, consumerism. Money. Endless I mean, consumerism. All right, money. I've always said on this podcast. Endless consumerism. When you lie, women buy. So if advertisers tell you that you're special, <laughs> no matter how you behave, you're all a 10. Get yep. this makeup. It's going to make you more beautiful. Yep. Love your curves, girl. We lie to women because women are easier to lie to and get to purchase things. Women are impulse buyers. You guys are 80% of the consumer base and you hold three quarters of the debt. There's a reason why you look at Bud Light, Miller Light, saying all this stupid shit. What are they doing? They're targeting women even though their consumer base is men, which is foolish, but they do that because they know women are easier to trick to purchase things. Yep. And women don't really do well with the truth. If I told every single one of you guys, none of you are a 10. All you ladies over 30 are going to have a significantly harder time finding a man. Your past does matter. Being an OnlyFans girl or being promiscuous is going to fuck up your chances of finding a guy. Mm -hmm. Don't be fat. Be feminine. You guys are all going to look at me and call me an angry misogynist and hate me. Yep. But we lie to women because there's more money in lying to women the time than the truth because what, women can't what, handle the truth. What do you general. think about thanks to democracy that all the women that you won't marry are selling you into chains? What with the votes? <laughs> I'm conf what do you like, mean? What by do you that? think nah, voting no for chains, Democrats man. is? Oh, she Everybody's said she said the voting bloc being so majority if, female. The yeah. reason, so mm -hmm. the only reason women need the state to step in and support them is yeah. because men stop supporting them, and that's yeah. the natural deterioration away of of what happened with the you know dissolution of marriage. So. Don't I mean, you want to combat take. that at oh, all? Like, this... don't you want to tell women, yes, there are things you can do to redeem yourself because well, women don't want the truth. Though. They might yeah. get a mid-level man that at least then well, they're not. The then you can stay free. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't care about staying free. Each and every one of you rated yourself well above average, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the problem. Well, why women did you have... book us on this podcast if you didn't find us well above average? Ooh. My point is this: mm -hmm. you can go. Yeah, yeah like, I, like leave anytime yeah. you want. Yeah. Like, even if we leave. The point is, is <laughs> average that women most don't women, want average men. Yeah, most yeah. women have an overinflated sense of self worth based on what he was telling you before. We tell girls that they're special. Blah blah blah. All of you guys probably think that you're better than an average man and you deserve the best. All of you said you deserve a high value guy. Yeah. Yet when I ask you what you bring to the table, all of you guys bring the same shit. Women are fairly delusional about where they stand in the sexual marketplace and what they qualify for. That's the reality. We don't tell women the truth that the older you get, the less value you have. Hey, being a whore is going to hurt your ability to find a guy. Sexualizing yourself on the internet is probably a stupid move. We don't tell women any of these things because it makes more money to lie because well, we lie it, women by. It's so much that way. In fact, you get banned from the internet of stating the obvious so that we yeah. can I'm catch on to, to the truth of this. You get banned, yeah. 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 Well, well, women don't do well but with the truth But that's a societal general. sabotage because why would they want to turn women against men? They're ring, doing it because it's more profitable. 
and because the it's, power of the state grows in that it's circumstance. The biggest wealth so you don't think that you don't think that that's history. beneficial to power With, to do that to us? Yeah, because when you have two people working, if you have women enter the workforce, yes. you're able to effectively lower the wage rate. Yes. And then on top mm -hmm. of that, when women are single, they spend more money. And you increase productivity. Since yeah. 1971, when women, uh, well, women already had the right to vote, but when they started getting more and more into the into the workforce between 1965 and 1975, you can see when women enter the workforce and they get after Title IX, right around to, 1971 was a really hell of a year. But if you look, look at the stats for um, for mean wages, they flatline. But productivity skyrockets right then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's, little, take. it's it's like basically free free labor and free money for people. Controversial take because you mentioned voting and all this other stuff. I think a woman's vote should be two women for one guy's vote. And the reason why is because men. You're a Democrat. That's why. I feel like this I should be a Democrat. Democrat. That's a Republican. That's the only reason man. you would not women have it. Have no. you ever seen those maps where it's like Hold all on. the men in the U.S. and all the women? So women. Let me, let me explain. Yeah. Let women, him cook. Overwhelmingly, let him cook. women overwhelmingly vote <laughs> yeah. Democrat and they yes. vote for communitarian type laws. So if anything, I, I would say the reason why two women's votes should count as one is because, number one, women don't enter the selective service. So you guys have no military burden like so men So you think that we should have twice the power to vote you into war to go no, die? No, half the Two power. women. Half the oh, power. Half, oh, one male yeah. Vote. Well, obviously. Yeah, two. I, I say one. <laughs> two females should count as one male vote. Okay. And the reason why she is because understand. men have way more responsibility than women when it comes to that. And women tend but to vote for communitarian type things. What? I'm sorry, but I feel like harder work is seeming to make men a little bit dumber because they're using their bodies so much. They're not using their brains. What? Yeah, I'm confused. What are just, you talking about? I mean, if men, mic. oh god, all right, guys. you don't make sense. I, well, I don't see I'm what your point out. is. What is your point? My point is that men aren't really pulling their weight up in society. Really? No, not you at all. You do realize everything that you enjoy, all the modern conveniences you enjoy, are built by men. Women like, don't contribute to society like that. Like what? I mean, you bump this tower. Like the but, microphone I mean, you're, you're using right now. Okay, <laughs> look, the sewage system, all in the, the, power the infrastructure that you enjoy in the first world, whether it's sewage, power. The, the roads, etc. That was all built and created by men. Women and don't maintained. Go have you ever caught a fish before? And maintained what? by men. <laughs> have you ever gone fishing? Have oh you ever caught God. your own food and ate it? Yes. Yes. But what the, you, did but, you hunt? Did yes. you fish? Yes. What is your point here? My point is men are pulling their weight up. You they don't like them on Instagram. Food. Girls don't like those kind of things. Women don't go into infrastructure type jobs. They just don't. If you if you look at the uh the jobs that keep America running. What? Have you looked at my resume? Oh, my God. Yo, no. You do realize that the world doesn't revolve around you, right? Just because you might go into those jobs doesn't mean that other women do. That's women why I'm trying to find people like me. Prefer I'm not jobs. hiring. <laughs> women overwhelmingly prefer jobs, okay, that are cushy air nowhere. conditioning in an office. Women don't work hard labor jobs. They don't. Men do that. Men take all the risks. Men build society. Women don't. Oh, women extract from society. Men build society. That's just how it goes. That's why we work in a day. pharmacy is hard as hell. What? Yeah, I mean, even if you working in a pharmacy at, is hard as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Adderall, Adderall is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Try standing on your feet Adderall for ten hours drug. straight without without eating. Oh, yeah. poor, that's a rough oh, life. life. Have you ever been? Have you ever laid a roof in Florida in the summer? I've actually painted houses <laughs> in Macon, uh, Georgia. So the answer is no. Shout out to uh, Macon. Nah, dude. Okay. Okay. Shout out Macon. to Macon, Georgia. Okay, you what? I'll take you fishing. So I'll get the look. fish and I'll cook it for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me say something right. to you over there. Because I can do that. You have an issue where you you want to get involved in the conversation, which I, I applaud that. But if you're going to get involved in the conversation, <laughs> you need to actually bring something of substance and make a point. Versus going off a random tangent that doesn't make sense. That's incorrect. Ninety nine percent of the time. I'm asking questions. Ask, questions no, you made are a statement neutral. A second ago, questions are neutral. They're not. They're neither negative or positive. What? A question is a neutral thing. Is neither negative. Or yeah, yeah, time for super chats. You made an okay. incorrect statement. Okay, we're gonna come back to you. The Haitian community ain't even claiming da, 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 me no da, da, more on uh, this uh, joint. We're gonna. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm reading this. I read a super chat saying they don't claim me. I'll read those chats uh, real I'm quick. Chat Did anyone else have right anything now. before I move back to the chat? No, we, we, we honest, bro. 26 wow, chats. All right. Uh, concerned black man goes, not my cup of tea, but amazing show earlier. Chris's tongue is like a wild animal trying to escape. Mo has a sectional uh, as a chair. Fresh is the same color as nothing. Myron hits the sound effects like a drinking bird all love. Thank you. <gasps> Edgar Reyes goes, happy national, uh, happy Haitian flag day, Mo. Okay. Appreciate that. Uh, yes, sir. Goes, Chick next to Fresh looking like Nick Birch from Big Mouth. Them lips swollen as fuck. God damn. Ouch. Uh, that's Vaughn B. You have anything you want to say back to him? 
No, I don't give a fuck. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, we got here Destiny's wife's boyfriend. Uh, <laughs> oh no! I said Tyrone, Tyrone, you got to stand by when you do the smirch. Come to find out he was here playing with y'all. Melina finna get it now. Okay, thanks. Uh, Tyrone. Uh, what the fuck is that thing next to Fresh? Okay, that's from Brian Rosales. Okay. Uh, we got here e- EKZ goes. It's me, Stephanie Palomares. You can find me on OnlyFans. Hot Palomares bitch. underscore VIP. Okay. That's who the it. fuck I am. Thank they you. Next it. question. Uh, EKZ goes, fresh a fit. We up. Shout out Rolo. Your book opened my eyes. I find myself muttering the phrase, the medium is the message 24-7. Thank Q you. For the qu- ladies. Why do you think men, women cheating on military is such a common occurrence, bro? That That's uh, yeah, it's, it's just... Yeah, it's 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 because there's Mike no such thing. That. There's Pretty no simple. such thing as a long distance relationship. That's the answer. Well the, said. Because yeah. it, when you watched all these men, the bravest men in our history would be to me the men who stormed Normandy, and there when they go. got home, seventy five percent of them, 75 seven, percent <laughs> of those men when they got home from World War II after their deployments, their wives filed for divorce. Yep. So it, it's that that alpha tor- trait of them willing to die for their country was not reciprocated by the loyalty from the women they had, and in a large part, it had to do with logistics. <laughs> When long distance relationships don't work because the sexual component is missing, they just in general they just don't work. Yeah, and that's why it should take two women for one man's vote. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we got here. Troy Hearn goes. I see looking good in those glasses. I see. Chris. I got uh, hey, Mark. Agreed, bro. We, Guys, get a fucking together back doing, here, bro? man. Get a fucking together. Go, go ahead. Demon Time Mo goes fresh. Be careful not to poke the girl next to you with anything she might deflate. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, Chris. Uh, no, be it's drunk. cost too much. Back I'm not gonna inflate, baby. <laughs> Okay. That's good. Uh, next. Well, they fucking say some shit. I'm gonna say it right back. Uh, goes. But nine... I love how they're all talking about me. Good. Okay. 1929 says, no one is perfect. Why do couples give up so quickly instead of working through it mm. and overcoming issues together? And why are women so quick to get with another man? Uh, because, guys, life is easier for women when it comes to dating and finding relationships. That's why, my friend, it's easier for her to replace you than you to replace her a lot of times. Uh, Where else here? <laughs> Um, this jigsaw doll is scary. I see her in person. I'll lose the ability to have kids. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. That's from right. Plenty of bitches. Look like Ace, that. All these three or fours Thank around you, the world are toxic and narcissist to their vocabulary when they should be adding the word accountability instead. Yeah, well, that's a whole other conversation, my friend. Chris, are we going? Yeah, but this, is early. this is earlier. Okay, the IQ of the combo jumped up 30 points as soon as Sneak On left the room. No further disrespect. The role will be tolerated. Watch it, Sneak On. Okay. Uh, Donovan Martinez goes, fresh doesn't fit into the frame next to those boulder shoulders. This guy. Boulder holders. Okay. Uh, Sebastian goes, it. shout out to Razorback on the panel. Who's that? Hey, it's Razorback. Hey, there she is. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Shout out to the Longhorns also. No. Okay. Arkansas, the college Arkansas. Arkansas. Yes. Okay. She's okay. Razorback. Really long. Shout out to Myron and Wolf Walt pack. for doing an after hour show tonight, especially with one of my heroes, MLD, and my favorite vasectomist. Vasectomologist. Uh, vasectomologist. <laughs> Roll over vasectomy. Here we go. Too. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. That's okay. how we do it right there. Just like uh, that. What else we got here? Kill a cam. Uh, goes Rolo, MLD, and Michael. Panel full of pimps tonight. It's time to take out the recycling. Okay. All right. QAW goes, half and half. I used to be a lazy bum, but now I'm 22 and landed a job as, as a data analyst making a little over six fix. Thank you guys for motivating me and providing an insane amount of value. You guys are doing God's work. Bleach. Congratulations. Uh, Red Hood goes, more plastic on this panel than the whole Harry Potter Lego setup. Okay. Appreciate that. And then Station goes, looking forward to this podcast. Michael, thank you for your services. Love the Bradley M and Ben Mala shows. Need another. P.S. I came up on the craps table. I No gambling ain't good, but it is when I trust my gut. LMAO, ladies, please learn from the goat themselves. I don't think they Don't do Monko. bro. Uh, okay, Kevin Diaz goes to the lady on the right. Don't get stuck on the title of the book. Most people deserve less, not just women. Okay. okay. Uh, Mike Munoz goes, why stiff face look like Kevin Neal on off? Just go with it. I love it. Yes. Uh, find me on OnlyFans. Miss Palmer's underscore VIP. Since oh. all y'all want to talk about me. I renew right. that. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Uh, all right. What else? Some dude goes, Chris and Rolo, I loved your combo with Destiny. Very high IQ conversation. Marna Fresh did a great job moderating. Also, Al Sneeko for ducking early. Yeah, it is what it is. What else we got here? King K goes, question for the ladies. Do you think making sex work more and more popular will have a good effect uh, or bad effect on the next generation and why? Oh, this another comment about me. I love it. Covered that. Let's yeah, do yeah, it. We covered Can it. I answer that one? Um, who, Girl next to Fresh. Who, yes, I we'll love it. Back. Okay. Uh, girl next Everything's to, about me. I love it. Do you sleep with your eyes open or closed since you have plastic Baby, surgery on your clothes. face? Baby, closed. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I look like a shark. Oh, you sharks oh, fucking girl. sleep. Oh, 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 shark. Hilarious. <laughs> All right. Can't wait for that plastic Frank Castle. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. Uh, tell her to stop talking. She's the only one talking. I think these Facts. were from earlier. Yeah. Crypto reset goes. Facts. I see y'all invited the grandmothers today. The I mean, blonde just open fresh. your mouth more. The looks bee. like she was hot I'm in the eighties. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, baby, it is what you talk for. Baby, 
talk okay, over bro. me then. Do you know, whatever you think it's trying to cut me off, throw me out. Baby, you're me. in the couch in the back. You're not oh, even yeah, on the front oh, center. Oh, shit. You're in the back, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Baby, exactly because I have a show. What are you talking about? Yeah. You're in the couch yeah. in the back. Yeah. Can we have her castle? You can try to get into my apartment. You can try to go to white. 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 Me? Thank Nick- you. Whatever you gotta say, girl. You look like Nicki Minaj. Baby, I'm not Nicki Minaj. I'm Mexican. Oh, I'm not black. What are you I talking about? I ain't the same in Mexico, Just girl. to be fair. Bitch, what? big Mexico, not the little one. Tapestry so comes out May 26. Uh, baby, two baby. cars has one million views in two months. Good yes, for you. Yes, I'm not, you I'm have not, nothing. I'm not, I'm not hating, That's bitch. why you keep bringing me up. I'm at 87K. I'm at 87K, girl. Chris, I don't need to hear about it. I mean, to be honest, yeah. if I were you, I wouldn't take that. Let them fight. For real. <laughs> All right. Where's Icy? Icy. Oh. Icy. Icy. Where's Icy? Uh, Icy see where up that pimp hand. Manage. <laughs> That's fine. You got okay. to Somebody wake up Xena. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Wake up Xena. Let me see. You three or four better not go swimming. There's enough plastic in the ocean. Okay, thanks. Doc goes, Onio, these three or four again. Buddha tonight. My money is on the blow up doll next to Fresh. Uh, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> it's me. Yes. And if three down from Myron, underscore VIP okay, is my only fans. Let me get through this. And if three down from Myron thinks she looks like Megan Fox, I got a podcast to sell you. Myron, new Howard Stern. We up, boys. I appreciate that, my friend. CJ goes, uh, bitch next to Fresh looks like the bride of Chucky. Run, nigga, run. <laughs> oh, <Okay. shit>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, that was easy. I'm the Chucky doll. I'm the Chucky doll. Okay. I want to be the Chucky doll. Uh, I'm offended yeah, by all this. I'm uh, so offended. Girl next to Fresh probably told her plastic surgeon she wants to look I like Megan. I think you guys so much fired. money tonight. <laughs> all these things for me. I knew that. Every girl this shit. We knew it. You knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I put some titties out. I'm going to talk my shit. Stephanie, come fuck that, all right? All right. Jason Todd goes, question for Stephanie. What did you do to your face? You could barely form a sentence. Your cheekbones are so tight. For a hundred dollars? Goddamn. Looks like you're wearing the purge mask. Thank you. Okay. Honestly, uh, I'm going to keep it real. The guys that are on these think they want to fuck me. They want to fuck me. That's why they're saying this. Why are they not going on harder? No well, one they else. marry you, though. Well, I mean, most I guys will fuck <laughs> most girls. Who's <laughs> <laughs> marry you to ask the question? <laughs> I, I think most guys will fuck who most girls. Asked, who asked the question? I thought I'm not married, but I denied hey, it. Hey, Steph, will you do me a favor? Steph, Steph, her, her. Steph, will you do me a huge favor? Her will you tell me, will you tell me, you take a screenshot of how many OF subs you have before the show and then how many OF subs you have tonight. Will you do that? Screenshot that and send it to me. I want to see that, okay? I'm curious. Because I'm getting bashed the most and it's okay. That's why we're going to do that. Wow. Next to no, the host. Jordy and the white next to fresh looks Hi, like Penny. Hi, it's me again! Miss Potomar, let us start with that. Two cards out, tapestries, May 26th. Am, am I not yelling in the mic? Yeah. Oh, God, can somebody give me shit so I can right. like drop my like website and my right. uh, What's the next one? Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll get my cloud. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, uh, roll the boss in. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, God. 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 Uh, and then we got here, Easy KZ goes, just in case my other chat gets lost because of the single digit IQ mm-hmm. on the panel. Bro, I love mm-hmm. you, pause. The medium is the message is very true. Why does everyone, guys included, think that cheating spouses in the military is so commonplace FNF? He's that yeah, one. We, we mm-hmm. broke that down. Yves Simonis, Christy, you ain't no real Haitian. Every real Haitian have a job. <laughs> okay. Just say you're American. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to me? Uh, is that going to the American Haitian fund? No, it's going to Fresh and Fit. Nope. All right, uh, Nivesimonis again. Okay, this is the official rating and one hour out call rates for tonight's episode. <laughs> this is what he would pay you guys for sex, okay? Uh, so Christy gives you a four, one zero dollars. Mariola, yeah. four, zero dollars. I gotta take Carmen, off my hat. four, zero dollars. Camila, two, zero dollars. Demi, four, shit. zero dollars. <laughs> Stephanie, three, zero dollars. <laughs> Emily, five, zero dollars. <laughs> Natasha, four, zero dollars. Jessica, six, two hundred dollars. Kylie, five, okay. zero dollars. Nicolette, Three zero dollars. Mary seven six hundred dollars. Yay, Mary! Yay! That's your boyfriend, right? Mary, so, my baby. You're the winner. Your okay. yeah, that's your baby daddy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you pay the most to have you to, to have sex with. You. Hey, thank yeah, you. My girlfriend's a five. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for telling me my girlfriend's a five, bro. That's actually high yeah. 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 with your curve that you have. Uh, I appreciate that, bro. Curve. BN, Michael, I saw your girl raise her voice at you and put you in your place in the whatever clip. Did you have a conversation with her after the show? What was the aftermath? Thousands are curious. Maybe you were talking about yeah, that. Can I, can I answer this? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, yeah, I I messed up on that 
podcast. I was I was wrong. I blew my top off. I did. I lost my cool, and by doing that, I I embarrassed <laughs> my boyfriend. And you know, we I apologized to him, and luckily, you know, like he forgave me. We had to talk about it, and you know, we're we're good now. I didn't actually didn't really actually true. blow her top. No, off, I, no, no, so. no, not my actual. Yeah, don't go top. back and try I to look for cool. it. <laughs> my cool that I was another girl on whatever to, podcast to, to be honest to be honest i didn't even think about it and then people started bringing it up and then like she was beating herself up yeah. so much about it yeah, that uh, angie here and then rollo t- like talked her out of it or whatever i didn't really care i didn't even notice but yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, all right, fair enough. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully, Shout get married one day. Uh, Yvette Simonis goes, like Myron always say, a man's uh, a man's woman says a lot about him. Michael, you brought a five to a famous podcast. That's a serious L. She'll see by Bro, oh, man. this guy oh, hates me. Bro. Hey, bro, you know what? You know the thing is, she wasn't able to do all of her makeup because we were busy fucking your mom last night. So, I thought she, we had a reason. No, she's <laughs> exhausted. We're both exhausted. That's part of the problem. Like everybody on the pod. You should see yeah. what he says to Fresh, bro. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> fresh even more. Yeah. Uh, Michael Atkins goes to Jessica Vaughn's question. Maybe a Christian man might, but even the Christian who would be able to look past her past, would she consider him high value? Oh. He's saying uh, the argument here is if the guy can look past her, her past. Is he That's really an interesting question. Him? Ladies, ladies, have you ever done something where you felt like, why is this guy choosing me? Like right. You've done something fucked up in the past and you're like, why? It, it, an extreme example. I don't know if you remember Karma Carmen. This girl like has, you, you know, Karma Carmen. She's like fucked all these dudes and she had sex with three dudes the same day she met her husband and then talked about it. And the whole time she's like, why is this guy following me around? Did, now, I'm not obviously that's not what you guys are doing. But my point is, have you ever f- had that feeling, Jessica, where you're like, why is this guy choosing me? <laughs> it's okay um, if you haven't i'm just curious not that i can recall i maybe that goes back to my self-esteem and yeah. thinking i deserve a high value there man, you go so. okay, okay cool <laughs> and ladies has, have any of the rest of you ever felt that way no you've never dated a guy you gave a guy a chance who you thought was a loser previously and then while you're dating him you're like why did this guy like why is this guy choosing me never it's never happened um, no. damn that's Wait, that ego me? man it's interesting that's that ego no. okay um no, I, who's yeah. next no Moneymaker says, see, free business like idea. Yesterday. If AI, AI being the new bubble in finance, someone started an app that scans all these OnlyFans accounts, pictures, maybe just profile, and can find out if the girls you're talking to have been on OnlyFans or other platforms. Oh, nice stalker. It's, only avail- it's already available. It's called Pim Eyes. Go to PimEyes.com. You can scan any girl's face and find out what she's doing. It's a reverse really? image search. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. been around for decades. Yeah, you can also, there's a Google reverse so there's image search, but this one probably would probably work more. Pim Eyes is AI uh, directly yeah. due, due to Ooh. facial recognition. That's crazy. Technology. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fresh's ball. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fresh's ball says, "Ladies, flick your tongue side to side, oh, fast shit. on a man's package. Trust us, they won't be able to control themselves, and will be very appreciative." Fresh will show you why this works after the show. <laughs> Take it away, big homie. I don't know who that is, bro. <laughs> Fresh is a celebrity. Okay. Bian says it's simple. Let's not complicate it. His girls are 7 to 7.5. He's a 5, 5.5. Where he's lacking in looks, girls want higher than their looks points. He makes up for it in money, uh, slash barely passable clout. They're using each other. No have value man puts up with a girl just like that. Uh, he's going to go home and cry on her titties. Who cares? Bro, I mean, <laughs> such the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. Bro, it's, your opinion is probably re- he relevant. He's, he, that guy, like, I mean, statistically speaking, that guy probably never bag a girl as hot as his girlfriend. Not facts. Okay, Jeremiah says, um, uh, you want to spawn Michael or no? Oh, no. I, I just like, I do. This is ridiculous. I don't yeah. really care. But hey, man, thanks for the, the super chat or whatever. Myron, I just sent you a post. I don't know if it's true, but says a man divorced his wife of 77 years because he found out she had an affair back in 1940. Gee. Was, we saw that too as well. We don't, we don't know if it's real, though. We don't know. Uh, we have here a uh, flat bush six says question. If a woman's sexual past doesn't matter and they're so comfortable within their beautiful three or four skin, why is there such a backlash about the new? Freaking neat uh, documentary coming out. They don't want the world to know where they were hoes in their twenties. Let me tell Anyone's... you guys. You seen that before? Go ahead. Uh, yeah. So, I, my personally, I don't know if any of my family has been in the freak. They're probably in Haiti, but they definitely went to Carnival. And let me tell you, a lot of this, like you know, talk comes from the older generation. And because we're listening to the older generation, that's why we're staying our asses back. And that's why we're not getting married because we're in 2020 motherfucking three about to be in 2024. We have to change what the hell we're thinking. And honestly, what? 
What are your pronouns? All right, well, can I finish? What are your pronouns? But well, wouldn't that help you? <laughs> That's not get relevant a man, to what I'm trying to talk about right oh, now. Okay. We're just wondering what gender you are saying this. Uh, <laughs> I'm a woman trying to talk about okay, this. She her? Right. She her? Yeah, well, okay, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a she. She her? Yeah, I'm she right now. All right, right, let's know if it changes. Right so, uh, God. So, uh, can I finish? Go ahead. All right, dudes. Uh, y'all made me finish my. Y'all made me forget, honestly. So I'm. Just Adderall dead. is wearing off. Yeah, bro. I'm about to get off this joint. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Well, then, leave, 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 then leave now. Bye. It's fine. Bye, guys. All right. God bless you. Good night. Thank you so get the phones. Record good. this hope. Yeah. Sleep well. Stacks. Just let her uh, grab Sleep. her phone and yeah, make it as quickly as possible. <laughs> Unbearable, bro. Yeah, yeah Adderall just usually lasts again. to about two hours. And there yeah, we go. So I can't yeah, well, we're out it's, there. Ama- it's amazing how right. people like that can survive in society. Dude, I don't know. And bro, I'm so hard on myself. Know. I'm like, how the fuck? Dude, <laughs> I've said it before. Only women get the privilege to be retarded and stupid, bro. Jamie, like, we're guy, waiting for this. You, you I don't don't sleep. For you that that all, the, all the girls on the couch are like, yeah. Okay, we have next. They know which one it is. Okay, Nobunaga says this conversation would go a lot smoother if the plastic. T1000 <laughs> and the day them it were removed from the panel, the cutting off is horrendous. Oh, you win. Oh, hello, go, go, Miss Palomares underscore VIP is my only fan. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever y'all keep talking about, come on, somebody get it to me. Uh, someone throw some hate at me, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> two cars out of a million views right, in two months. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> what, what is that? Uh, we're fine for now. What's that? Oh, okay. Cool. Um, all, right, all right, so we'll turn it to the ladies. Did anybody yes. else have a question or will one of the guys want to do it? Any okay. questions, ladies? Tell me about your early childhood and your your upbringing. Your your father, mother and father. Is that me? Yes, yeah. yes, Miss OnlyFans. Hi, hello. Hi. Stephanie Palmar is the one that's obviously <laughs> underscore the VIP for the OnlyFans. Yes, we get it. Go ahead. Talking about me, <laughs> want to bash me? It's okay. I'm very confident. No, no, no. I just want to know. That's fine. No. Talk. Okay. So you want to know about my childhood? Yeah, dad, was, mom. Yeah, they're great. They're in my life. Mm-hmm. Still part of my life. Are they married? Are they divorced? Or they're divorced. Okay, so are they, what's their ethnicity? Where did they come from? We are Mexican. So you guys came, were you born in Mexico? Because you mentioned you were born in Mexico. Mm-hmm. So you're born in Mexico. How'd you make your way to Miami? I bought a property here. Okay. Yeah. I'm on multiple properties. Okay. Okay, 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 Uh-oh. okay, okay. What's going on, buddy? Sharmuta. Sharmuta. Well, what is going on? Um, All right, ladies, ladies, focus, focus, focus. Um, go ahead, MLD. Go ahead. No, no, I'm just wondering. So, your mm-hmm. your so your mother and father they were born and raised in Mexico, and then are you the only child, or what do you? Yeah, get I have twin sisters. sisters. You have what? I have twin sisters. They're older. Okay, you're the youngest. The youngest yes, I'm the youngest. Out of Aubrey three. Great relationship. Yeah, two okay. of them. It's one of me. And then, when did you first come to to America? I was born. But weren't you in Mexico? I thought you said you were born in Mexico. I was born in Mexico and I came here. It brought me here a few months. Oh, okay. So, yeah, okay, I've been okay, born okay. and raised in America. Okay. In, really in what area? What state? California, Santa Ana, Orange County. Okay. Is that like south near LA? Yeah. It's, it's OC. Yeah. yeah. OC. It's right okay. near Anaheim. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And then I moved to LA to pursue other stuff. OnlyFans. No, baby. OnlyFans came at COVID time. What were you doing yeah, before? Yeah, and my song says OnlyFans with your man. You can search that. Yeah. OnlyFans. What is it? OnlyFans with COVID time. That's when I did it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. pandemic. Okay. Yeah, I made millions off it. So it is what it is. That's awesome. How old are you now? 29. 29, okay. Yes. Why did you end your most recent relationship? Um, They just lied. and I just need the truth. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is, I just need the truth. That's it. Mm-hmm. I don't accept outliers. It doesn't hurt me. Just tell me. That's it. I see. Okay. Yeah. If you lie about that, you'll lie about anything. So that's okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. How long did you date him? A few months. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 You have more questions? When? <laughs> when? So <laughs> your parents came to the states uh, when you were born, very, very young. Your twin sisters were born already. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then yeah, you're born and raised in LA. When did they divorce and split up? I was born and raised in Orange County. And Orange I moved County. to LA. Okay, and then yeah, when did the parents music, di- acting, all that stuff? When did the parents split up? I was two. You were two years old. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you grew up without a father in the household, or no? My dad's still part of my life. He's still very in love with my mother. I hope one day they get back together. I have never seen with another woman at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. He never brought another woman in my life. Mm-hmm. No type of way. To this day, he still wants. So when they got divorced at two, though, like, 
Mm-hmm. Who, who will you primarily raise by your mother or who raised mother? You? I think that's the best option. You go with your mother. A mother should raise a woman, a daughter. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. He's always there. Always pay child support. Pick me up. All that for everything. And I don't then, have no bad relationship with them in no type of way. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not digging for that. I'm just digging for truth. Yeah. So then, your father was like, "How is he present in your life as a adolescent?" And he's a real what? man's man. Always respected me. Never hit me. Never mm. talked me out of my name. Visit you weekly, or how did it work out? Yes. To this day, still comes to family functions with my mom. All that. Yeah, he's very part of my life. I still call him. I call him drunk. I don't care. Mm. My answer, he doesn't care. Yeah. His daughter, he doesn't see me like that. That's good. Does he like the surgeries I've done? No. Does he want my boobs and my butt this big? No. Does he judge me? No. Yes. That's my father. <laughs> <laughs> I would. <laughs> my God, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, <laughs> it, maybe. I didn't say that. But I don't know. He doesn't tell me to my face mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at all, and it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't hinder our relationship in no type of way. You should be a therapist, bro. You're pretty good. Who? You I'm good at answering me? these questions too. No, I just, I'm just trying to get to know her. Yeah, okay. doesn't in no way affect our relationship like at all. I thought we were getting to know each other deeper. Yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Fuck, right. My heart's broken. Yeah. Why are you married? That's your high value, man. Oh, me? There you go. There you go. Oh, because you know what? I had a really good woman like uh, two years ago and I dropped the ball. You I, fucked it up. I fucked it up. You know why? Because I thought I could go find a hotter version of her. But she was like loyal, cooked, clean, literally slept on the floor with me, like from building myself from ground zero up. And I was just like, yeah, like, oh, everybody has a great, amazing woman like this. And then I went out and I got fucking entangled with all these crazy sluts that were pretending <laughs> to be decent women and then you know time eventually weeds them out and okay. i left an amazing chick for some fucking crazy hose mm-hmm. and it's a huge l mm-hmm. but hey it is what it is how old is she right now when you guys dated uh i was when we first met i was 29 she was 24 okay yeah so what are the type of girls that you cheated on you said it was hotter like what like more starchy, cheated with bigger boots. I mean, like, it's, just, it, it? it's just, it's not about that. Like, for guys, just like the so best, these high value women don't me, really, just they honey, don't, they're hot, not really ba- up baby, here. Uh, listen, so listen, cheap. listen, listen, let me explain it to you. I'm, just saying. I'm gonna explain a part of cr- a crucial part of male's nature that you clearly don't understand. Okay? Your guys are gonna go fuck other girls. I understand that. No I'll bring better, the girls. That's there's fine. no better pussy than new pussy. There you it go. doesn't oh matter God. if she's fucking blonde I am or red with hair. That. I will bring the girls okay. and I will ask you, you, baby, give me a thousand so I can give it to the bitch. Listen, Whoa. you know what the fuck and it you're, is. You're I'm the cool hottest. That. That's fine. Listen, Whoa. you're the hottest. But you still fucked it up with the girl. So, Why? So listen, How? You're the hottest. You didn't tell her. You lied to her. You told her a delusional story no. of whatever you wanted to be. No, no, no. You went to go do your own thing. No, 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 no. That's not the case. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The hottest you are. Ever. But you every just man, said you are you gonna keep cutting her? me off? What's going on? Like I'm trying to like <laughs> okay. communicate. That's how a the conversation works, right? <laughs> okay, you're right. Okay. I, I, I dealt with a girl with Jesus autism Christ. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm I know you don't have it, but I'm just saying Maybe I don't have any type of you're hot. Don't worry, you're 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 perfect. I love you. Um, but the point I'm trying to make here is that like when a guy does step out on a woman, like you have to understand it's like it's like a vampire needing to feed. It's like you just need to go out there and like get a fresh kill. We understand that. I and understand then that. It's like it's like a monkey on our back. We don't fucking want to like deal with that shit. You know what I mean? That's fine. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's what we do. We and we, we did, you know, we just step out. So you stepped person. out on her and she didn't know that. that no, no. I case. so I was always stepping out on her. But did she know? No, I kept it a secret. I don't try to rub it in their face. I don't respect that. Well, that's not player. I guess me and your relationship will never work out. No. <laughs> You need to tell me so I can know what it is. Nothing. I'm gonna step out. Fair but play. to step, keep step, it what it is. Except your your six year your relationship, the guy cheated on you, and he just didn't tell you. You that, found out because you're super smart and you're a super stalker. I think uh, all <laughs> <laughs> 
Gotcha, bitch. No, it's not. We all suckers. We're all FBI gotcha, agents when it comes I to it. I know you. Like, so is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, no, like, what happened? tell me the truth. Okay, so and would you, I'm cool with it. Would you have been fine with him bringing other women back to you? Would you have been fine with that? Yes, if we agreed on that, okay. I absolutely would, and I would bring them too. Did you not agree and on I would that? I ask you for the money to pay the girl. What if you don't have to pay the girl? What if the guy's actually got enough to have a threesome without paying for it? Is that possible as well? It's fine. No, it's perfect. What is going on there where you have to give the girl a thousand dollars? I'm just a little confused by that. Not even thousand dollars. It's just like they do it for a venti f for fucking here, Starbucks. Here, while you're here, while we have such a great time with you. Yeah, you have bills. You have shit you need to pay. You have food you want to eat. It's like a tip. Is this here something that go. would happen frequently? You would have a threesome with your man, and then he would give the girl a thousand dollars. It wasn't even a thousand dollars of that. It was just an example. Of okay. This. Of, so of that never situation. happened. You didn't have to. Like, like, are you paying them to leave, though? Or are you just paying because yes, you want... Yes, I'm kind of, kind of paying them to dismiss okay. them. Get to out. leave. I was yeah. like, yo, I leave, paid you please. to leave mm. as a service, I, I guess. We don't, like, just go. So. Here you go. The Uber we trip's over. You, you get a little fun. bit of tip. On. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Wait, Most, yeah. Every woman's going to take an over. like, no, my gosh, don't give me the money. Like, so what you're saying is No, I know quite a few women that would say, no, don't give me the money after you have sex with them. I know a lot that would say that. I don't know. Majority have always said yes. I've never had a girl say me no. Okay. Interesting. So, and it's like of that. It's just appreciation. <laughs> and here you go. Thank you. I'm not saying you're this. dismissed. I'm, I'm just interested, like in, in the. In yeah, the you're this. dismissed. Yeah. but it's the lying part. I don't respect. That's not player. You don't really have. You're. I'm. I'm living a lie. Is it's it, a lie when I'm with you. Is that sex trafficking? Huh? <laughs> to pay them no. to get away. No, that's sex. tricking. It's tricking. That, there you go. A woman paying another woman is tricking, or you make the man it's pay. All the way. Through. The man is always gonna pay. Why would I pay? The fuck I got on my bank account? Hell no. Maybe I'll take out your wallet. Give it, it to her. They should go. That's tricking. That's not sex trafficking. Had that, had that ever happened in your relationship? No. Of what? With this, you had a threesome, and then afterwards, that paid the girl a thousand dollars to leave. Had this ha previously happened, or you're just giving a hypothetical? I'm just saying, like, I'll get whatever's out the wallet. Here you go. I had this. So let's let's switch let's stuff. switch Here it up go. real quick. Why are you single? Ooh. <laughs> um. She belongs to the streets. I was in a seven-year relationship. But you're single. But I'm single because he's a loser. So you date losers? I did. Okay. For seven years? I, it was my only relationship. Why did it end? Like, what specifically were the loser qualities? He didn't pay his bills. Okay. He just wasn't... Um, Ambitious, maybe? Yeah. Uh -huh. He was very immature. Yeah. It was always me, like, do this, do that. Don't forget, you have this to do. And, you were his mom. Yeah. Basically, yeah. And he wanted to settle down with me. And I was like, I can't, like, I have to go. So seven seven years later. Yeah, well, I was only 15 when I met him. Oh, Sex must have been really good. Don't say that. Oh, well, sure. no, he's, he's my age. Oh, okay. So yeah. you, you were both 22 when you broke up? He was 23. I was 22. Okay. At, when you broke up, uh, that, that moment when you broke up, were there any other guys in your life? You've been s s scoping out some other guys. No, I was celibate for, I think, like six months after. Okay. I don't plan Stop on the cap. getting in a relationship um, anytime soon. Not while I'm doing like OnlyFans and stripping. You don't want to get into a relationship while you're doing OnlyFans and stripping? Yeah. Oh, so what? why is that? What prioritizes... Like where does that lie in the hierarchy? Well, I'm, I'm actually more con, 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 I'm more interested in like why you now don't think you want to be in a relationship because you're doing OnlyFans. Oh, uh, when I was with harder? him, uh -huh. yes, it is. And personally, I myself wouldn't want to date someone who does OnlyFans if they're like with wow. If they're doing solo content, that's fine. That's so mature of you. <laughs> if they're doing solo, I don't mind. But um, I'm monogamous. We were monogamous together. I did have OnlyFans, but I was just doing solo. Um, but yeah, I just want to be like together, just two people. But and you now, still think you deserve a high value guy? Yes. Yes. Did you break up because he wasn't cool with that? <laughs> no, I didn't want to shoot with other people. But do you, do you think that that caused a problem in your relationship? You were no. with him for seven years. When did you well, start? She broke up with him. Yeah, I know that, but like, but did, but it could have been that like he had a problem and she was like, okay, I'm out. No, he wanted just, to get married spoke. and have kids and move in together. So he was, yeah, but again, it's like because he's cool with that. Maybe so that's she, the. Uh, they were only filming together. I think the issue was like, like you guys said before, he, she's making more money than him. 
as that, as that goes on, it's, it's a timer. The uh, timer has now begun. Like what you say, though, like if she'd been dating seven years, that yeah. means he told me I made him insecure that I made more money than him. Yeah, but the, the thing is, <laughs> they met when they were 15. So 15, 16, 17, yeah, 18. Not this is not an issue. At 19, school. it starts to become an issue. Yeah. By the time they're 22, it's a legitimate issue where she's making significantly more than him. The timer starts, and then eventually she's like, he's a I was just I mean, gonna, I was just going to add, do you think that she stuck it out this long is because like he was one of the initial pair bonded people to her for sure but i also when you pair bond when you're 15 like there's nothing comparative like there's not there's not a lot of yeah. rich 16 year olds you know what i'm saying no no so no, like, no no yeah. i agree i agree i'm just saying like the reason she stuck it out is probably yeah. due to hold on real quick low body count real quick no i mean i was just gonna say I, I mean to be honest here women are terrible people when they have the leverage in a relationship when they make more money than you or they have more status than you they're terrible people they fucking bully you around emasculate you talk shit to you it's never a good situation when Screen, the girl screenshot your text in the when, group chat when the guy yeah like <laughs> when the guy likes the girl the woman has to like the guy more it should never be the guy likes the girl more because women when they have leverage in a relationship treat you like shit as a guy you need to be the leader she's got to feel like she has the prize and i i generally believe that if the woman doesn't value you more than you value her the relationship typically isn't going to last mm. you disagree yes my okay, mom why? always told me that um a man told you that? Me. sorry my mother your mother okay yes. i don't need the attitude yeah, I said my mother. I'm okay. Too, you didn't okay. hear me. See, my mother told me. Because you We'll continue on. So your mom told you this, okay? My mother told me a man should always love you more than a girl. And I highly How believe that. How old's your that. mother? I don't know, 50? Okay. 48? Would it be fair 48? to say? 48? I don't know, something. <laughs> she had you since 21? 52. She and your mom's from Mexico, right? 54. She, I don't know. She looks so good. Your mom is from Mexico, know. right? Yes. Okay. Would you fair be fair to say that your mom is traditional? In what way? Like traditional woman. Did your like, mom divorce your dad because he didn't make as much money? No. Why'd she divorce him? Because you said that he was like still like really romantic and wanted to get back with her. I don't want to talk about it, but you know, yeah. The reason so, why the woman has to like the guy more in this day and age is because women have more options than they've ever had before. The only way you know a girl is actually satisfied is when you're the best that she can get. Yep. That's just how it is in today's day and age. Thanks to Instagram, dating apps, etc., women need to basically feel like they got the prize for them to behave. That's just how it is, unfortunately. That what you're talking about, what your mom is talking about, that's back when chivalry was a thing. Men get punished for being chivalrous nowadays. So, nice guys finish yeah. last for a reason. So, what is your ideal like woman look like? What is she? Like? What is <laughs> wow. that? Like, and we're like, back to I get it. No, I get it. Because I've, I've heard it, but like you're single. So, how does a single guy give us advice when you're not with someone? How do you know that? You're Where assuming. is she? Why don't you put her out there? You may. She might I mean, be in this room. You see many of them. <laughs> No, someone that gives so much advice of relationship and so forth, like, but you're single, you don't put your girl off there. Jesus Christ, it's like Whatever. the opposite of the shit yeah. that I get. It's like yeah. exactly the opposite. You've been married for 27 years. And what are you giving relationship of? What are you talking about dating? You haven't been in the dating market for X amount of years. No, you have a long term relationship. Hold on, let me, let me ask you. So who's more qualified? But I'm not talking you. about you. I'm no, I know. I, I realize that. Okay. Yeah. Do you fuck every guy you talk to? Yes. No. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. What did you just, you just complimented me. She said yes. He said yes. No, you just complimented me. I would never fuck you. You're not my type. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you're so, not my type. But you, what did you say about me right now? I'm yeah, perfect. Da, 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 whatever yes. fuck you said. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. yes Thank yes, you so yes. much. And I will never fuck you. Thank you so not much for Okay, so up. no, I don't fuck every guy Fantastic. I talk to. Fantastic. And I don't commit to every girl I talk to. Okay, you have so a price. I'm just hold on, saying... hold on, hold on, hold on. You have a price on your sex, correct? A price on my sex. Yeah, like the guy's got to reach certain things for you, meet certain prerequisites for you to hook up with him, correct? You have a type, which means by default you have a filter. No, my type is successful men that know what the fuck they're talking about. Are you about. listening correct. to anything I'm saying? I, I'm hearing it. I'm hearing you. I'm a successful man. That has what I'm Here's the problem. Because you've said this a okay. bunch of times. Stop. Uh huh. Here's your problem. You okay. hear me, you don't listen. You need to listen to understand. The difference between me and you is when you speak, I listen to understand to actually be able to rebut what you're saying. You, on the other hand, just hear and then reply. You need to listen, understand, then respond. That's how discussions are made, not just hearing. Okay? Okay. We can too much plastic so, in our ears. Yeah, Chris, you're right. I do that too Chris. much. So going back to what I was saying, you don't, you don't fuck every guy you talk to. I don't commit to every girl that I talk to. It's very different. Men and women are not the same. So a guy being single is not the same as a woman that's being single. Your job is to get a relationship. My job is to get sex. So my prize, right, what I give a woman is commitment. What you give a man is typically sex. So you can't, we, we it's not the same situation. But who are you committed to? 
who is your example ideal woman that you have? So, you have all this advice. So you've been answers. created by a few of them already. You've been served by a few of them already. So there you go. There's your answer. Yeah. So the, you've, the you've met here? a few. Yeah, you, you've met quite a few. Yeah. So. Oh my yeah. God, you're Andrew Tate. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Totally. Oh my God. Incredible. That's funny. That? Oh my God. I got a question. No. I got a question. He has a harem. I, and it's related to what you're talking about here. Like, okay, so you're 35, and you're 35, right? And 36. you're like, what? Do you, what? How is it different for you now at 35 than say yeah, like I was 20, 25 right now? Because you guys are both you're both single, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, have you been in relationships that you thought was going to go somewhere or have you just like pretty much played the field up until now and you're like, holy shit, I'm 35. Like, how is it different for you now at 35 than it was like, say, at 25? I've been in multiple long term relationships and they were great. And so that's the yardstick that I use to compare to um, the people in the future, the people that I meet in present time. Um, so I know what real love and companionship is and I know me at my best. Um, but I have to have... A, admiration for somebody mm -hmm. and a lot of times people are just so they're just so out of the habit of that being a fixture of what they do and they're happy to you know act like idiots in front of me and that just like just degrades all the, like the attraction that i have at present for them and uh so that's something that i want even if i have to spend less time with them is so maybe i could just see them at um their best and their baseline being better than other people, mm -hmm. where you know, are you at? where are you at, Natasha? I would say I used to be excited about dating in my 20s and now I'm not, you know, mm -hmm. are you just jaded. You're like, oh, how's this guy going to disappoint me more so on that side? No, I feel you. I'm, I'm yeah. totally there with you. Yeah. Where yeah. is where is like you want to get married? No, no, you don't want to get married. No. Do you want to get married? You don't want to get married? Really? Absolutely. Why not? Nothing. No, man. Nothing. You want to get in a long term relationship. Sure, a life partner would be cool. I'm not opposed to that, okay. but I have no desire for Where does attention. that fit in like order of priorities for you at 35 as opposed to like when you were like 25? Oh, when I was 25, I figured I'd be like married with kids by now. Uh -huh. At so 35? Like, yeah, 35. But now I'm like, I pray I never get married and have kids. Like, are I you hope Scorpio? It never happens. No. What are uh, you? Question Gemini. for you Who hurt you? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious. So I dated an abusive guy mm. six years ago. That was my last relationship. Got it. Mm -hmm. Always that guy, bro. Always that guy. Mm -hmm. I got to ask a question for the ladies. We'll start on the couch here. What hurts a relationship more? A woman having... Uh, what, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I told you, man. What yeah. happened? The other girl's like, yeah. 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 I see beat them all up. <laughs> they just got up and wanted to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to go to work in the morning. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Let's get her on the let's get her on the table. Technically let's it's the morning her, right now. Does that mean they're Come out on working? Over, Angelina. <laughs> um, Come yeah, on over. Let's get her on the table. Um so uh I guess while we set you up, we'll start here then and work our way. Um, huh? Yeah, because you you've been going last every time. Uh, what hurts a relationship more? A woman having more options or a man having more options? Go ahead. Speaking to the mic. I think it's a woman. Why do you think a woman? Because when a woman has more options, she's going to go with the best option. So if you're not her best option, okay. you're bound. All right. What about you? What do you think? I would say when a man has more options because, you know, for example, he said that I'm, he's like a high value man so i'm sure he has more options um and look he went and cheated and that was the end of his relationship and i feel like women are more loyal what was the example that you gave again um the guy right there john oh okay that dude okay yeah. so you're saying men because when they have more options they're they're, they're... gonna take it they're gonna cheat because men usually don't get options like women do right so we're used to it yeah we're used to just fucking off any guy you know Guys aren't. They're like, oh my god, like, pussy, and then just jump in. Okay, but what hurts the relationship more if they enact on those options, the man or the woman? Probably the woman because men's ego is too big to let them stay with a girl who cheated on them. Do you think that's really ego, or is it just responding to the biggest betrayal? That too. <laughs> so is it really ego then? <laughs> um, I guess they're less likely to be able to forgive. But wouldn't it be fair to say that some things are just unforgivable? Well, there's women who would forgive men for cheating. That's That comes back to the loyalty thing. 
Yeah, but is cheating for a man the same as cheating for a woman? I think yes. Can a woman love her man and fuck another guy? No. Can a man fuck another girl and love his girl? No, clearly he doesn't love her. If he's cheating, yes, he can. Okay, you don't respect her. That's fine. Just what about you? No, respect is still there. When a woman has options, a man. A woman. A woman? Why do you say that? I mean, because because I'm Michael Sartain's girlfriend. (laughs) 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 Because when a man has options, it's not really like it. Honestly. So like self conscious or subconsciously for a woman like when a man has more women around him it's more attractive like if a if a woman has a lot of men around her I don't necessarily think any guy finds that attractive Mm-mm. okay all right uh what about mm-hmm. um what about you what do you think it hurts the relationship more if a woman has options or a man I think only because I've only ever been a woman I would say it's more problematic if I have more options because I naturally my attention just pulls away. And I'm not invested and I know my ability to be like obsessed and fully present is my superpower. So it's more of a problem if I have better options. Okay. What about you? I do think it's somewhat situational. Okay. Uh, you know, like. Uh, but if you had to pick on a balance of probabilities, who? what does it hurt more? If the woman has options or the guy? Probably the woman. Why do you say that? Uh, if men are the ones pursuing and, you know, they provide this lifestyle and some guy comes along with way more. Mm-hmm. It's over. Okay. Uh, what about you? If, if, if she's not like deeply in love with that guy. Right. Well, love's a decision, right? Natasha, After like 10 years. The guy, you said the guy was abusing you. Did he make you feel like you didn't have any options? Yeah. And that's yeah. why I wanted to be successful. That's where I am today. I don't want to be in that position. Because again. you don't want to be in that position Correct. because the yeah. dude was, was abusive. Correct. All right. Uh, what about you? What do you think it hurts more when women have options or men have options? I think it hurts more when women have options okay. because... For men, it hurts more if there's physical cheating than for women. Uh-huh. It's just like biology. So if one of them is going to cheat, it's easier to work through it when the man does versus when the woman does. Okay. Uh, what about you? Wisdom. Uh, women are always going to have more options. It's up to them to uh, take those options. So. But what do you think hurts the relationship more? When women have more options? When a woman does it, yeah. When, when a woman does man, They're going to go crawl in a hole. Okay. Um, now I'll ask an- another question. Um, what do you think has contributed to women having all options, uh, or what do you think has been the the worst thing that's led to that? Because most of you guys said women here. What do you think is the reason for that? What led to that? Anybody can go. Just the girls. <laughs> Social media. Um, can you restate the question again? Okay, well, at least you're trying to listen on, this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, look, I'm trying to be respectful. We're making progress. Too much. I've been saying quiet. You're working on it. We're I'm making listening. progress. I'm you're doing good. You're okay. Too here, much. The problem is, it's not about you talking too much. It's about you talk without listening, which then leads to talking too much because you didn't actually understand what was being asked or said. So you asked the question. I didn't pay attention. Fantastic. Um, I want to hear it again, please. He got you. <laughs> the question is, what has contributed to women having more options now? What do you think is the most detrimental thing that's led to women having options? That it's in society that men pursue women. So, yeah. Women so if you had to pick me. the top two things that hurt it, what do you think? That the hurt? internet. Yeah. Social media. Social media and social media. just real life. Just real life. All right. Mm-hmm. What about you? What do you think? I mean, definitely social media. <laughs> oh, sorry. Definitely social media. And then also... I do agree that because women get more attention, they tend to think they're more attractive than they are. So just generally feeling like you're more attractive than you are. What about you? Dopamine. Accessibility. Accessibility. So social media part of it. Social sure. media. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you? Well, I'm sorry. What was the question again? Oh, yeah. Whole... They're, okay. Yeah. You get a pass because they're adjusting you. <laughs> um, what has led to um, to women? Ha- what do you think is the biggest factor to let, that led women to have all these options? I can say social media uh-huh. or maybe sometimes the friends that they hang around with. Okay. All right. What about depends. you? What do you think? The fact that we have tools of media and there's an entire infrastructure economically built into commoditizing your image. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what about you? You said social media. I heard you before. Mm-hmm. Social media. All right. What about you, Miss? Uh, you? I think it's just in our nature. Women are hot and guys will fuck pretty much anything <laughs> so what do you think has made made it where women have all these options what's contributed to that the most i think it's always been that way even before the internet you think so yeah Mm-mm. okay interesting so you think just women existing i think just existing yeah 
Okay. What about you? What do you think is the biggest contributor to women having all the options? I think social media. Here you got talking. Social media. Social media. Okay. So most of you said social media. Question. If you're in a relationship with a guy that you actually liked and he told you, hey, I don't want you on social media, would it be a problem? I'll delete that shit. We'll start here. <laughs> Sorry. So you got to talk. No. You would be okay with it? Yeah. You'd turn off your social media, dating apps, everything? Yeah. Okay. What about you? I would not. That's like a red flag right there when they try to cut you cut you off your communication where's only fans fall on the red flag uh, like <laughs> re registration <laughs> well if they wanted me to stop shooting with guys i wouldn't even shoot if i was dating someone with guys so they wouldn't have to ask me that but i will still do solo content and unless they're ready to provide for me financially then i'm not deleting it okay so you think it's a red flag if a guy wants you to taper down your social media yes okay what about what about you would yeah, you I would. Yeah. I would delete it. Okay. Uh, I would happily delete my social media if um, I wasn't expected to financially contribute. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you would do it if he paid all your bills. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I would definitely delete it. You would if delete I'm it? in love, yes. Okay. What about you? Why does he want me to delete it again? <laughs> well, like, what's the problem? As stated by you earlier, you said that women get most of their options by social media. <laughs> so wouldn't it make sense from a guy's perspective to be practical, to limit a woman's options and keep the relationship okay. strong that she would need to limit that social media usage? That's the reason. Yeah. So personally, I, I hate Instagram. I would love to be off of it. I was off of it for like two years. Yeah. Um, I think more or less what the problem is. Uh, Single. So, I started dating again for the first time in the past year. Okay. I got on hinge. Everyone thought I was a catfish. They're yeah. like, where's your fucking Instagram? I'm like, oh God, I'm never going to use it, but here it is. So I reactivated it. Okay. Um, this was how long ago? Like a year ago? You said you're not talking. Yeah. You're not dating, right? You Correct. Said? Oh, this was a year ago. It's okay. been a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you use it for men. No, I just had it linked to my hinge and I dated through hinge and now I don't, I got off of that too. Okay. Would it be fair to say that Instagram is the biggest dating app in the world? Yes. Yeah. So wouldn't it make sense that guys would want you to limit the biggest dating app in the world? Mm. If you're a girl? Um, wouldn't it make sense for the guy to trust me? Could he not just like, what if he wanted the passwords to it? Like, is that fine? Not well, let me ask it? you this. Are women impulsive? Yes. Yes. I think are people women... are impulsive. That was an impulsive yeah. reply. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but what I mean by that is like, if um, women are more likely to purchase things on an impulse, right? Or do something on an impulse, right? Would, you, would it be fair to say they're more spontaneous, adventurous? I would say that, but I would rather not be with somebody who's telling me what to do. No, I understand that, but just you see where I'm going here. Yes. Um, are women more emotionally based in their decision making? Yes. Are they more Unless erratic? A pussy they tend to be. Okay. Are they heavily influenced by their friends and outside factors? Yes. Yes, Usually. but I don't think that deleting my social media is going to stop. I'm going what they somewhere think it does. with this. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. So, so yes to these things, right? Being spontaneous, being adventurous, erratic thinking, being emotionally based, etc. Wouldn't that be fair to say that that's like almost a recipe or a concoction for infidelity to rear its ugly head at some point. So can I trust a woman to be a woman, which have unalienable traits that make it conducive to cheating? Sounds like we're both deleting our Instagrams. Well, are men and women equal? Uh, I think that men are going to respond to a DM or shoot DMs too. So I guess like, what's, what's the difference? Are, but because when we call cheating and when we call advertising. Yeah, mm. I mean, are men and women the same to be held by the same standard that you're trying to say right now of he's got to delete his IG if I delete mine? Yeah, oh, and it being not? the biggest dating app in the world, I think it does go two ways. So yeah. Yeah. do you think men get the same amount of attention on Instagram that yes. women do? Um, no. Realistically speaking. So what do you mean by like attention, like likes and DMs and all that yeah. kind of stuff? Like, you think do men get as much guy... engagement on social media as women? The it high value men do. Man. What yes. if I told you even the highest status guys don't even come close to like an average chick? So what if I, I only you, reduce I really my it, social so. media by 30% to make it more equal? Even if you well, tried that, it still wouldn't it won't work. equate. What about 60%? <laughs> 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 What if my social media is a business that doesn't have to do with my likeness? Like I'm a photographer, so I, I photograph other women. Listen, like, you're, so listen, if you're, I, you're 35. You need to be like in all scrambled mode right now to like try and get a guy. Like you shouldn't be adding these caveats. 36. I'm yeah. just wondering what his formula is about the significance because he's saying they're not equal things. No, what, I, what I'm I saying is that like going back to her thing, she's saying, well, can't you trust me? And what I'm saying is that I can trust a woman to be a woman, which is erratic, emotional, heavily controlled by what their friends think and influenced by their friends and what society thinks. I mean, look at feminism. 
It's the biggest lie that's been told, but women bought a hook, line, and sinker. Why? Because it feels good. They're told lies and it's easier to sell to women. We talked about that earlier. So my thing is, as a guy, sometimes I have to be the authority and protect the woman from herself. Having an Instagram as a woman or putting yourself out there, uh, advertising, advertising yourself is not conducive to the relationship. Now you're saying, well, you should turn yours off too. Well, number one, I'm not going to get as much attention as you. And quite frankly, number two, if I were to have sex with another girl, it's not going to have the same negative ramifications as you having sex with another guy. Can I, can I I can hook up with another girl and still love this chick, but if a chick hooks up with another guy, that's it's, it's over. Let me, let me throw something out there because I think this is tags onto what you're talking about. So when it comes to, when you're dating, guys have to sort of be the pitchman. They have to say, here's why you should date me. Here's like, I've got to qualify to you. I've got to, it's a burden of performance. I have to be a high value guy. Not only do I have to look good, I have to have a good job. I have to be funny. I've got this list of laundry list of criteria. So guys are out there when they meet you, it's like sort of like this salesmanship or this pitch. They're the pitchman, right? For women, women are the advertisers. So it's like, I'll just have to look good and I have to wait until the pitchmen come to me because my brochure, my advertising is what's driving drawing them into my store, which is me, so that we can form a relationship in some way. So once though, once that relationship has been has been formed, we call if that guy is still pitching himself, if he's still out there trying to like flirt with the waitresses or he's still trying to like get with other other women when he's in a relationship with you. We call that cheating. The guys, the guys out there, he's like, you know, two timing me kind of thing. But what we don't say is we don't say women, okay, if I'm going for a man, if I am going to stop pitching myself or selling myself on the sexual market, why do we not tell women to stop advertising themselves on the sexual market? Because right now we make that very, very easy for women. So through Instagram, through through dating apps and everything else. So when 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 a guy says, hey, look, I have a problem with you being on Instagram, or I have a problem with you advertising yourself. And, and even if it's only fans and you're not having sex, and you're just aver- you're just having, you know, solo stuff. You're still advertising your sexual availability to other guys. So you can say it's purity or whatever. But what it boils down to is that it's closed on my end and it's open on your end because I'm no longer allowed to pitch myself to other women. But you are allowed to advertise yourself to other men. Therefore, it is open on your end and it is closed. On mine. Here's here's one interpretation, Natasha. Is the easiest way to, to say it. Uh, if I do X on social media and you do X on social media, you just get more, but you get ten times more or a hundred times more. Does that make sense? And so, so that's the only reason why they would say it's not equal. I can I can see the, the way you're saying it also sure, because he's still I post my achieve. nephew. You know what I mean? No, no, like I, 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 post yeah, my I think I think to so, add a little bit of context because yeah, you and yeah. I have been friends for 16 years. You don't your uh, your social media is private. And you post pictures of your family. Yeah. So it's a little different. So I'm talking I, I about girls that sexualize themselves. On yeah. Here. So I'm not should, saying you in particular. Yeah. I'm just using the example that most, not mo- a good amount of women use Instagram to sexualize themselves and get attention from other men. And the thing is, is that women aren't the ones going up to a guy saying, you're handsome. I'd like to take you out. No, it's the men that do that. So women just advertise themselves. I look at it as a girl that puts herself out there on the market is cheating yeah. when she has a man. Sure. Question. I got a question. So does your uh, Instagram cause you to do like, any kind of business like you know do you get customers do you make money from instagram i make zero money off instagram i don't i don't care about that's it. why you had to turn no, it off no. for two years yeah right? fair play yeah, fair play I don't make money. so then also adding on to this because you said you just post your nephew and whatnot you, it's pretty wholesome is it private account private account do you still get unsolicited male suitors hitting you up sure yeah yeah so that's a big reason why um i mean how many of you guys have your request folder full right now so so <laughs> on Instagram. Actually, I, bet, I bet these guys do Dude, i bet these two chicks. do so i'm Yours curious right chicks. so you asked the question why and he goes well ask why you i would need to de- delete my instagram right but i, I want to limit it well limit it right yeah so my thing is delete it why not ask how that. this would help me with my man because for example it's the language it's the wording you're asking why would it do i have to do it versus like how does it make sense for me and my man to become better and my thing is if instagram is going to be your uh, I guess man, or I guess your option. If your man doesn't want it, why is it even a question? Because they want it all. It's it's like the man is going to take care of you, be with you, but Instagram won't. So the question is, why? Just ask how. Hey, Natasha, let me just like, put more context. Right now, could you afford a Lamborghini? Couple. Yeah, so you make a lot of money. You've explained to me before. Does that also have something to do with the fact that, hey, maybe I, I'm i not going to, because you said before you're in an abusive relationship and you never want to go back to that. So you worked your ass off mm-hmm. to make a ton of money. And so because of that, does that change in your mind the likelihood of you being willing to give this up for another man? Because he's saying then this man's going to take care of you, but you don't really see that as much as an option anymore. Correct. 
So like for me, there's a bigger problem if he's wanting me to get rid of my Instagram, yeah. right? Yeah. It's not about Instagram. I don't care about Instagram. I'll yeah. delete that. But you, again, like how you were saying, like, right, women are emotional, they're erratic, they do all these things. You don't want to right? go back into that controlling situation again Correct, where the dude is I, abusing you. I do you. think yeah. there's exceptions to every rule. Yeah. And well, I, no, no, I just want to point out that, like, you know, because we've talked about this before, because I want to hold men accountable, too. If a dude is actually fucking abusive to you, then you can leave behind this shell where a woman is going to overreact in this other direction. So I didn't know. I wish you had told me six years ago that dude did this, this to you. But, like, that that's another thing that happens, you know. I think we as men fuck up too. I no, I don't think it's a good idea to be putting your hands on a fucking woman. I don't think it's idea to like, again, if you're going to be open and have lots of different female partners be open about it, I don't think you should lie about that either. So I just, I think I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, that's not cool at all. But yeah. ultimately you chose him, right? Yeah. So you could have walked away too, right? Sometimes it's hard yeah. to walk away. It is. That's it is. so Yeah, ignorant. but if someone's, if someone's beating you, excuse me? No. It That's is it, it is hard to walk away when you're in love with somebody. It's like it you're, so you're have you been an abusive have you been abused? I'll just walk away. No, no, no. You no. wouldn't understand. As a woman, it's very hard to walk away sometimes. That's what we're just arguing for. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, so here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's fresh. Like, you and I are men. If a dude, if somebody put their hands on us, we're going to fight back. I'm not going to fucking deal with somebody putting my hands on me. But sometimes with these women, like, what will happen is the dudes will literally make you think you're, like, a loathsome piece of shit. You have no other options. If you ever leave me, you're not going to be shit. And then they put the physical abuse in it also. That's a that's a rare exception. We as men need to have enough integrity to not be doing that shit. That's There's what I'm saying. Women. Yeah, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I get that part, and that's that's not cool at all. I, I wish it wasn't that way. However, if I love myself enough, that is a no. So regardless right. of the fact that, bro, I'm going to... So, but you've you seen what? a dude I'll that cheated on it. He feels shitty about himself, right? I'll say this, right? To your point, yeah, i I never been through that, so I can't really speak on that per se. But ultimately speaking, if I love myself all the way, that's going to not even be a factor of me staying. Here's another day. You, you, we've seen guys be torn down by women before, right? Mm. They lose all their fucking confidence. Yeah. It's just the other way around. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like she probably can because I knew her as a super confident woman. If this dude did all this stuff to her, you don't know how she comes out on the other end. I'm not making excuses or whatever. Obviously, if somebody put their hands on me, I'm not going to stay in a fucking relationship with them. I'm probably going to break their jaw. But like that's a, that's a situation in, in this it's, it's stance. If we as men are have so little integrity that we need to abuse women in order to keep them, that, yeah, this is the this is the aftermath of what's left behind. You know what I'm saying? He should be in jail I'll, though. But I, I yeah, got a question for you because yeah. you you're very financially successful. Like if a if a male suitor were to come to you, and you made um, more than him, do you kind of like in any way look down on him? No, I don't, and I have dated anybody from all ranges, right above and below mine. So I will say that if they make significantly less, it is a burden. Define significantly less if you could. I make 10 to 20 times more than them. Goddamn. What's the bare minimum they got to make a year for you? Bare minimum? Yeah. Oh my God. 100. 100,000. They yeah. got to make. Just hundo? Yeah, really just a hundo, 150. So you pulling in a mil? Because the 10x of that is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've really limited yeah, your she'll, she'll date him, but she's going to little boy him all the time. You're gonna, that's she's a wait, real small wait, wait, wait. pool. <laughs> so <laughs> when you go on I'll dates, who's paying? When you travel, who's paying? They don't know what I do and how much I make. I'm not leading with that. And I don't say anything for I don't say anything for a long time about what I do and how much I make, you know? So they don't know that. Uh, what if the first out? date is like Olive Garden and he says only soup and salad and breadsticks? <laughs> I'll probably change my views on marriage. You know? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I, what I've realized is that like girls will say, oh, I'll date this guy or whatever. But the reality is if they're with a guy that's significantly less than themselves, they're going to. They're going to be frustrated. They're going to be angry. They're going to emasculate that guy. They're going to little bro him. Mm -hmm. And it's just not a good situation to be. That's why I tell guys all the time, you got to make more money than your girl. You got to more status than your girl. You got to be better than your girl in every single way so that she can actually look up to you and be happy to be with you. I admire women you in well. leadership roles, it's terrible. You never want to, you know, I, I'm really big on never pedestalize your girl. Because when you pedestalize your girl, women don't know how to behave when they have the leverage in a relationship. They're terrible people. No offense, ladies, but it's in your nature to be that way, because when you're with an ad inadequate man or man that isn't competent, what do you do? You end up being bitchy and annoying and rude and everything because you're angry and frustrated that you're lowering your quality of guy and you're tolerating it in the you know eye of feminism or equality. But it's a lie. Women are not designed to be with a guy lower than themselves or equals to themselves. Women want a man who's superior in every single way. Correct. So, yeah. OK, what about you? The question was shit. Uh, <laughs> would you get rid of your yeah would you Instagram get rid of your social media for your anesthesiologist guy no <sighs> god damn ouch why oh is that where you make all your money <laughs> no um it's because um we have a very not typical relationship 
um, that we hear from a lot of our friends. Like we go out a lot without each other. He goes on a lot of trips without me. I go on a lot of trips without him. And there's just a level of trust there that is like one of the core things in our relationship. So if he were to ask me that, I would be like, you're not the person that I wanted. It, it, does I the wanted. trust include you guys doing polyamorous stuff or the trust is you guys are only sleeping with each other? Only with each other. Okay, cool. Just but also, that. she's taking care of him too. So, I mean. Yeah. He got no money to cheat. Hey, I <laughs> <laughs> um, are you no comfortable leverage. With the fact, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. Are you comfortable with the fact that when he becomes an anesthesiologist and he starts making real money and his status goes up, you're going to have to acquiesce to what he wants. He's going to probably at some point tell you, He's going to probably, I hope he does this. He's going to grow a backbone and tell you what he doesn't like or what he does like. And he might exercise options and or want to bring other women in because you're never going to sexually satisfy a man by yourself. Yeah. So he already does that now. Like when we're, we don't like something about how one of the persons are acting. Like we let each other know. Oh no, it's going to be more when he makes the money. You're going to be mad maybe. nurses after him for the rest of his yeah. life too. So like, are you okay with that? That like, he's going to, he's going to get the leverage in a relationship and start telling you certain things and possibly want other women. Are you okay with that? You finally get the threesome um, you wanted, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he's actually the one who's not interested in that. Oh, that's what he says now. Oh, you're the one that wants the threesome. God, damn. I, <laughs> I got to move to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I just bring it up as hypothetical. Yeah. Know, you know? So, so let me get this straight. If he became successful, I actually got his career in order. He said to you, hey, babe, you know what? This is great and all, but I just hate that you have Instagram. Would you get rid of it? No. Damn. Damn. That's a foolish move. You might want to reconsider that. All right. <laughs> hey, Natasha, I forget that. I, I don't think it. women understand sometimes like the rarity of their guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, like it, the, the thing is, ladies, and I don't want to sound like an asshole here. But Do it. women are very common. And what I mean by this is most girls are acceptable from a looks perspective. Most girls are pretty enough. Um, the things that you guys bring, even when I asked you, what do you bring? What would you bring to qualify for a high value guy? All of you guys said the same shit over and over. My own money. I'm smart. Blah, blah, blah. So if all the other girls at the table can provide the same thing, not to mention all the I other women, it. you gave kind of a BS answer, to be honest. You're not going to have to a man <laughs> if, with all due respect. Let's be honest. But what here. is the high value? You made millions of dollars it? doing the things that you're doing. You're at a certain age now where you're probably not going to regress. So you're not going to acquiesce to a man. That's just not going to happen. I know that was a politically correct answer, but it's not true. It's not He's happening. Really, okay. However you want to say it, but you're single. You're not married. What? I think yeah. yeah. What does that have to do with? What, what are you well, trying to insult him? Too. I'm trying to hear it out, but I don't see you the like, millions see, the of look, millions look, look. of people who watch him like fact, every fucking day. Look, yes. you made millions of dollars, right? <laughs> Would it be fair to say? Well, I can already say that you're fairly masculine. You've been cutting people off. You interrupt often. I'm not. You're a very masculine woman. <laughs> and, and that's fine because that's why you've been Hide able to make the money that you made, right? It's because you're competitive, assertive, dominant. You like some, you made all this money. It's not by chance. People that are successful typically tend to have the same traits. So what Thank I'm you. saying is that these traits are not attractive to men. I don't want to date myself. So what I'm telling you is you're saying, I will change for a guy. No, you won't. You made millions of dollars behaving the way that you did. You're not going to change. Period. It's not. How do you know that? You won't. Because I know I for a fact. all the time. You're not going to change. I change for the man. And here's the thing. The man isn't going to even give you a chance to change. That's my, that's another thing, too. You might not even get a chance with this guy. The reason why you've dated these high-status men that you talk about mm -hmm. is because they can only tolerate you for sex, if I'm going to be honest. Okay. They don't want to commit to you and wife you because they'd rather wife a girl that doesn't come with certain characteristics and habits that you have. Because you're like dating a guy. You're fairly masculine, which is cool. But this is the negative of being a successful woman. I understand what you're saying. I hear you all yeah. the way. Yeah. I'm not really like saying, but I don't agree. You don't have to agree people, with reality. Yeah, no, but in the day, like people can do different things. So yeah, I can have this masculine energy, but I can do a different type of energy as well. Yeah, or, Stephanie, but the thing is, are, are you going to be, a, we, you, you, you even said this a couple it. hours ago. Yeah. It's going to be harder for you to find you know that the dating pool for you is going to shrink because of what it's you do smaller. on yes, video. Yes, I understand. Right, so that's but that's I, what he's saying. I don't have a problem. Like. The thing is, where I think the difference is, is that the numbers he's stating is like 99% of men are going to be out of your dating pool. I was the first one to say that. I would right. And I delete think, my social right, media. I think, so that comes from feminine yeah. energy. We, we, could, we could do the delusional calculator, just kind of show. I think a lot okay. of women think it's like 10% of men are left after they do OF. And what you're going to find is it's like 0.03% of men that are left. And that's that's where the difference is. It's like 
what would he say it's going to be harder i think a lot of women i think when women when 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 he says it's going to be harder i think a lot of women think it's going to be 50 percent harder or even 70 percent harder and we're trying to tell you it's going to be 99.9 percent harder that's the difference that's where the that's where the uh discrepancy is coming so i want to know what is my what's my future with men like i want to know bleak what's your future yeah, mm. it was man. Uh, I want to know the chances of you finding a man that's mm. going to take you seriously. That is it. Your same economic and socioeconomic mm-hmm. status mm. is slim to none because some be alone forever. Guys that yes. have status and money Most typically likely. want a girl that doesn't have status and money because men look at different things than women do. See, the thing I always say, as women become more successful, they become prisoners of their success. As mm. men become more successful, they become showcase. Can my you please man? stop interrupting? Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah. When right. women Go. become successful, they become prisoners of their success. When men become successful, they become free from their success. I'm able to date more women and I have more options. As you make more money, your chances and opportunities with men go down because you need a guy at your level that makes millions. Well, guys that make millions have standards. Guys that make millions have a title. Guys that make millions have status. They don't want to walk into a room and everyone knows that their girl is a porn star. That's just what it is. Well, there's the other. Okay. There's one more factor so, that's that that we don't when when we go through this topic. That's fine. I'm not quite done. A bit. One second. One second. I'm not done. So you're saying I'm be alone. I'm never gonna get no love. I'm gonna die. No, alone you're just not gonna I'm accept the man that you are. Okay, do you remember? Uh, you're not gonna her. Her. Yeah. 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 What I'm saying is that your likelihood of finding a man that's yes. at your level that be you're old. actually gonna be attracted to and want to be with long term mm-hmm. is going to be significantly. Slow. So you're saying I'm gonna not be no. I don't know. We're, 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 we're also ignoring statistics. We're also ignoring the rise in the cultural. Um, but rise of men, saying. men that are more passive and emasculated, and all these things. Yes, but like well, but like, what if that. is it more socially responsible to like? I mean, that's what okay, society is doing look, is look, telling look. men women, to like. Masculine women don't like their feminine position. Men. The more masculine a woman is, the more the guy has to turn his masculinity up to get her in fucking check. Yeah, but now, what if yeah, we yeah, change her psychologically, See, which I, no, 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 is stop, what stop is stop society is doing? See, I've had to assert my masculinity over you masculine-ass women on the show several <laughs> times. I don't want to have to do this when I'm not working. Yeah. It's extremely <laughs> annoying. I'm telling you guys, because I'm a masculine guy. I deal with masculine women like you guys all the time. You guys give me a headache. You guys are the reason why my hair has been going off and I have to get a hair dress <laughs> you so, right? so, yeah. And here's the thing. This is what I'm trying to say. Mm-hmm. The older a woman is and the more masculine she is, the harder it is to get her in line. Why am I going to have to sit here and assert myself to the point of damn near having to slap you to get you in line when I could go get a girl that's 18, 19, 20, 21 that's going to follow what I say, not give me back talk, not give me a headache, less baggage, isn't going to be a pain in the ass, is going to follow what I say. I'm going to go with the younger girl every time. Yep. That's nice. I'm just talking about society and um, why society, the rising women, emasculated look, men. Look, it's very no simple. Sense. Masculine women that are higher earning don't like pussies. Since they're masculine women, they want a what? guy who's more masculine than really Jess. Just, just to answer your question, what you're saying is that society right now is demasculinizing men. You're correct. The yeah. point to compensate is, the, oh, for women correct. to rise. For sure, for sure. I totally understand. <laughs> Title IX, all that, 1972. Yeah. The thing is, in the end, that isn't what she's going to want because those demasculinized men are not going to be able to lead a woman like that. So the thing is, to your quote, you remember you're saying, are you going to be alone? Do you remember what she said about her her boyfriend? He just sucked. He wasn't holding up his end of the bargain. Eventually, it will get to a point where you will see these men the same way. So you will have a pool of you have have a pool to choose from of men you eventually don't want. And then you will have a small pool of men you do want who don't want you. So the supply and demand curve won't meet anymore. And that's the reason why you're going to have some trouble. That's that's his hypothesis. So what's my future with men? Again, we don't know. Okay, so here's the, here's the thing. Do you understand what statistics no, mean? No, Hold, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Do you understand what statistics so, means? So Stephanie, right Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie he, he answered three times. Stephanie, do you understand what statistics are? Do you understand if I say there's an 80% chance it's going to rain tomorrow and it doesn't rain, that doesn't mean I'm wrong. Do you understand how statistics work? <laughs> That's a preach I hear it, baby. Nope. You don't understand how statistics. If I say there's a, when you say what is my future and I, I say there's a 99% chance you won't find your guy, that doesn't mean it's a 100% chance. He can't predict your future. But what he's saying is statistically it is unviable for you to find the type of guy that you want because you're masculine enough and you make enough money to where you need a man who's so high so above So basically that. you're trying to say like I should have made the money I made. No, no, no we're not saying that. Like, it's statistics. No. You need okay. to like find a wife coach and for, take lessons from her hey, full stop. time like how to be a wife that's what you need to do well, how can I take advice from you even that's you not gonna work girl, you, you know what she let me let me you. make this she simple because you. I said my, my you life you you're, you're, you're speaking side. way above yeah I, 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 I'm sorry I'm gonna make this simple for you how about this let's say I decided to eat a bunch of Cheetos not go to the gym anymore moved in with my mom smoke pot every day played video games and I stopped working 
But I said I want a bad bitch. What do you think my chances are of finding and getting this bad bitch to take me seriously? Slim to none. No, but that's your chances. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You have to spin it in another way so she understands. Problem solved. Like just like that. me being delusional. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, let I that sink in. And I know that's not Stop. the truth. Stop for I two seconds. I know that's not the truth, though. Let that sink in for a second. I, I, if I, I heard it, I let it sink because it didn't make no sense. You need, need to be quiet and listen for a second. I'm okay, telling you. Okay, so stay tuned. I do all these things. I do all these things. I need to say, too. Okay, I do all these things. I lower my value. I no longer qualify for a bad bitch because I've lowered my value. She will not take me seriously because I fucked up. Same thing. You, as a woman, unfortunately, even though these are great accolades, making money, being successful, it lowers your value to a degree. So because I should be unsuccessful. I should be broke. I should be struggling. Jesus Christ. No, no, no. We're no. not saying that. I love how you no. take it to the extreme. We're, no. we're, uh, you need to no, find like a wife. A You're a victim of your own success is what, what they're saying. We're saying we're saying you have options, right? But these men may not want to be or may not qualify for what you want long term. So ultimately, you might smash here and there. But are they going to take you that serious? Maybe not. However, the guy that might take you serious, <laughs> you don't really want. He's not on your level. That's all. It doesn't really make sense to me because then a day. Like, well, everybody, really everybody at this still, table pretty much said that it, they would so not. Like, ever, I mean, with the exception of you, I mean, everybody said that I would not delete my Instagram unless the guy was making enough money to take care of to take care of me before I, I would even consider doing you, something like that. Stephanie, can I, so can it I, ends up becoming this no economic sense. issue. I mean, per, damn I near everyone here it. has said exactly that same thing. So what you're saying is if he made enough money to outclass all the guys who would be a potential like a, a, a potential boyfriend for me because I'm still advertising uh, my sexuality. That guy has to make more money, not only than you, but any potential guy who would see you on Instagram and say, I'm going to get with that girl. I feel like if the guy can't take it, he's insecure. That's all I got to say. Okay, again, for, for a man he's to insecure. not want to watch you have sexual intercourse with another dude yeah, on camera is man, not like, insecure. Right but, but it's not insecure. Don't cheat on her and lose her. But it's not insecure. So for y'all are not even all the way right. Like, y'all, we could be the perfect woman. We could be a square. We could <laughs> not do no shit, not do no only sex. <laughs> y'all still do us dirty. Uh, uh, in the end of the day so why the fuck would i make my money why would i be lit why we're, not again, again steph that we're not, don't make we're, not, no we're not saying that you can't make money we're why saying, so we're, i could be with a man that said she don't why? mean stephanie we're not saying that you can't be lit why. or that you can't make there's money no we're, we're, we're saying we're, we're saying that there's consequences for it that's, and that, fine, that's what because the square girl that he was with the one he wants to bring up period that he cheated on that was perfect, all this shit. The so fuck? Why, why she don't even allowed? get the money. Relax. That's fine. We can hear you. I'm fine. One other thing. Can I ask you a question? Do you know what a it's yes... True, so do, we don't all win. None of us Steph, women win. Steph, do you know what a yes... I'd rather get my money. Right. Do you know what a yes... Have you ever it's seen anybody who's... Let him talk. Do you, do you ever see anyone who's like famous or rich or uh, high status and is surrounded by yes men? Have you ever seen somebody like that? They're surrounded by people who incur, who say yes to everything they're saying and encourage them. You go all the time. Have you ever seen that? A yes man? Have you ever seen something like that? Yes. Okay. Could it possibly be? I'm just a, a hypothesis to you. It's actually not a hypothesis. This is actually what's going it's on. But nice. you, you, you could choose to listen. <laughs> could it possibly be that all of the positive reinforcement that you get on Instagram and OnlyFans have caused you to believe that your options with men are actually higher than they really are? Could that possibly be the case? But then I'll day, give you a hint. That is he what's had happening. A good girl. No, no, I, he still I, cheated I, on her. Steph, still lost her. So does it really Steph, matter? Could you, could you answer the question? If I do only fans right no, now. No, Steph, I'm not saying there's does. a problem with you doing only fans. One more time. Let me <laughs> it say it again. Matter. Is it possible that you all the positive it does Steph, matter. Steph, exactly. one more time. Is it? I don't think it matters. I'm not asking. I'm asking. Is it possible? So, so, yo, yo. Her yeah. foundation is that if your her, system oh, no, works, wait, 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 I, I got, I got, I got, I got it. If her, her system works is, so right? well, then why is she single? Oh, I got it. Her foundation is why that her, single, her man babe? still why cheated on her. Even she was a very good girl, right? Yeah. You cheated on your girl while she was a good girl. Yes. So, so you brought her up. So she did all the good things, but you still cheated on her. This is not, we're not talking about her. We're talking no, about you. No, we're talking you. about that she was we're still a good girl. You. She did whatever, but I'm the bad girl, right? Because I know what you're saying. No one's saying you're the bad girl. girl. And by the way, his, his girlfriend, by the way, his, really hold, 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 let me ask you something. Can his, his ex-girlfriend, who was a good girl, what do you think she has the ability to go get after him? Probably a really great guy afterwards. I get great guys all the time. But you don't have them. But but you don't have You're them. You're angry now. at a podcast at one o'clock in the I'm morning. Not angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not angry. 
<laughs> Except one more time. Sure, Except one more time. Maybe I'm not the one that lost my love of my life. That I lost the girl. Got like, one, one more time. Here, Is it possible? About me, but you lost the bitch. Oh, period. So you brought her up. That hurt your feelings. You That's why your face is red right she now. Got you you hurt your feelings. She got that you lost the good girl. That's why your face is getting brighter, redder, redder. Get out of here. Because I'm that laughing at you. Except it don't make no sense. one last time. Let me ask you one more time. Is it possible that all of the positive <laughs> affirmations that you get on Instagram I'm and OnlyFans mad. may have changed I your personal view? It's fine. I'm not mad. I'm really Except, happy. But you're not answering the question. Okay, what's the question? It, is it possible oh, all the positive <laughs> affirmations that you get oh, on Instagram and all the fans that you see on OnlyFans may have changed your view of what type of man you can actually get? It made it an unrealistic no. view. There's no chance that's happening. No. Okay. So Steph, Steph, that, Steph that, I'm sorry. That is what's happening. I just told you what is happening. The problem is like, again, because I was the first flex she gave. Huh? You DM yeah. me on Instagram. Think yeah. about that for a second. Like, that was the first flex she made. That's your value was, system. Was, yeah, flex. <laughs> that was your value flex. system. Flex. 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 That's quite flex. literally flex. what you like, learned. But that, but, you're well, hold on, hold on. like whatever you but, see. But see, you're saying, you're <laughs> saying about. one thing, but your actions show something else. So Instagram does matter, and it does lead to you having a certain perspective. It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I'm just letting me know, like, you DM me before, <laughs> so you like whatever you see. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he wants to wife you up. Yeah, Remember, that, that was this, the thing we're talking like, about long-term relationship. A guy wanting to fuck versus a guy wanting to wife are two different things. Except he even he even complimented it's incredible that you're trying to conflate the two. He even yeah. complimented you by saying that you're ambitious and then you make a lot of money. But the point was we were trying to make is that it makes it more difficult for a man to want to date you because you make more money, because you do you're involved in sex work on OnlyFans. Now, again, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite. I know a bunch of girls that are on OnlyFans. The the point that I'm trying to make is I even tell them you do understand there's going to be consequences for your actions. If someone's expressing to you that's consequences for your actions, don't get mad. There's no reason to get mad. If I play basketball for 20 years and my knees are fucked up, I'm not going to go, I can't believe you mad. told me my knees are going to be fucked up. It, that's just, that's the type of shit that happens. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. it's, not a, it's not a flex, ladies, for a guy to DM you on Instagram. Like, it's I don't not. know why girls, like, try to, I'm like... I'm going to flex you. I yeah, you just did. And that's fine. And that's fine. Well, I, I let it be known, which is a flex. Babe, a flex, hey, DM, come on, flexing quite time. literally well, on, is showing your muscles in front of people, in front of people to show it. So that is a girls flex. Girls are always going to get more attention to guys, which is why you can't brag deal. about it. You try, which, which is why it doesn't mean as much. Brag about it. You, I try to let you know. You said immediately. Hit me up before, it was, it was so you want to bash me at the top of the show, which is cool. Bash you for what? In no type of way. That's what I'm saying. You mean smash? Yeah, but but the thing is, is that baby, you couldn't smash me. That's fine. I don't need to. But what I'm saying is that you you ran. Here's the thing. You like what you saw. You. It, it's not a flex. I don't want no smoke, but you it's want smoke, a, that's fine. No, no, no. It's not door. a flex to brag about someone hitting and you I on don't Instagram. Care. So why are you bragging about it? I never bragged, baby. You quite literally <laughs> There's it, a lot of things to brag about. I didn't brag. You led with that. So it no, wasn't I didn't. I let it be known that you did hit me up. This is the newest so form of contraceptive right now. Do you not see like the, the contradictions here? I you're saying you're saying it's not a flex, but then you said I'm letting it be known. Which is Why inherently so a flex. Hey, can I point out something else? Natasha, you do admit that you making more money makes it more difficult for you that to see no other sense. dudes, right? No, okay. you make so, yeah. so she, you so make she, no so sense. she even see, understands. This is she what even I'm trying to say. It, but you you make make no, sense, baby. no, you make no sense. You've been contradicting yourself this entire time. No, I have not. Did you not just hear what you said a second ago? <sighs> Dude, she's clearly traumatized, bro. Just send her home. <laughs> wow. Baby, how am I traumatized? <laughs> Emotional <laughs> damage. Just keep calling me, baby. I love it. Incredible. Oh, well, everyone sees it, but no, yeah, yeah, she's the only one that doesn't Yo, see it. Sorry, we got some fine. chats I'm here, man. Sober as fuck. God damn. <laughs> okay, easy, <laughs> urban. This cast is off tonight. Question for ladies: Would you work a jobs cleaning sewers for 100k a year or high profile job for free? Very high profile job. Nigga, they don't work for the sewers. What? Uh, Sebastian Puzzle says, <laughs> Sartain, I'm subscribed to your channel, but horns down. Welcome. <laughs> Hey, hey, sorry, man. I can't hear, hear you over our $54 billion endowment that's right. that's damn. My and, and our, se that's our 17 back. Nobel laureates. I'm sorry, I can't he hear you. He said horns down. Hook them yeah. horns. Hook them horns. Right. Rafa Tree Berkey says, shout out to MLD. Here are some hot dogs on me. FNF, you guys are incredible. I remember your earlier days. You're killing it. It's getting these through a forest. Rolo, your books were integral to my growth as a man. I appreciate you all. You're yo, welcome. Yo, shout out. Lucas James says, the one in the white dress next to Fresh got to be a dude. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Okay, uh BN says blue, yeah, okay. <laughs> blue next to fresh. All that work and you still have worse nasal labial folds than my grandma. What? What? Okay. I don't know. Somebody's a cosmetic surgeon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jim, imagine meeting Jay Saw at the club. Can we come up beside her next morning? <laughs> oh shit. Okay. 
They uh, love me. I love it. Anyways, Miss Palomar okay. is two cars, hey. one million views. Steph, ser- right. seriously, can you take a but screenshot? Steph, for Steph, the comments, Steph, hold on. Can you, st- can you take a screenshot? It. Can you take a screenshot of how many OF subscribers you had before this show and how many OF subscribers you, you have? Can you please tell me? Podcast. I'm very curious about that. I'm, very, I'm seriously I'll you know. very curious about it. Because I'm the only one getting bashed. No one is there. But all these people bashed and you're going to be your new subscribers. That's what we're saying. No one else on this podcast. No one else on this podcast. No one else on you don't make sense. No, no, but you know, so a lot of things love, that are you not bash, sensible. You bash me about the love of my life. You fucking loser. I was <laughs> <laughs> they're bashing you because you've been saying a lot of things, but not necessarily. No, they're talking sense. about my look at all. Yeah, but they're making. They're not talking looks. about what I'm but saying. But because either. you've also said some foolish things. No, but, they're but talking about my looks. Hold on, hold on. Looks. Mike has your back. You've though. also said. You're, you're, what Mike no, said? they're talking about my looks. Uh huh. What Mike said earlier. of your looks because you said stupid things. No, they're That's talking why. about my looks. That they cared about what I said. They would say it. They're Stop. talking about oh, no, my they looks. Have been. They have been. But they're making fun of you more because of the things you've said. Don't worry, they're Anyways, all subscribing I'm to you right now. Being uh, that's fine. Question: right. Let's assume your high value man's level of loyalty is ten. You're the main girl, but not the only girl. From one to ten, what will your loyalty be? Street pound. Down the Marco, Marco. Irish Marco, Marco. Marco. Uh, Wait, what was that? It's, it's uh. What will your loyalty be, bro? Would any of the girls here on the panel be okay with sharing a guy? No, no, guy? no. None of you. No, yes. if I love him, no. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm not Fuck sharing. Yeah. You guys, are you guys aware that men are only as faithful as their options typically? Huh? Oh my God. Are you aware that men are typically only as faithful as their options? <laughs> the little cricket of morning. You guys <laughs> really know this? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. What are you talking no. about? She says she wants to have a three way. Yeah. What are, wait, what are you talking? About? <laughs> Let's talk. That's different. That's no, different. It's, it's, hey, it's, hey, it's, not different. No, it's, it's not different to a dude. He's going to be okay with that. Okay. That's you, the, okay. Raise your hands on the panel. Him. You guys all said you qualify for high value man. Fantastic. Do you think that high value man is going to be monogamous to you? Raise your hands if you think he's going to be no. monogamous. No. Okay. I so then so. you guys know by default that he's going to fuck other girls. <laughs> like what is what is so rocky? Gotcha, okay, but you don't need gotcha. to know about it. As oh, so now you, you, know. just you just don't want to know. Of course. Okay. But that doesn't change the fact that it's still that he's still cheating though, right? Yeah, I don't want to find out. Okay, so you'd be okay with sharing your guy? No. No, no, no. I want to find it's like, out. It's like a quantum, like it's Schrodinger's cat here. She both knows and doesn't know at the same time. <laughs> Incredible. She right. knows of the cheating and doesn't know of the cheating I'm at the same time. I'm that. That's I mean, pretty good. Until the box is so pretty good. I gotta remember yeah, that Only one. women have the privilege of never making sense. It's Schrodinger's cat. Incredible. It's Schrodinger's <laughs> dick. That's what it's called. They contradict themselves, say a bunch of dumb shit, like, and nobody gives a fuck, man. Like it's great. Cut you off. Knows and doesn't know at the same time. Yes. Life is on easy mode. All right. Phil, uh, Philmar <laughs> goes big out for Mexico tonight. We still don't claim the soft girls book. Oh, my God. No mames, que vergüenza. No mames, que vergüenza. Que vergüenza. No mames, que vergüenza. What does that mean? That's like, don't keep eating shit. That's embarrassing. Oh. Show the FNF. Shout the to RP panel. Uh, <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. Spicy Gua goes. W to whoever on the podcast, though. The, uh, the Glad Force Flex trash bag. What? Okay. Huh? okay. Shit and yeah, Bricks goes, this is why fathers are important. To keep his daughter off the pole and to keep her as pure as possible. Lady next to Fresh is prime example of what not to be. Mm-hmm. Who, with, with this panel mindset, better to start investing in Chewy. Also, like the goddamn video. Yeah, yeah guys, like the video. We got, what? I love it. Everyone keeps talking about me. Because, I love it. Because Bitch, you know, Mars, all the way Yo, up. No, they ain't talking about no one else. For two seconds. Hold on. No. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Speaking of fathers, really loud, we're going to do an days. event in Full Lauderdale with Fogtainment to help men become better men. Yes. And just Chris, if you don't mind bringing it up real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, check us out on the Valuetainment if you guys want to see us the big girls in real life. June 2nd, I believe, right? lose my hair real time. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's going to be June 2nd in Fort Lauderdale. I Chris, love all about being. And guys, before before Miss it Palmares. sells it sells out, Two get tickets while you still... Keep you realize that the world doesn't want to keep right? Step two. Like, like, oh my God. You need to be quiet for like two seconds. I know it's tough. I know this is not the normal where people are not kissing your ass or whatever, but you need to be quiet, okay, when we're speaking. I've been quiet, so I'm going to respond. Mm-hmm. When You've been talking about no, 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 no one was even talking about Then you. talk more. 
were. You're, you're proud yes, of owning were. two cars. Is this a flex point? It's a song. What are you oh. talking about? Are you just screaming two cars like you yes, have fucking song. Asperger's? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Song. I can use it too. They put everybody. Guys, so yeah, guys. I can literally feel the brain nail, cells exiting June 2nd, my head. 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. We're going to have a live event with Adam and uh, the whole guys over at Value Tainment. It's going to be lit. Tickets are on sale right now. We have a $100 tier, I think $250 and $500. If you guys want to meet us, get your book signed by me. Uh, take some pictures, whatever it may be. Cigar Lounge, it's going to be lit. And uh, yeah, get it, get the tickets now. And if you, second. if you want to watch Rolo and I tomorrow at 4 p.m. EST, we will be on Adam Sosnick's show. Yes. There you go. Value cool. payment money. So, yeah, go ahead and get your tickets. Uh, where are we at here? Cool. Um, car- cardiac Quick. goes, it's worse if the man has more options, but only if there are kids in the picture because the man could replace his girl leaving the kids in a single mother home, which we know is horrible. I think both sides are bad, but I, I understand what he's saying. Yeah, just don't. No, 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 don't, no, just stop no. with the single mother households. <laughs> no, just no. The next. They're ruining no. the country. John single says, question for Stephanie. What do you see when you look into a mirror? <laughs> you spent thousands of dollars into making yourself more beautiful, not realizing that you're done. The, the Everything's opposite. about me. Thank you so much. I would cry per myself usual. to sleep every night if you were my daughter. Don't walk, don't walk, don't walk. That's mean. Okay, Mercy, Mercy, never heard of it. God bless Fresh and Fit. Godspeed, gentlemen. Uh, guys, that is the end of Super Chats. And so we have uh, Rumble. And Rumble as well. And then we're going to end, end the show. Your favorite part of the show? Yes. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Do this, it. This is crazy. Uh, DZ Jick says, this panel must be heading to the incinerator. Girl Next to Fresh looks like a store-bought Madonna. All Hello, the surgeries. Hello, me again. Hurry up and find your... Shut up. How you, man? Who told me shut the fuck up? Oh, she, you, you're you're like ruining the, the flow of the show. Your pussy is holding up... I don't give a fuck. Like y'all getting roasted in the comments? No. Like okay, but relax. Yeah. yeah. Just like relax. you said the same thing all over again. I don't like, care. They can't step, even, step. We let can't him finish and then respond. My ears are hurting. Step. Let him finish then respond. Go ahead. Fresh. This is the first. Even your girls are annoyed. Your pussy is holding up... I don't give a fuck. Can I finish? No, no, just keep your poor C is clean, closing up like an earring hole. Cool. Wait, what? <laughs> what? what? I don't, I, I don't get that part. But Atlas Red says, uh, "Got accepted into the Detroit PD today. <laughs> Twenty six years old. I don't think I had forgotten this far for your guys' influence. Thank you, FNF. Wish me luck. Hey, Shout congratulations, to you, man. Congratulations. Sneeko, w. Okay. I had, you know, I had to. I know what you're you saying. I had to. Uh, I had to. Iller. Oh, Iller. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Them, boys. So, ladies on the panel, this is the last segment of the show. What'd you learn? Questions, comments, and let's get the fuck out or of here. Or any last disagreements? Why? No. That way. <laughs> that way. Come on, man. You got to start no, once. No, why? I started twice. Let's go. No, it's, it's the wording. What, not why, how. Go ahead. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. What have you okay. learned? What, what you learned? What, what, and then uh, thoughts on the show. Yeah. Let's... Our last our last question, okay. disagreements, whatever. So, um, I've learned that being a masculine woman. Oh, <laughs> I've learned that being a masculine woman and honestly, I feel like being a masculine woman, guys don't want to be with you because they need to be more a higher man and they don't want to do that because they have little girls that don't have nothing going for themselves and they can like move around. That's it. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that up. All right. That's actually a question for you. Would you want to be with a guy that spent more time in the mirror and got more manicures than you? So why would a guy want to be with a woman that acts like a dude? There you I, go. I don't act like a there dude. Yeah. Hey, no, no, not like, you in general. Like, like, it's a society question. It, it, yeah. American okay, women in I general just, kind I, of manly. I, I don't feel like Merch. we're going to go back into like, you know, so let's just. No, it's not yeah, about no, that, right. but you just made a dumb comment. It's like, oh, well, guys want uh, dumb girls that blah, blah, blah. Like, it is uh, true. Being masculine. So, so, like, but when I asked you, would you want a guy that spends more time in the mirror than you, gets manicures more than you? You said no. So you don't want a feminine man. Why would a man want a masculine woman? Just no logic, man. Eat you one what about you? Like, bro. That was feminine of her. She just submit. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> just, <laughs> just give up. Makes no sense. Like, no, just because, like, you, you make no sense. That's why. Okay. It's like only women could be illogical and make zero sense and still get by in the world. It makes zero sense. Sexist. That's the power sure. of a woman. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Can you? I wouldn't really say it's a power. And but you've elected Lizzo as your hero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah. I just don't want to be told what to do. That's a parent. That is a parent. <laughs> that's what we've learned. And that's okay. what we've learned. Let me ask you this. Do you want a guy that's taller than you? I don't care. I mean, anybody's taller than me. Okay, but do you want anybody's... a man? Would you prefer a man that's taller than you? Anybody, anybody's taller okay, than you. Okay, would you want a man that makes more money than you? Yeah. Smarter than you? Yeah. More competent than you? Yeah. Stronger than you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. He's, yeah. so he's going to have authority over you then because he's better than you in every regard. Yeah. So then you need I to be want able a man. To I want a man to manhandle me. 
You not just hear what you said a second ago? <laughs> I don't want to listen. I just want to. I don't want to be told what to do. You literally just said that. Okay, but not like that. Like. I don't Guys, know. I'll tell you later. Never, bro. Bro. Only when they have the privilege bro. of being fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> Holy bro. shit, <laughs> bro! I'm not kidding. Yo, yo, yo this podcast proves the shit every single time. <laughs> Girls can make it through life being absolutely illogical, contradict themselves, say dumb shit, and make it through life, bro. Craziness, bro. bro. They say one thing. Crazy. Let's do the opposite. Life on easy so, mode. Guys, do the opposite. Life on easy mode. Like, bro. bro. Yeah. Bro. I didn't want to talk about that was scary. Bro. What about you? <laughs> Let's go to Miss Only Fans. I learned that men do not realize that there are literally hundreds of millions of OnlyFans creators, and there is more and more every single day. So you guys say that men who decide not to be with OnlyFans women, like we we are lowering our chances of finding a man those guys who are cutting off only fans girls they're also lessening their chances because there's so many of us and there's only going to be more it's not a significant portion of the population hundreds yet. Of it's millions. a lot of girls it's not hundreds of millions hundreds we live of millions. In LA. Are in sex work. many we live in la that's like capital it's called of confirmation bias horse. just because all your friends Whoa, are hosts miami too. is also <laughs> okay capital horse. this is what i mean when i say girls like think the life of the world revolves around them you do realize that most women are not sex workers right not that they're open about. Most girls are now showing their butthole on the internet for three ninety nine. But just not they might it. fuck you <laughs> for money. Okay. And not post about it online. That's fine. But what I'm saying is that your image <laughs> precedes you. So if a girl has a certain type of image, a lot of guys are going to disqualify her. There's girls that are nurses that are bigger hoes than you probably. But who has the worst <laughs> reputation? You or the nurse? Yeah. You. Which sucks for you. You might have a lower body count than a nurse. But so, it's, per- it's perception. It's so perception. The, the number it's perception. of the percentage of women in the U.S. that are on OnlyFans is 0.013 percent of all women. It's oh, all yeah, one we million. We that up on Quora. But yeah, dude. it's one million creators. Yeah, because you know math actually works on Quora. It works on Google. And like, math is a crazy <laughs> thing. Math actually works on that. Mars. Right, wait, pull up no, your no. counter study. Anyone just pull yeah, up your counter study. Yeah. So I do know there's 330 million people in the United States. I know half of them are women, and I know there's one million creators on OnlyFans. One million not, try over a hundred million. No, there's not. 100 on OnlyFans, it's not 100 million. It's a publicly traded company. We know how many people are on OnlyFans. It's not 100 million people. There's more than a million. Can you spell 100 million? But even if there's 2 million, <laughs> it's still 0.02% of the population. <laughs> that's, that's that's on OnlyFans. Incredible, bro. Okay. It's 0.02. It's, it's less than one quarter of 1%. Okay, I'm okay. just going to take your word for it. You better. Yeah. You... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sartin's girlfriend, take us home. I would like to go home, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Profound. What about you? Last question, comment, disagreement, whatever it may be. I would like to say um, we should free yeah. Julian Assange. We should all <laughs> buy Bitcoin. Okay. And this was so fun and enlightening. And thank all of you for contributing to my evening. It was great. Wow, good job. Aloha snack bar. I like that. That's Puerto Rico. I've learned not to come on here and be a fool because you can get kicked out real quick. Speakers of the mic. Mm. And I just want to thank you guys for having us here. Cool. Fair point. Really learn there you go. You identify as a woman, right? Yes, sir. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I got little titties, but they okay. still I there. I think that was the other one. No, I was, I was, no, 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 I was hoping that you weren't infected by her bullshit. Infected. Yeah. Infected. Yeah. 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 infected. Yeah. We are now canceled. Okay, what about you? I think she was patient. Uh, right. Goo out taught me that self-employed and unemployed is the same thing. So that was cool. Yeah. Learning how to spell here. <laughs> That's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, nothing nothing too new I learned. Are you still done with men? Yeah. 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 Oh. Probably you made it worse, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What we said. Fair enough. What about you? Um, I guess I learned that dating is a little bit more bleak than I thought it was. You better stick with your guy. Yeah. 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 When you guys yeah, are good. Hold on. Appreciate him a lot much more. When he <laughs> becomes an anesthesiologist, he'll be able to replace you faster than you could replace him. I promise you. Delete that Instagram. The when you are going to be coming at him. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Right like now. this. Don't yeah. listen to anything your single girlfriends tell you. Like you need to listen to what that guy says, man. The grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah. Yep. You don't want to be on the streets. It's Bullshit. cold. What about you? Uh huh. Stephanie, what did you learn? Oh, <laughs> 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 
us. So, I would yeah. learn something. Stephanie, what'd you learn? No, no, tell us your only chance. It was funny. I want to hear it. <laughs> no, it was it was the end to the show. Yeah. Stephanie, they were making a joke. It was no, just don't worry about it. Okay. What'd you learn? What'd you learn, babe? Well, what'd you learn? I learned two things. I'm not bitch, and I'm too masculine. Thank okay. You, you learned one thing for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Stephen guys. Right. Great show. Rolo, MLD, Sartain, where, where can I find you guys? Um, let's see. I'm on uh, oh, uh, Amazon. <laughs> you can find all my books on Amazon. You can find me at therationalmail.com. I'm also the co host of Access Vegas with this guy right here. And uh, you can also see my show, which is The Rational Mail, at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, every Sunday. And uh, that's about it. LD? Go to moneymusclesgameframe.com. Get on the waiting list for my free book, How to Become a High Value Man. Moneymusclesgameframe.com. You can find me on YouTube, Modern Life Dating. I'm streaming uh, 9 a.m. or excuse me, 9 p.m. Eastern, Monday to Friday, pretty much every day of the week. And then uh, I'll be bouncing around. I'm going to be going to Brandon Carter's channel, Value Tainment Money, Jedediah Bila, Sneeko tomorrow night, uh, McQueen, the whole name yards. So follow me on Instagram, Hot Dude Life. You can see my schedule there. Appreciate you guys for tuning in today. Thanks for watching. Cool. Uh, you guys can check me out at moamentoring.com if you guys want to join our free school server. Just hit me up on I, on Instagram, and I'll give you a link to the free school server. And for the rest of you guys, uh, if you enjoyed the debate that we had with uh, Sneeko and Destiny on Monday and you like how technical it was, then please check out Access Vegas. We really do try to add a, a socioeconomic uh, statistical uh, bent or a, uh, addition to this whole realm by trying to keep it as mathematical as possible and then watching people's reactions because when you ask women how many men what percentage of men are over six feet tall and they're like 50 percent of men and it turns out it's 14 those are the reactions that people get when women are like oh i, I didn't realize the average man makes thirty-seven thousand dollars a year women don't realize that or that he's five foot nine or, or that the average man has like six sexual partners in his entire life or that a, a third of men have no sexual partners at all women are always shocked by these numbers and this that's the kind of stuff that we talk about on our show Fair enough. Uh, guys, um, we'll get, we'll be back. I'm I'm leaving town, uh, yeah. but Fresh, I think, is going to have a show on Friday. Friday, yep. uh, Wait, with, Fresh. Who, with with the special. Yeah. Okay, they're going to be back on Friday. I won't be here, but they will. I Coming trust that the show will be great. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, guys, check us out June second for Value Tainment. Get the book Why Women Deserve Less. Uh, subscribe to Fed Reacts, and I think that's about it, man. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. All the girls' Instagrams are below, so go ahead and send them a dick pic. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Oh no. I ran, I ran so far away.